Good old grasshopper. Yeah, this is probably one of the coolest intros ever in a video game, if you ask me. So, so this is the original Wii game, but it's being played on a Wii U with an HD capture card. So, hopefully the resolution should be a little bit higher than uh, normal. It's, it's not going to quite be like an emulated HD level, but it, this looks okay actually. So I'm going to go mild, because that's the, the normal difficulty basically. So, yeah, this actually came out in 2008 in the U.S. very early, I think like in January, maybe February. It's a cool little uh, foreshadowing of the theme song. I hope you're not getting any echo, because... The monitor I'm using. Uh, I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. There's no at least headphone that's what input, Bishop, I think. the dude at the video store said. So I'm at the register. So I have it turned I down, so hopefully it's I got not too no loud. money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the death match. Bar. At the death match, bro. Man, she smelled good. Look at all the so being the gentleman I places am, in San Francisco are just named after like anyway, wrestling moves. I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the Drifter. Assassinate Dante. So I went Dante. where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This cat. Well dressed, cool. Couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Yeah, so he started. Alright, let me try to turn that down a bit. Pack and heat. Bada -bing. Thank you for telling me. Or at least it was supposed to be. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal. An agent with Just his watch, watch call it Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's going to be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could totally suck. Turning it down. What do you say, bro? Join All right, is that better? See how far we can is that too this. low? And for too you high? The Wii remote right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin. Let the bloodshed begin. And that's the start of it. How's that sound? Is that better? Better balance? Gosh, I haven't played this in years. Weird how the Wii is like almost widescreen, but not quite. It's like an in-between full screen and widescreen. Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? Bad answer. It's game time. There we go. And that that is uh, referenced in the No More Heroes 3 reveal trailer where he kicks, he like slices and kicks down the door and then he turns over. It's pretty sick. Oh, that's right. The sound effect comes through the, uh, the nunchuck. I don't think I need the tutorial. I haven't played this in a very long time, but I'm going to just see if I can remember. These early guys are pretty easy anyways. Alright. So I like how the game just throws you in. It kind of get, gives you an intro in the beginning, but it's very vague. And then you're just at this mansion. I don't know, just pseudo games tend to do that a lot. They just throw you into a situation before you really understand the story or like even the world. And then they kind of reveal 
the other, like, the rest of what's going on, like, bit by bit as the game goes on. Mm. So far, it feels pretty good, like I remember. The gameplay isn't, like, super deep, like, even back then, but... Yeah, yeah, I don't get that. Like, people say it said it was ugly or whatever. Like, I, I think it looks pretty great. And if you look at the, uh, like, the HD resolutions versions, like, if people, like, emulate the game, it looks great. It's one of those games that just really translates well with high resolution. Because it's not about being realistic. It's, like, stylized. Like, everything that needs to be detailed, like, has the detail. Like, sure, the, this room isn't particularly great looking, you know, but it, it does what it needs to do. But the characters all look great. They have very, very cool character designs. I think uh, Killer7, the fact that it's like, it's virtually textureless actually also helps in its favor towards really translates good into high resolution. Oh wow, is it still? Alright, hang on. Okay, turn it down even farther. Let me move the mic closer if I can. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, I'm used to just using like sound mixer on the computer to to uh, balance the audio levels um all right hopefully the, the audio's at a better level now that i'm not too drowned out because i can't really increase my mic volume anymore or else it'll start to get distorted probably um, but the game audio I dropped more. Oh, you know what? Blocking. That's a thing. Maybe I should have did the tutorial real quick just to, as a refresher. Okay, we're gonna kill, like, a few guys right here anyways. These guys are pretty weak, though. On sweet mode, this must be, like, super easy. Oh, nice, we got a one of the power-ups. I think this just makes everyone else go in slow motion or something. The card collectibles are pretty cool. The first time you play through, it's, it's not super special, it's just wrestling masks, I think. Like Lucha Libre masks. But the second time you play through, you actually get concept art. Like little character profiles, kind of, for the different bosses and characters. I need to remember the, uh... The right timing for the, uh... There we go. Look at that suplex. DDT. That was like a, a spike DDT. Yeah, it's not, like, amazing looking. It, it's definitely, you know, I don't know what the budget was for this. You know, not a AAA title, but it has a good style. And I think that's, like, the most important thing when you're designing the visuals of a game. I hope I'm not going the wrong way. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, guess we're not going the wrong way. I mean, honestly, the the weakest part of the game is just the the repetitiveness. See, I wasn't even used to how much I had to charge of that because the last time I played this, I probably had like the best weapon and like all the power ups and stuff. Oh yes, I did say suplex. See, that's, that's one thing about Suda51 games, no matter what game it is, you're going to get some wrestling references. 
here or there. Hey Dragnix, has have you ever played the original No More Heroes? I'm actually curious. Cause I know a lot of people have heard of it or like seen it, but but uh may not have necessarily played it. Where are we going? Oh yeah, down here. Yeah, the opening level is pretty much just... Oh, sick! 777. Seven, seven. Get it? Just like Killer7, which was the game that came out before this. Um, The sevens are actually like the hardest ones to get, I think. Now I'm Super Saiyan, of course. Is that it? We're just going to the... Oh, there's another one. Uh, if you get all sevens in the roulette game, then you unlock this like a like a what do you call it a room clear attack this is like kills everyone in the room but you don't have to use it and if you save it until the end of the mission you'll get like bonus points for saving it and that was actually good luck that i got that because those are pretty uncommon compared to the other uh slot machine results Oh, this is a... I'm getting really lucky right now with these power-ups. This is a, one of the, the f really fun ones, too. You just slowly rock, walk around like this badass. I'm surprised I remember which buttons are which on the Wii controller, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So you played both of them. Yeah, like they're definitely not perfect games by any means. Um, like the gameplay isn't super deep, but the story and the characters, like that's everything. Like that's the whole, that's what keeps you going. Like, okay, I just fought this really ridiculous assassin. Who's going to be next? Like you just want to see who's next. You want to see that next cutscene. Well, of course Dragnix likes Suda games. Well, that's actually how I found his channel, is the Killer7 port for Steam had came out recently, and I was looking up gameplay of it because I wanted to see if anyone had been playing it, and I happened to come across Dragnix. It might have been one of his streams had ended already, and I watched it, like the first mission, and so I was like, okay, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. And I'm going to watch next time he streams, and that's basically how I found Dragnix. And I remember watching too, and I was just like really... I thought it was really cool that he was giving the game so much of a chance. Because Killer7 is, is very unintuitive. It doesn't give you much when you first get into it because you have no idea what's going on. It doesn't really explain a lot. Like there, there's not a lot of motive to keep going if you're confused or don't know what, what to do or anything. But I like the fact that Dragnix was actually giving it a shot and he kept going and he was appreciating the things that he, he was seeing. Um, and he played it to the end of, of almost the end of the mission, I think. And he, he said he was enjoying it. And I was like, okay, this guy's pretty cool. Because when I first played Killer7, I was maybe like 13 or 14 years old. I had no idea what I was doing. And I was like, uh, yeah, I don't know about this game. I was like, I was ready to quit because I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to progress. And then I was like, you know what? I spent my money on this. I want to at least beat the first mission. And then by the end of that first mission, hang on, I'm getting a phone call. From Sylvia, probably. Jesus, Wiimote's on a high vibration. Wait, wait a second, I can't hear anything. Oh no! 
This is my friend's Wii remote, so I don't know if... Or maybe it's a Wii U glitch, but I do not hear Sylvia's voice coming out of the my Wii remote right now. She should be saying, like, the next guy up ahead is going to probably kill you. So just get ready to... Oh, there she goes. Head for the Garden of Madness. Alright, that was a weird glitch. Like, the phone call didn't come through until, like, the end of it. I don't know if that was, like, because I'm playing on the Wii U. Or what. But that was always something that I thought was really cool. Like, the fact that your, your Wii remote vibrates, and then you put it up to your head like a phone, and that's where the voice is coming out of. That's one thing I really love about Suda because he sees a new console or game design and he's like, what can I do with that? You know, what can I do to, to make it interesting? Uh, of course I'm not going to forget the mask. Oh, Mike Duels, you're the one who's going to tell me that. Travis, do you remember those golden days in Calgary? The path of pro wrestling that you have long forgotten. If even a fragment of the spirit of, of a wrestler remains in your blood, remember the first suplex that your master taught you. Yes, that's right. The darkness piercing front neck chancery drop. MS. So now look at this. MS. Hmm, I wonder what that could stand for. Perhaps Mask de Smith? Ah. Oh. Is it possible that Travis learned wrestling moves from Mask Smith from Killer7. It's a possibility. So you gotta pick up the mask first. If you don't pick up the mask and you just go right to the boss, then I don't know what to tell you, man. You're, you have some issues. So we use the bathroom to save. That's the one thing that everybody remembers about this game, if they remember anything. More pizza, and then here we go. Our first boss, the ranked 10th assassin. In a body bag. It's not very polite, Travis. See, they give you the right amount of details. Like, there's wrinkles in Death Metal's face. He has the piercings. Each, you know. They give you enough detail that it's it's a really cool design choice. This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up. This is no paradise. All right, then what is it? The sound when he gets up and his shirt drops. Sound design in Suda games are always really good. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well. They're taking their steps up as they pull their weapons out. And then of course Death Metal's weapons basically like yours except way bigger. It's a really cool uh, it's a really cool choice for the first boss to introduce you to. 
because he's really like this parallel to Travis. He is Travis is a young dude. He's just starting to become an assassin. He's at the he's at the beginning of his journey, and Death Metal's at the end of it. He's an older assassin. He's basically like he's virtually retired at this point. He's in this huge mansion. The only reason he's fighting you is because you're challenging him. And this is like everything that Travis wants. He's like, I want to be where this guy is, you know. You know, he's he's rich. He's he's successful. To th to Travis thinks that this is paradise, like he says in the opening. But even uh, Death Metal tells him like this is no paradise. And if you listen to Travis's suplex time. Travis is doing a monologue right now as you fight an inner monologue. You can't really hear it that well. Oh, I don't know if there's subtitles. I should have turned that on. But in the, in the uh, monologue, Travis is thinking about everything like what life would be as this, you know. He has his own personal trainers, his own private chefs. But I think he realizes by the end of it that he's kind of stuck if he gets to this point, like if this is his end goal in life, is that really him, is it really paradise? Or is he actually trapping himself? And I think that's a, that's something that a lot of people miss when they, when they uh, think about this game, because they think about like, oh, it's over the top bloody, there's crazy wacky bosses, but there's actually some like interesting, profound stuff about the characters if you like look deeply into it or if you just like pay attention to certain uh, aspects about it so suplexing the boss suplexing bosses tends to be like the best way to damage them at least earlier on and usually it's you can hear them blocking your weapon a certain way like the sound will change oh he's doing his little his, his shadow clone jutsu technique Let's get that battery. Now I don't have to recharge. Now I don't have to do the funny recharge motion that you guys like so much. But hang on, let me get rid of these guys. And then I'll explain what I was explaining before. Oh, that must be the real one. There we go. Okay, he's gone. There's the other fake one. And he's about to be- oh no, he beat me! Okay, I need to- let me start upping my game here. Did I mention I haven't played this in a while? There we go. Alright, so... So when he's blocking with his weapon like that, you can press the B button to do like your your hit, which will like stun him. And then you could go in for a... for a suplex. And so, the normal blocks are kind of like a tink tink noise. But when you start hearing like these heavier thunks, that usually indicates that you can stun them for a suplex. Like that, there we go. It's all like the visual and audio cues. Oh, Alright, Dragnix. I'll see you later, dude. Uh, tell Andrew I said thanks, and I'll, I will see you later. And here's the freaking the first kill of the game. First boss kill. The moment I've been waiting for. Just look at the blood just pouring out. Is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man. And Death Metal's not even mad that he lost. He's just like, you know, he's done everything. And he's just impressed, and he's like, "Okay, this is it. This is this is where I end." 
So notice how I got all that extra money off that 777. And don't even get me started on the the PS3 version of this game. His body's just there. I might do a video on that eventually. Got some extra HP. About how the PS3 version of this, the port, is like so... So... Ugly? Like I've heard there's some smaller issues here and there, but the main thing is just the visuals. Like they, they really screwed screwed up the visuals somehow well there's there's other stuff too like some of the sound design is off strange just but it's just ugly it looks like a mess I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should so I just gotta do this a few more times right if you so choose yes and you will keep your promise? There is nothing the association cannot do. And if I refuse? As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a... So notice how Travis says, So if I keep killing and going up the ranks, you'll keep your promise. But he doesn't say what the promise is. And a lot of people just assume it's, Oh, that she'll sleep with him. Because the game does really suggest that. But, um... Perhaps he's talking about more than that. Because listen here. See, now he's saying, If I become number one, will you do it with me? So everyone thinks that that's the whole goal of the game, and that's Travis's whole goal. But he says it there at the end. He says, how about if I become number one, you'll do it for me. But before that, he says, will you keep your promise? Ah. So you see, there's something else going on there, isn't there? I don't know who would Omni slash better, because I don't know Cloud that well compared to Travis. And Mike Dole's, the PS3 version is a big mess, okay? It looks like someone covered the camera in grease. And then they filmed all the cutscenes. Like, if something isn't greasy, then it's just lens flared to hell. And now we're back at the motel. Where we can use the bathroom and save. See, the town send residents. Ooh. So does that mean that... Death Metal's last name is Townsend. I think it is actually, if you get his, uh, the concept art for his character, it gives you a little bit of info. Am I ready? Anytime. Gotcha. Dude, there it is. There's his beam katana. And there's the, the infamous Moe. So Travis's like original outfit is so iconic. I find it hard swapping out of it. Cause there are lots of different uh cool outfits you can unlock as you play through the game. Like a uh, different colored jackets and stuff sunglasses but this look you know it's like so so cool but if, if I get something cooler later I'll, I'll probably come back there's Gene his cat is the game a little quiet let me turn it up I feel like the balancing in the game itself is almost like, compared to my voice, is a little much. Is that better? Let's see, is there a way to, to turn on subtitles? Is there like a menu to this game? I actually don't remember. Let's see, these buttons aren't doing anything.
All right, so the toilet is a save. The TV, we can't really do anything yet. We could watch the original No More Heroes trailer, but we don't need to watch that. Um, the fridge is just like an aesthetic thing you feel. You could play with Gene. That's always fun. You hungry? Come on, Gene. Come get your num nums. There, there. Really, you'd think that Shenmue would have a lot of customization because that th that game looks like I got all the masks from that mission. Because Shenmue is really known for its detail and like all the different inter interactivity you can do, so that's actually kind of surprising. Well, better get out of here. Because we got more assassins to kill. Configure. Maybe here we can set subtitles. There we go. Now we have subtitles on. That should help. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> oh, bar. Let's see if I remember how to, uh, how to drive. Oh, we can't drive anyways. Because we have a little cutscene. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot how to get off the thing. See, there's a there's a limo waiting for us. Huh? The next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. The ninth ranked assassin is currently Doctor Peace. Doctor Peace. Actually, a detective. A dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigation. Is the volume better for the game or should I turn it up a bit more? He is your one stop shop for marketing illegal goods. And on top of that, he Maybe I'll just turn up the cutscenes and then doing some when he goes back to the gameplay, I'll turn it back you know down. It, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be There's fair, Travis the Creeper. Good. You won't stand a chance against him. You're as good as dead. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer one hundred and fifty thousand LB dollars. What? One hundred and fifty thousand LBs? Your entry fee, my overhead costs. Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price, or that I am ripping you off. Or so you have to shit. pay this big ass entry fee. Of thousands. Personally, yeah, that, that sounds reasonable. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? What the hell am I supposed to do? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on the job training would be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, they're erasers. I'll tell you where it is later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? What? Ah! No! <laughs> I like how he screams no. Just because he got kicked out of the car. Okay, and then we could turn down the game volume again. I'm just going to do that, probably. So now we need to earn some money in order to pay our entry fee for the next assassin boss fight. But of course, we're not good enough. They're saying sorry. We only like hard workers here, and you're just a neat who watches anime all day. So now we gotta go to the job center and get a real job. Yeah, 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 I know. Day. <laughs> Is your boy Bishop bringing me my bike? Let's see if I remember how to drive.
Hey, not bad. I kind of remember. It might take me a minute to really get used to it. See how fast we could get there. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, the, the sandbox world here is very basic. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do. It's kind of cool for what, you know, for what it is, but at the same time, it's like you try to compare it to like Grand Theft Auto and it's like, oof, this is, it, this is nothing. You can't really crash into most things. You'll, you'll fall off your bike a lot. It, there isn't a lot going on here, which is why in the second game they, they kind of streamlined it and they just made it a map. But I do, if, if No More Heroes 3 has a sandbox world, kind of, but it's just, like, better, that would be really sick. Because it is a fun idea, whoops. Because it is a fun idea, for sure. He's calling me a third raider. All the first raiders in the world were once third raiders. That's a good point. Gotta work my damn butt off until I'm puking blood. And then work some more. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what you got for me. Oh, coconut collector. Sure, why not? Look at the stars. That's always fun to do on the loading screen. So now we gotta go to the job. And this is the part that probably most people don't like about the game. Which is understandable, because it's like... Okay, I got this game to kill people and slice heads off. I didn't get it to... To do... Part-time jobs. But I mean... It is what it is. It, it's it's kind of funny. I think it's it's kind of neat. Gosh, the Wii is really chugging right now. All right. So, anyways, we're collecting coconuts. I'm not sure why some of the trees aren't prompting me to hit them. God, and then all the ones I'm getting are just dropping one coconut. You could get like three. Oh my god. This is this is really bad. not doing very good. This is like a weird job to start off with too. Like there's other jobs in the game that are weirder than this, but then there's other jobs that are like a lot more m mundane. Like you don't think of coconut collecting as a... Oh, here we go. Three. Oh, four. Okay, so we hit the jackpot here. Oh, we can't pick up more than three. Anyways, so they tricked me. 
Come on. Come on. That's true. I like how the way that Travis punches the tree is like very similar to how Snake does his CQC attacks in Metal Gear Solid as well. It's like almost the same thing. It's just like a little like more extended. I don't know how many coconuts I need to get for a good score. Probably not going to get it, whatever it is. Let's just bring this one back. If we can, in time. Come on. Come on. Ah, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Come on, this is the most exciting moment in video game history. Okay, I made it. Alright. Is 9 good? Okay, that was weird. Is that enough for gold? Yeah, we got a gold medal. Okay, so once you do the boring job, he actually gives you the go ahead to do like an actual assassin job. So now we can do an assassin job. How much money do I have? See, I almost have enough to... for the entry fee. So after this assassin gig, I should have enough. So... Okay, this one should be enough. Pizza butt. So we just gotta go and kill their CEO. That seems chill enough. Imagine if that was your mission, like, oh, just assassinate the CEO of Pizza Hut, and then uh, you can go ahead and, yeah, that's chill. Alright. Let's knock down all the palm trees. Just for fun, you know. Looks like we're going this way. Whoops. See, I screwed up that time trying to, to do the, the quick turn. That's what happens when you get cocky. Oh. Did I go the wrong way? Wait, is it in there? Oh, it's on the other side. I see. It's actually good to explore the town because you find some items that could be helpful. But I don't need to do that right now. And here we are. To battle Papa John, the most powerful assassin of them all. Oh god, that drained like all my battery. I forgot how, how easily your first beam katana drains. It's actually pretty bad. Oh, and you don't get any uh, roulette wheels during these missions when you're not doing like a main mission. I forgot about that. These guys have a lot more health than death metal's goons. I just gotta kill him, right? Oh yeah, it was just the one target. Thanks, I will take the $30,000 now. Bronze. I mean, I only did the mission exactly as you requested, is all, so... Bronze medal, sure. 
So now they straight up tell you you have enough money. And so we can go home. Or I think there's a shortcut. If I can find it. This way. Oh! There's a Lakatov wall. If you can find seven of those, they can be very helpful. Yeah, I should have just followed the map home. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, here we go. And here's the shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, kids, if you get lost, just drive your, your bike off of a cliff. Yeah, man, I've been wanting to replay these for a while. Uh, especially the second one, because I haven't... I think I only played No More Heroes 2 uh, once. Like, I only played it through one one time. This one I played through like a few times, so the second one I don't remember as well. So we paid our entry fee. Which means we can uh, try for the next ranked assassin. I feel like I'm noticing some glitches here and there um, that I don't remember in the original. I wonder if the Wii U does that. Hey Trevor, the next fight has been prepared. Destroy stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. All right, so we're going to destroy stadium. It's a very normal name for a place. Might as well save while we're at it. Okay, cool. We're, we're on this the second mission and we're only about 45 minutes in it looks like. Oh, well, no, according to my OBS, we're like an hour into the stream. I guess because of the, the cutscenes, the opening cutscenes and stuff. That's really weird that the Wii U would would cause some Wii games to glitch. Because, I mean, it's, it's called the Wii U. It has a Wii in the name. I remember the GameCube emu emulator on the... Well, not emulator, just playing GameCube games on the Wii where it was always like perfect. I, I don't remember any issues from those at all. And you'd think that the Wii and the Wii U would be more compatible if anything. So that's very strange to me. So far the most egregious glitch was just the phone call on the Wii not coming in right away. You like the sharp, jagged pixels? That's funny. You're probably the only person. Because <laughs> it, it's it's literally like a... Just... You know, it's just a resolution thing. It's not like... A game... Choice. But I guess... In a sense of... Uh, nostalgia, I can kind of see what you're saying. Because that's just how games were at that time. Like when you... Only had the... Like the old cathoid ray box TVs and here we are at destroy stadium that was always really cool when it shows you like the little glimpse of the the boss it tells you their name and it and they, they like say something dr. peace let me sing my song. So like straight up we're just fighting dudes in baseball outfits, baseball bats and jerseys. 
That's cool. Yeah, don't do that to me while I'm suplexing a guy. Dude, he straight up does a tombstone. He throws his beam katana in the air, tombstones the guy, and then the beam katana drops down and finishes him off. Like, that's really cool. Yeah, man. I, I totally get Dreamcast vibes as well. And I, uh... I had Dreamcast. So... I can, I can totally see what you're saying. Maybe that was one of the reasons that, uh... That drew me to it. I th honestly, though, I think it was just... I feel like there's, like, some secret thing I missed back there, but whatever. We're not doing a completionist. Oh, never mind. Never mind. But, um... I just remember I got the Wii, and I remember seeing stuff about No More Heroes coming out, because there weren't a lot of M-rated titles for the Wii. Um, especially not an exclusive. So the fact that there was like this exclusive M-rated game coming out, and then it also looked pretty cool, got me interested. So... I had heard a little bit about Killer7 beforehand, and when I heard like, okay, the dude who made No More Heroes made Killer7, and I was at this, like a thrift store, and I saw Killer7 for sale on cheap, so I was like, you know what, I'll try it out. I just went back the other way, didn't I? Yeah, I'm a dummy. Yeah, like, clearly, like, there's enemies right over here. Um... The driving in No More Heroes isn't great, but it's something that you can get the hang of. Like, as you could see, I haven't played this game in years, and I've, I've been doing okay. I don't think I've even crashed yet. I will soon enough, don't you worry. Oh, this guy is an actual beam katana. This guy is a real badass. I forget how to do the dark slide. I probably should have looked at the tutorial. Maybe in between streaming I'll try to figure that one out again. And now we can go the other- I went the exact wrong way. Headhunters for Dreamcast. I don't think I've ever played that. But if you say it has bad driving or or if people complain it has bad driving, I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. Look all that money. Yeah, I like have not been using Oh, sick. Now I could get rid of these guys really quickly. Potentially. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's really satisfying when you get the power-ups because you can kill enemies so quickly. And that's why I don't use charge attacks very much with this first weapon, because boy does it drain your sword, your weapon very quickly. Is that everyone? Yep. This is the baseball part, huh? Now this is where the fun part comes in. Cause I get to play baseball. Hit the ball. Controls. Yep. You just 
You just swing the Wii remote like a bat. Nice! Sick. If you don't do that right, um, you have to fight all the people that are left over. So that probably saved me a bunch of time. Jeez, look at all that money. It just keeps coming. I was gonna say before that baseball part happened. Oh, I like that with the Wii remote and controller and stuff, Suda had a lot of cool ideas to implement, but he doesn't make you do it constantly. Like one of the satisfying things about No More Heroes is that you only wave the nunchuck and controller like for finishing blows for the most part. Through the rest of the game, there's very uh, minimal motion control for the for the most part which is really neat I think it's a very good balance it, it doesn't make you do it too much I could be wrong but I think that was a lot of the complaints for Skyward Sword is that they they um, give you too much motion control throughout the game no, I haven't played Diabolical Pitch. I do know that it's like this baseball game. I've no, I, I didn't have an Xbox, so I definitely didn't have a Kinect because that's, you know, like a whole different peripheral that you would need to have. I never had a, I never had a PS2. I never had a PS3, though my brother did get one. I had... I had Super Nintendo. Like, that's the first one I really grew up on. And then I got an... I had an N64 and, like, a PS1 at one point, but not a lot of games. Like, a very... Like, a few games. And then I had, like, an N64 for a while, while the other kids had, like, PS2 and GameCube and Xbox. So I was like really behind. And then I got a Dreamcast hand-me-down one day. And I was like, what the hell is this? I didn't even know what a Dreamcast was. Because none of the other kids had one at school. So I never heard anyone talking about it. Oh, here's another baseball. So I was like, what is this at first? I have no idea. And then I played it because like they had a lot of games with it. Like half of them were burned and half of them were like real games. Because little known fact, it was extremely easy to, to, uh, whoa, that was fast, to pirate Dreamcast games and burn them on a discs. Very good, cool. Um, it's not just a baseball game, it's a Suda51 co-op insane baseball game. Okay, I believe that. That sounds about right. I, I know that he's also a big baseball fan, which would make sense because baseball is huge in Japan anyways, but um, I should check that out. I try not to check out gameplay of games that are interesting to me, just in case I ever get to play them, but I, I doubt I'll ever get to play that because I do not have a connect. Yeah, this Wii Remote has like a weird volume. I might switch this out. I think I'm using my friends right now, actually. There's Dark Slide. I kind of figured it out by accident there. Uh, I still don't really know it. Oh, cool. Did he just like slide towards me? Is that what part of that power is? They just... Does this dude have a gun or did he like throw a baseball at me? 
probably threw a baseball at me. There we go. Well, that's one thing about the charge moves, they could kill the people without having to do anything else, that's cool. Alright. I think we're getting near the the boss. Hopefully. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, I should probably just look up Diabolical Pitch and see if, uh, just check it out. Since I, like you said, I probably won't get, be able to play it anyways. Here we go. This is probably my favorite power up because it's just, whoops, pressed the wrong button. Because it's just, it's badass. And then it's like black and white, but then like, so the blood stands out a lot. The only thing though, it's slow. So if the enemies are far apart, then it's not the best one to have. Yeah, the only other motion you really do that's like continuous is you hold your controller higher or lower to do like higher or low attacks. But there's only two levels of it, high or low. That it's not very cumbersome or anything. But I do understand like some people just they just don't want a lot of motion controls in their game, which is understandable. You know, it's definitely not for everybody. How do I dark slide? If I could figure out a dark slide, it would make some of these fights a lot better. See, notice how I never get the, the three sevens? That's how lucky I was that first mission. It's, it's very rare. There we go. Clash is always cool, just... Oh! He didn't get finished off by a Clash. I guess these guys are tougher. Okay, and there's a Dark Slide. You have to like move the joystick in a certain direction at the right time or something. What's the Tiger thing on the top right? Oh, um... The Tiger is when you get a power-up in the slot machine, it goes into the tiger mode, and then that's your time limit for it to, to power off, like once the tiger reaches the other side of the screen. And thank you, I appreciate that. See, now you can actually read what she's saying. And the Wii remote's working again. Uh oh, the Wii remote's dying. Well, it's not dying, but the, the audio keeps glitching. Darn you, Wii U. Ruining my childhood. Hey look, another mask that's really hard to, to miss. I don't know who would ever skip over the mask and go right to the boss. You made progress. I caught the podcast that said you're getting your edge back. I probably didn't even know what a podcast was back then. Do you remember your second suplex? A terrifying trip to the moon, the reverse arm, arm salt. MS. Alright, cool. We got another wrestling move under our belt. Are you guys ready for the next boss fight? Because I sure am. I'm wondering if I should uh, stop the stream after this boss fight and then continue next time or try to do one more
I, I think I'll probably stop after this boss fight. I think two bosses per stream would be a good amount. Alright, here we go. This is one of the coolest bosses in the game, honestly, too. Like his introduction. Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. A gentleman from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted today. How could I refuse such a kind offer? Tch. Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. My ex-wife called me the other day and I met my daughter for the first time in ten years. We dined at a fancy restaurant. One of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then afterwards, karaoke. Who got you the reservation? The association took care of it, of course. Fuck. My entry fee. What's important is not the fact the reservations are hard to get. In fact, no one gets reservations. The words reservations only apply only to those outside of the circle. It's getting into that circle that matters. And the food, good? Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Oh, the food tasted like blood. You're a junkie for blood, old man. Sadly, I can't disagree. There's only one way to live. People like us, we're sharks attracted to blood. You smelled blood too, didn't you? Isn't that why you're here? You got it, old man. And for some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. Don't die on me too quickly. I want to gorge myself on this sense of fulfillment till I vomit. Man, this is what I live for. Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. See you on the other side. Oh. Oh. I don't know why Travis thought it would be a good idea to swing at a bullet, but hey. So yeah, what an introduction. So the first dude we were fighting had a huge laser sword. Now we're fighting a gunslinging Texan. If he gets you with that shot, I think he blasts you, like, really far back. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, whoops, I missed. Oh, there we go, see? Notice how he started blocking with his hands? And the block sounds were slightly different, so that's when you stun for the suplex. It looks like I did like a chicken wing suplex or something. Ooh, dark slide. There we go. That's what I like to see. If you block his, like, quick gunfire barrage, your, your battery drains very quickly. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Come on. There we go. Speed run is uh, coming along as planned. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. Yeah, there's not really much to this boss fight. It's really just avoid his gun his gunshots and then attack after he fires and stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, grab him this time. You want to get those suplexes in because they really drain his damage quickly. Don't forget that. There we go. He's almost finished. See, I could have stunned him right there. I was over zealous. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is gonna be it right here. Don't kid yourself. Playtime. It's over. Okay, if I screw that up, I think it's an instant death. So Next song I sing, I know my daughter will love. Won't you, darling? <laughs> Better practice my rap. <laughs> rap with me, Jennifer. Uh. It's open mic night in hell, old man. Sing all you want down there. See, Travis has like this odd mixture of being rude but also kind of respectful in a way you know like he held the mic up for him in his dying moments he listened to what he had to say let him let him say what he wanted to say before he died and yeah i mean that's not the and that's not the most noble position to be dead in but besides that good stuff Sweet. Dead Rising came out one year before No More Heroes, but it feels like No More Heroes did the whole psycho killer with a much better, deep and fresher perspective. Um, which psycho killer? Because there's more than one of those. Congratulations! I guess you mean you Travis. Are now ranked number nine. What you expect? Wait a minute. Are you getting a Look, little sentimental? See, Still green, aren't you? You know this is only See, Travis the isn't even happy Call about me when the next this dude. one's arranged. Notice how he just walks away. Game set. It's like at this point Travis is starting to question like I don't know. I think there's just some people that he's more comfortable killing and then other people where he's like he doesn't feel that sense of gratification as much or, or something about it almost feels regretful. Another aspect of the game a lot of people don't talk about very much. Let's see. Could stop here or I could do one more boss. How many how many of you guys are going to stay watching if I do one more boss? Cuz if you guys 
are going to stick with me, I might push through and do one more boss. It is Friday night after all. What do you guys think? I want to fight one more boss. Mike Duels, I will give Hi, you a hint. From if I do fight the next this boss, you're probably going to want to stick around for it. Touchdown. Just calling to remind you that you haven't returned one of our rentals. Let's see here. It's um, titled Big German Jugs Collection Number 23. Be sure to return it soon. Have a nice day. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the ninth UAA right, rank enough. is now complete. I think I'll do one more then. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Sure, why not? In addition, I'm having fun. We have faxed you some information about the rankings. And if you guys are having fun, and I'm having fun, as a friendly reminder, then let's keep it going. There will be a small nominal fee to participate in ranked fights. A small Thank nominal fee, yeah, 150,000. Have a nice day. Oh, they want 200,000 for this next fight. That's chill. That's totally reasonable. I'm sure the price won't keep getting higher or anything either. Alright, see now we're starting to unlock all the extra buildings, which I can also show you guys real quick. How much money do we have right now? Look, we already almost have enough for the uh, next boss, so it, it probably won't take too long. So in the meantime, I could show you guys. Actually, it depends on if I spend money right now, because I might. Ooh. I almost forgot. You can find stuff in the trash cans. See, I got a new shirt. I think it said, I love Santa Destroy. So yeah, you always want to check the trash cans. I'm guessing you can guess uh, what you can do in this place. Don't lay a finger on her butterfingers. I can upgrade my beam katana. But then I'll have to work more jobs. What does this one do? A sensor that can locate buried treasure. Oh, that's a good one. I think I'm just going to get this for now. No, but if I get the better weapon, then... That means I can get through... Kill enemies quicker. You know what? I'll get the better weapon. I think it's a good investment. And now I just need to make enough money, which I should be able to do in just a couple jobs. So hopefully I made the right choice though. Oh yeah, a lot of people like Naomi. For uh, for certain reasons, maybe more than other reasons, but I won't elaborate on that. See the, the card collision right there? That's like an example of how the, the overworld is pretty, pretty sloppy. But it's fine. It is what it is. We should check out this. Ah, oh, you know what? Oh, it's right, they're right next to each other. That's fine, and then there's another dumpster. 
Remember, kids, if you break open dumpsters, you can find $2,000 and free clothes. So here's Thunderu. Oh yeah, that. You want to do that? Come over here. I'll teach you a little something. Take off your clothes. Off. Off. Okay, see? Look, I know it doesn't look right, but believe me, it's it's not what it looks like. Okay, we get it. Okay. Jeez, I forgot how bad this guy is. Yeah, haven't you ever taken a dump in a Japanese toilet before? Oh my god, I for See, he's just trying to train you. It's not a big deal. Relax. I might as well do these. They're pretty cheap. We're gonna make some more money anyways. Dude, who needs Ring Fit Adventure when you can just do this, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your Beam Katana's combo has been extended. See, that was worth it after all, wasn't it? I've heard of Neutral Milk Hotel. I don't really know them that well, but I have heard of them. But that's that's a fun fact. I do know that No More Heroes is named after a punk album, I believe, with the of the same name. It was like literally called No More Heroes. Oh, this actually gets kind of tiring for your thumb after a while. Or my arm, like depending on how you uh, quickly press A. That's my technique. Strength increased. Oh god, squats. If you time it right, I think you can... Uh, yeah, you can keep going before the prompts even come up, but you have to get the timing, like, very specifically. Alright, nice. Maximum vitality has increased a little bit. Alright, cool. So yeah, this guy's a little sketchy, but he 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 means well. You know, he's just trying to teach you proper pros posture. Um, doesn't want you hurting yourself. And then we just need to check out the the clothing store, and I think that's all the new areas we've unlocked pretty much. Then we could do some jobs real quick. Do another locked off wall and a dumpster. Got a new shirt. I don't know how I, f how I feel about the red on the red. Red jacket and a red shirt, eh. It's a little much. Well, Suda's been known to name his characters for kind of funny reasons. Because people have asked him if Travis in No More Heroes and Travis in Killer7. Oh look another lock of ball. Uh, if they're related in any way or if like they're like the same character. And Suda literally just said, No, I just really like the name Travis. That's it. <laughs> he just likes the name. Come on in, brother. So this dude, um I forget his name, but he's based off of a real-life guy. 
And he looks exactly like that. He wears the mask and the hat and the clothing. I completely forget his name. He might be like a musician or just like a, des a designer, fashion designer. I don't remember. But I do know that he exists in real life. So you can see like different sunglasses you could get. Pretty cool. Jacket. See the black jacket? I. This is probably my favorite jacket besides his main one. This black jacket's really cool. This one's okay. Kind of looks like Leon. We don't really need to buy shirts or anything. You can use some new jeans though. Those old ones are kind of torn up. But we'll come back once we have more money. This isn't really... You know, this is just an aesthetic type of thing. So now we can make our money. How do you pronounce that? Lavakov? Um... Oh, Lavakov. I kept calling it like Lakatov. I don't even think I was reading it right. The, the letters were just... I don't know. I, I think it's Russian. Because you bring the, them to this Russian dude. And I don't know Russian or how you would pronounce things in Russian. So I have no idea. You would probably know better than me. Honestly. And there we go. So let's see if we got it. they got any new jobs for us. I don't know if they do. Why you come here? Shall we wait on me? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Oh, cool, lawn mowing. That's a lot more respectable than collecting coconuts. See, we're moving up in the world, slowly but surely. All right, let's go mow some lawns. That's what I expected to do when I popped this game in as a kid. You should get money for knocking down trees just because it's fun to do. Not in real life, though. All right. The god of handwork. The god of lawns. Imagine being the god of lawns. That wouldn't be very impressive, would it? Here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Three, two, one. Oh god, I completely don't remember the the good strategy for doing this so I'm just winging it I forgot that you actually use the Wii remote to steer in this maybe I should just be going just through the middle to say forget it forget strategy just just go all out man just take out as much as you can. Uh-oh. I say that and then I start getting the pieces I'm missing. You know, let's just, let's just do it. But Travis is having fun. This is a lot of grass. This would be a huge pain in the ass to to clean. I don't know if you've ever mowed a lawn before, but it's not fun. Especially because you gotta like empty the bag. See this this grass kind of magically disappears, which is nice.
Maybe it is like more possible to get all the grass than I thought. I should have been playing more carefully like I was at the beginning. Oh well. You learn from your mistakes. As long as I do well enough, they'll give me the assassin mission. I don't think I have to do perfect. I wonder if you can actually take out all the grass, because that would be impressive. Look, it, it, see how it let me keep playing afterwards? I don't think you could do that in the Wii version. I think that's a glitch. Since I'm playing this on Wii U. Silver should be good enough, right? Ah, here we go. Well, what do they uh, do with their lawns in other countries? I mean, you have to mow it, right? Once in a while, or else it'll get out of control. Alright, let's try this. This looks like it'll pay a lot of money. Well, if you live in an apartment, you don't have to mow your lawn because it's not really your lawn, so that's something to consider. Unless you're like mowing someone else's lawn for money. Whoops. Trash cans. Don't want to miss those. Yeah, money. Yeah. So you don't even have to go around killing people and mowing lawns. You could just bust open dumpsters and get the money. Whoops. Yeah, I'm still human. I mess up the the quick turn now and then. There we go. That was a good one. I was pretty proud of that. I want to be honest. Mission start. Oh, okay, it's just this. Oh, pff. well, that was horrible. Damn. I was doing so good before. And then I didn't even go all the way. That was, that was bad. I'm probably not even gonna get bronze for that. Silver, okay. I didn't deserve that. That was awful. Your grandma garden. Alright, that wasn't a great mission for making money. I haven't been doing this a lot. Just like jumping down. I think the one improvement that the PS3 game, the PS3 port had over the original, is that when you finish a mission, it takes you back to the mission place. I think that's like the one good thing I could say about the, the port. But besides that, like everything else is, is flawed. Oh, this is a bonus mission, I think. So I think these are extra missions that they give you a chance to do once in a while. And the challenge is... Um, 
you can't get hit once. If you get hit once, then it stops. So these ones are pretty tough. So I think that's the best strategy. Is to try to just slice them in one hit. If I recall. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh god, more of them. Okay, good. We're out of batteries. Gotta be really careful. But you'll get a lot of money if you can finish these missions. Oh god. Come on. Oh no! Okay, that was really close. Oh god, he's still alive. That would suck if I lost because he won a, a struggle. God. Let's come around this way. Runs funny. All right. Hopefully, this is the last guy. These, these missions especially suck when there's dudes with guns. Those are the worst. Is that it? Yes, dude, we did it. I should get a lot of money for that. Hopefully. And the things that suck about these missions too is if you fail. You can't just try it again. I think you only get a limited um, amount of tries with these. I think after every boss you unlock like another one and you only get to really try it once. I could be wrong, but I, I do know you can't try it again after losing. All right, so now more missions. Whoops. See, I saw some trash cans and I got excited. I probably sound like a raccoon right now. It's just one. I don't know why I said some. Well, I got a new shirt. So I guess it was worth it in the end. Hopefully we can get enough money from one more mission. Oh no! Okay, that was really close to... Man, everything's so far away though. Maybe I should just jump into the ocean. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. <laughs> that was a goof. Gotta be going at the right angle. Course. This ought to do it. Okay, now we should be a lot closer to the missions. Yeah, it's a little speed run strategy. No big deal. Oh yeah, it's right there. Perfect. And see, it's a good thing I upgraded my beam katana. Because if I was trying to do that other mission with the charge attacks I was using, my katana would have been draining like way faster. Um, kill until you die. Mission ends when your life runs out. That sounds like it'll take a while. 
Kill using wrestling moves only. That sounds fun. So I think we need 50,000 more. It's 3,000 per kill. That's like... What, like 14 kills should be good? Wait, 15? 10 would be 30,000. And 20 would be two-thirds of that. So like 16? 17? Look, I'm not a math expert. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me see, how much money do I have? Yeah, 150,000. I mean, if I kill 20, then for sure that's good. So let's just try to get close to 20. That can be the goal here. Whoops. I quick turned in the wrong direction. Oh! I didn't quick turn at all that time. Oh! We keep going to destroy stadium. I guess it's because we were just there, so we unlocked the missions that take place there. That makes sense. All right, here we go. Take out our beam katana while we don't use it. Except right there. All right, so we need to get like 20 kills would be enough for sure. No, you can always do like most of the missions you can re you can always retry them. The only missions you can't retry are those special ones where if you take one hit you die you lose. Gosh. I'm trying to figure out how to there we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get as much as I need, and that's fine. We'll just do one more after this, no big deal. That's how, how the cookie crumbles. These guys just don't want to get stunned. There we go. Maybe I just had to hold it. Yeah, that might have been it. Is this it? There's just this one guy left. Maybe I'll get a bonus for clearing it. Anyone else? Oh, then more drop down. Okay, I should have known. I probably... Nope, oh, okay. Damn, that was almost 10. And it sucks because the destroy stadium is so far away from the missions place. So you might as well just do this. And you know what, I think I'll just do that baseball mission again. Because that's pretty quick, you literally just swing... You just hit the ball. And... I think it's 3,000 per hit. And I only need... Yeah. Oh, I 
keep thinking A is to get off. Alright. Just gotta do this last job and then we'll have enough money. Oh, it's 4,500 per kill. That's even better. I thought it was 3,000 per kill. I could get like five hits and I, that should be plenty. Okay, that one, <laughs> I made my first big bike mistake. Oh, but look, it was serendipitous because I got a, a new shirt and a, another Lavakov ball. So sometimes things just work out, you know? So hopefully this time I can score a home run to catch what I'm saying. Hey, we did it! Okay, that, that ought to be plenty. I think it just gave me like passive money just for killing them too. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's plenty. There we go. Now that ought to make Babe Ruth proud. All right, now we got enough money. Now we can do this again. It's like he just screams as he falls to his doom. There's the ATM. See, the real cool part about this game is that it takes place in California. Which is where I live. So it feels like I'm at home. And all the palm trees is not an exaggeration. They really are everywhere. Alright. Ready to start our next mission. That's a pretty cool shirt. I think that's a Franz Kafka reference, actually, that shirt. Why? Because I cannot decide what to wear to the association's party tonight. Big shots from across the nation will be there. This is serious business. So serious that I'm going to spray perfume on every Did I mention this game's rated M? Inch of my body. For mature. Yeah, whatever. Right, right. Your next opponent. Head for the school. To the school? And then what? Just go. You'll know what I'm talking about, I think. What do you mean, you think? You know, you really suck at your job. Life is more important than some job. That is why I am busy shopping right now. You, on the other hand, are busy... Yeah, it's funny how you keep paying these entry fees, and meanwhile she's busy shopping. Am I That's not sketchy well, at all. I guess not. All right, then. So now we want to head to the school for our next ranked fight. 
which is interesting. Why would we go to a school for a ranked fight? I thought all ranked assassins were just old men. there. Alright, Mike Duels. You better still be watching. Or you're gonna regret it. What's that in your hand? A toy? What's that in your hand? A toy? No, oh, it's a real weapon, I promise. What's cool is that the quote that the boss characters say during like their entrance screens, they they never say during like the the cutscenes when you're actually fighting them. It's just kinda like this little extra comment. Which I think is neat. Talking to you, boy. Well, maybe you should have been paying attention and then you would have known. You know? I'm gonna fight I'm gonna have a ranked fight with the person. Oh six, seven, seven, seven. Um I'm about to have a ranked fight with the character that you're probably most interested in, in seeing me have a ranked fight with. Okay, does that, does that tell you enough? Oh god, there's a bunch of guys over here. I wonder how many of them I could kill with this. Two. Not bad. Could be better, could be worse. I love how he stabs behind him. If you're if you're standing away from him and you finish them off, it's like the fact he thought to program it to stab behind is pretty sick. Instead of just making your character turn around. Like watch. Boom! Stand stab behind him. It's a very neat detail, Suda. Almost enough. Well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Look, Santa Destroy High School. Does that help? Is that giving you? Some info? Dude, I can't but there's a lot of people who say they played this game and they don't even use the wrestling moves. And I think it's usually people who also say they're not a fan of the game. It's like, dude, how can you not use the wrestling moves? They're so fun. The only thing is that you can't get the uh, the slot machine, I think, unless you do the slashing finishers. Okay, this guy has a flaming weapon, that's chill. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That's... I'm gonna need that later. Oh no, I think it's if they set me on fire, you use that. I think that's what it is. Maybe, I don't know. 
It's been a while since I've played this, guys. I'm just gonna keep reminding you of that. <laughs> Secret hell. Some people never find the mask. You know, I find that hard to believe. I, I can't think of anyone in history who could possibly overlook something as right in your face as the mask. I mean, how could someone exist like that, you know? It would have to be some anomaly in in, uh, in in evolution, which would cause someone to 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 do that. Perhaps a, a mutation. I have a theory that all the goons that you're fighting aren't actually. Oh god, I got like the worst one to get in a long hallway. But if you see the tigers getting closer to the goal, and that indicates the time limit on your power that you're currently using. But uh, what was I gonna say? My theory is that the goons aren't working for the ranked assassin you're about to fight. I think they're working for the association. They're like trying to make it harder for you. Oh god. I remember this now. Oh no. <laughs> Travis is one weakness. Oh, oh. I'm being electrocuted. This is messed up. Can't do this to my boy Travis. There we go. He just punches it. I mean, that's a good strategy for fixing electronics. You just punch him. Half the time it'll make it worse, but half the time it will fix it. I like how I charged it and then I grabbed the battery anyway. That makes sense. Oh, nice. If you notice, like all of, almost all of Travis's power-ups are called like desserts. Like he called it strawberry cheese brownie. There we go. We got him. I really like the the visual filter they use, like for some of the the moves. Oh, and there we got this one again. See, strawberry chocolate sundae. Did he just say something? I don't remember the names of all the moves. I think in the manual it actually tells you all the moves' names. That's sick. This is like that scene from uh, Rogue One when Darth Vader is just walking down the hallway and he's just like wrecking all the rebels. It's an interesting scene because you're supposed to be cheering for the rebels, but the fact that it's Darth Vader just wrecking everyone. Like, everyone's just cheering at that part. And you're done for. Is that the last guy? Sure was.
Really, you're gonna laugh at me? Travis Touchdown? The number nine ranked assassin in the world? Look at that. Boom! Okay. You can't laugh at me. Oh, here we go. I don't think we've gotten this one yet. Oh, yeah, we did. A while ago. This one's awesome. You just hit him, and then you get to swing whatever direction you want. This is one of the best ones. Look at how fast I'm clearing everybody. Look at that. That was a great time to get that one. You know, I bet you for speed runs, a lot, a big part of like a good run is just getting the right power-ups at the right time, which probably drives in speed runners for this game crazy. If anybody speed runs this game, I, I don't really know. I'm sure there's someone out there that has. Dudes with the lightsabers tend to be stronger just inherently. I wonder if it's the lightsaber that makes them stronger, or if they just give lightsabers to the guys who are already tougher in the first place. And that's the last one. No, that was pretty cool. I don't really need those. I'm just gonna get out of here. Unless it's like a collectible. I don't really need it. There we go, see? Now that's important. Can't miss the trading card. One thing I like about the trading cards is that because you get them as you're going through the mission, it kind of gives you an idea of how... Oh, and there's a fifth one. Oh, 13. I guess I missed that one on the way. Well, good thing I saw it that time. Um. Oh, there we go. Phone call. Yeah. Your next rank fight begins when you step into that room. Win, and you'll rise to eight in rank. Lose, and an even deeper circle of hell awaits. Wipe your tears, hit the camera, pick the daughter of your... Angel ready, step inside. I highly doubt you'll survive this fight, but hey, only one way to find out, right? Here is your best shot. I am one... Isn't that nice? She says I'm 100% sure certain that you're going to return from this in a body bag. Yeah, I was about to say, the cards are a cool indication of how far you are into the mission, because there's five cards per mission. So if you're like on the fourth card, then it's like, oh, okay, I'm almost done. Remember, you always want to save before a boss fight. Huh, a mask. Perhaps we should pick it up. Travis, now you're getting back into the groove. Remember the 18th suplex of your master. So it's gone from 1st to 2nd to 18th. The trust building exercise gone wrong. Captured. MS. And before we go there, we can heal. Alright, here we go. Here comes the next ranked fight. Who's it gonna be? A rankings fight? Yeah, how about it? All right. Will you give me a minute? Wait for me in the hallway. Right. Yeah, this is a little dark. Apparently she doesn't like people knowing she's an assassin, but she's carrying around a sword. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Mind if we do this somewhere else? You're the boss. 
Stop checking me out like that. You killed them? Such a gentleman. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking with me? Bet they didn't offer much resistance. You got a problem with that? You got no idea how hard it is to hide your true self around here. Hey, I'm not accusing anybody. A real gentleman. I just turned my back, but you didn't strike. You are fucking with me! It's actually pretty hard to take cheap shots when your enemy is as bloodthirsty as is actually yourself. Pretty People like us respectful. think alike, don't we? Shall we? That's one thing about Travis. He's kind of a dirtbag, but he's not a dirty fighter. You will you know? pay with your life! Oh, At she's pissed I have now. my chance. I will now avenge my father! Something tells me you watch too many samurai movies, little girl. Sonic Sword! Holy! What the hell was that? Alright. There we go. Now this is like the first boss fight that's actually kind of challenging if you're playing for the first time. And I haven't played in a while, so hopefully... There we go, okay. I know she has this move that can like almost, almost insta-kill you. She gets you with it. There we go. She has pretty low health actually compared to the. Oh man, she beat me. That did a lot of damage too. Jesus. Come on, I can't I can't get beat by a high school girl, that would just be sad. It's not like she's the eighth ranked assassin or anything. Oh this. Is that? No, I think it's a different move they can do. I don't know. I don't want to find out. is actually so I get kind of low now. Oh god, oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I had my back turned. God damn it. That sucks. I can't believe I freaking died to that. Of course, the moment I... I turned my back... Well, I told you, like I said, this is like the first, like, actual challenging boss fight. What's that you're Jeez. I was about to heal, too. I was looking for the health. See what happens? You take her eyes off off of her for a second. And now she's like suddenly harder to hit. I'm 
No, I didn't leave in a body bag. If I could remember how to death slide properly, that would help a lot. Or the dark slide. There's this thing called dark slide, I keep mentioning it, where you like, you sidestep, and then you could get a bunch of hits in. But I'm not, I, I don't remember, there we go, like that. That's a dark slide. You have to like sidestep at the last moment. Damn it. I was damaging her so much quicker before. I need to heal. There's a dark slide. No, I goofed. See, I was doing the dark slide that time when I goofed. Where's that health at? That's what I really need to find. There it is. Is that a max? Nope, it's not even a max health. I think on easy mode, all the health drops are max health. Damn, I was doing so much better the first time. This is not looking good. I think she said the line that I said that she doesn't say during the attack. Oh my god. I'm not playing carefully at all like I said I was. See, I get like one hit on her, and then I just gotta dodge, I guess. I just... Oh no. Oh my god. If any of those hit me, I probably would have died. Jesus, that was lucky. Okay, I need to get this. Good thing I was right next to it. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. Oh god, come on. Yes. Oh my god, that was close. I did it. Sorry, Mike Duels. Your wife <laughs> is done. What are you waiting for? Finish me! Finish you? Don't look at me like that! Don't! I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. I never fought your father. Liar! You... you killed him! Slice him in two, you sick bastard! Whoa, whoa! Calm down a little. <laughs> Jacobs was my mentor. I'd never kill him. Liar! 
I watched Master Jacob's teachings on video over and over till the fucking tape wore out. We've never met in person. Kill me. I admit it. I lost. Just do it! How about kill yourself after you kill me? <laughs> Sounds like a bit straight out of a samurai movie, don't it? Shut up! Shut up and kill me already! You've How about already you kill yourself me after you kill me? Do it yourself. That's like a really good line. Please. I'll fight you anytime, anywhere. Until then, I'll be waiting. So yeah, Travis actually lets her go. Interesting. And if you notice, Travis learned from VHS tapes from Shinobu's father. Yeah, that's how you get a girl. You just suplex her, you know, and then and then tell her to kill you. That's how you win the girls. And see how I kept that 777? That's actually helping a lot. That was a lot of money. Look. Poor Shinobu. Doesn't have a hand. Her voice isn't annoying. She's just... She's just screaming a lot because she, she got her hand cut off and... For some reason she thought that Travis killed her father. Which isn't true. Look at that. Good old health boost. I forgot how tough that fight was. You really gotta play carefully. Another victory, Travis. You are now ranked eighth. You gonna kill her? Probably not. She's still young. But I still have to follow the association's rules of conduct. Then let her live. Are we suddenly in love, Travis? Hell no! Then why take the risk of her coming back for revenge? In this business, there's no such thing as mercy. See, kill notice. When you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. She'll grow up. Why not kill her when she's stronger? Yeah. Then I'll kill her. You are sick. So are you. See, Travis actually let her go because, you know, he felt that she was young. Uh, maybe she didn't deserve to just get slaughtered like the other two older assassins who have, like, basically lost their all of their soul at that point. He might have also had a soft spot for her because he trained under her father's training tapes. And maybe the fact that she's a girl, but not really because Travis doesn't have a problem killing girls if it comes down to it. I think it's really just that she was young. And look at that. We did it. We are now ranked 8th in the world. I'm sorry that I had to disfigure your waifu, Mike. It just had to happen. Let's see, I almost feel like I could, I could keep going, but I'm sure it's getting late for some of you guys out there. That's probably good for, for today. I'll continue next time. Oh, there might be like one more cutscene first. I guess we should watch that. This is Diane from Beefhead Videos. Just calling to let you know that one of the videos returned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy. Well, what cutscenes are you talking about watching in Japanese? Killer. Because this game is only in with, English, um, like Killer7. As far as I know. Please return it to a the thing. only version that there is is in English. That's just like what they decided to go with, which I always thought was really interesting. Your registration for the eighth UAA rank is now complete. It's almost like Suda addition, Fifty One. We have faxed you some information like, about the likes to use you wish to English voice actors in certain Please cases. Transfer the money into the designated account. Because uh, even in, in Japan, 
it's English with Japanese subtitles. And it's like it seems like the only Japanese game developer that I know that does that. Like usually they do it in Japanese and then it's translated in English, but for Suda it's like, nope, it's just English. And I think it's because the games take place in the US maybe? I don't know. I don't know, I think we just need to make money for the next, uh, for the next entry fee and then I think we're good. Gold Town? What's a Gold Town? I don't remember Gold Town. Beefhead is the video store. That's weird. Gold Town. How do I not remember what that is? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool that it's called Rising Star because I'm pretty sure they referenced that in the loading screen. Since the loading screen is literally a, a rising star if you keep hitting the B button, like right here. Look, it's a rising star. Travis, how's business? So there's our dude Bishop. A Swedish route. Man, they got the good stuff in Scandinavia. Yeah, that's right. Sweden is in Scandinavia. So... I believe you just... You just buy his... I think you buy like wrestling tapes from this dude. And then you can go home and watch them. And you'll, you'll learn like new wrestling moves, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's pretty much all you do there. But I, I need to see what this gold town is, because I do not remember a gold town. Whoa. Oh, that's the where the Russian dude is, isn't it? Is it right there? Okay. Wait. Oh no, that's the training place. So we'll go right next door. Looks like it's next door. The other side. Is it in the alleyway? Hang on. I don't think I have enough Lava top balls, anyways, or whatever it's called. There it is. But we could at least check this out since we haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, that's what it is. What do you want? Look, man, this is oh, you can't do that. This is really disrespectful, man. If you had a ball, then we might have something to talk about. So this is basically where it tells you like you want to <laughs> and bring them to this drunk. Keep practicing. Oh. See, I don't have enough, so that's why he doesn't want to talk to me. I think I have like four, maybe. And you need seven. Yeah, I have four. So once I get seven of those, I'll come back. And then you can get some pretty cool new abilities. Uh, where did I leave my bike? Oh, the other way. You could clearly see it on the map. It's the little shield symbol. Let's go in here. Might as well. Since we're here. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we gotta take my clothes off. Whatever you say, buddy. He's like, oh, you wanna do that? Okay, you can keep your clothes on. That's not concerning. If only working out was this easy in real life.
See, if I was emulating this, I could just use like a hotkey or something and activate turbo. But we're doing this legit. We're doing this old school re-remote nunchuck. We don't need no emulators. Alright, so we got a little more strength. Strength. And then I think here we just... I don't know if you can play this game without the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, that'd be kind of... I guess you could potentially set up, like, buttons, bind... I don't know. But I can't imagine playing this without the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. It just feels right this way. And I got a little more health. See? It's always worth it to, to do your training every day. Don't forget. I wait for you. Well, it's possible that No More Heroes takes place in the Yakuza universe, I suppose. What's going on here? Oh no, my bike's stuck. Um, there we go. That did it. So we need to raise some money for our next entry fee. How much money do I have anyways? 172,000. That's that's not a bad head start. Oh, actually I'm supposed to go to the normal job first. Welcome. Um Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the normal one first. Uh there was only one port for the PS3 for the first No More Heroes, and it did have some issues uh, with it, which I actually kind of ranted about a little bit in, in the last stream I did. But really the biggest issue is the visuals, that just somehow the, the visuals, which were like rebuilt on a more powerful console, you think it would look better, but it looks horrible. It looks really ugly. Like, everything just looks muddy and murky and greasy. And they miss, like, a lot of the... ...directing points. Like, even Suda himself says, Yeah, don't play the PS3 version, just play the Wii version. I had nothing to do with the PS3 version. And it's weird, because I think Konami actually did the port, unless they just published it. Garbage collection. See, now we're moving up in the world. Actually, I think I've heard that garbage uh, men actually make pretty good money. I could be wrong, but I believe I, I remember hearing that, so... You know, plus it's a, it's a respectful career, if you think about it, because someone's got to pick the trash up. It's a very important job. You know, Travis lives in a pretty nice city. You know, like if Santa Destroyer was a real place, it would actually probably be pretty cool to live in, except for, I guess, all like the assassins hanging around. Is there stuff on my map? Oh, are those Lakatov walls? If I just barely noticed that, that the Lakatov walls are on the map, I feel kind of dumb. New shirt. Let's see, I'm gonna drive over to one of those dots. Oh wow, well see, there you go. Let's see. Garbage. Garbage men is a very... A very respectable career, do not forget that. Now it says there's a ball over... Here? Yep, there it is, okay. But how do I get in that gate? That's the question. Oh, well, that was easy. You gotta forgive me, I haven't played this game in 
in uh, quite a few years. It's been a while. And then I'm just gonna open this dumpster because... Oh, that would explain why there's always all this, like, all this money you find in trash cans, because the garbage men are just so rich that the money falls out their pockets into the dumpsters, and they're like, eh. That's eh, I don't need it. I'll let some poor sap on Wall Street pick that up, you know. Maybe they could use the extra change. Yep. Look at that. Two thousand dollars. Just for kicking a, a dumpster. Oops. Here we go. It's taken me 12 years to realize the truth. You've got potential. A soul that can talk with garbage. The god of garbage will be watching. No bikes that pollute the air are allowed in this environmentally friendly mission. Three, well, that's nice. Two, one, zero. Gosh, this city's just a mess. Easy. Easy. It's like people just don't respect the environment. <laughs> Look at this. Kids throwing away... Those are some big cans. Like, Jesus. Those are like... Those are like half a gallon... Cans of soda. Like, damn. See, most people enjoy this game for beheading people, but... Picking up garbage is... A little better than that. I mean, if there's one thing I want No More Heroes 3 to have is, is the picking up garbage. That should just be a whole boss fight. You know, if anything, I think I'm gonna get a lot of money for this, because there's a lot of trash. I don't think this had to be three minutes long, which I think is how much time they gave me. But if I'm getting like, I don't know, a thousand, even if it's just like a thousand per piece of trash, this is actually not a bad way to make money. I mean, wouldn't you pick up trash if you could make a thousand bucks per piece of trash you pick up? Are you kidding me? I'd be out there every day. Forget playing video games, I could just pick up trash. Oop, there we go. I gotta say, the most of the time the mo motion controls work fine. I remember them being like completely fine uh, when I originally played this on the Wii. But once in a while, it doesn't quite register, and I don't know if it's because it's this Wii remote I happen to be using. Or, uh, right now it's working fine, though. Yeah. You know, it's probably because I was... My arms were kind of... There we go. My arms were getting a little lazy. 48,000! That is more money than I was getting for most of my assassination gigs. That's what they should do when they have like a music festival or anything like that. They should have people picking up trash. Because those things can leave behind pretty big messes.
Ring -a -ding -ding -a -ding. All right, so now we get a new assassination gig. Now we gotta go back to the boring killing people. We can't have fun all day. 50,000? Just to kill one dude? Hell yeah, let's do that. See, you have the choice to do regular jobs in this game. You don't have to be a bloodthirsty killer. You can just pick up trash, you can collect coconuts, you can uh, mow lawns. Wait, like a top ball. It's down this alleyway, probably. I w oh, there it is. There it is. I think we only need like one more now. Sweet. You're right, there probably is like a million guys in between the one dude I have to kill. But if I can get around them and kill him, then I'm all set. Yeah, that's how you do a quick turn. There you go. See, I'm getting used to it. Notice how, like, the building took a minute to load in? I don't remember that happening on the... the not Wii U version. Alright, let's see if I could just kill the target quickly. Three, two, one. You know what? I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't go behind that car. No, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna try to kill the target. Look, he's right there. Oh no, I locked on another run. Oh. I like how the target looks like any other regular enemy. Go, go. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps, I think it's like purposely locking on to whoever isn't the target. Stop shooting. There we go. Finish him. Yeah. I did it. I don't think I killed another dude. No, I killed like one other guy. But you know, I tried to minimize the fatalities as best as I could. Now I wonder if the medals rely more on how many kills I get or how quickly I do it. I'm sure like how much damage I'm taking also factors into it. Oh, and I already have enough money for the next ranking now. See? All I had to do was kill one dude and then pick up some trash and I was good to go. But before I start the next ranking match, I'm gonna... Because I think I just need one more lava top ball, which, like, there's one right here. Oh, uh, nope, wrong side. And then I'm gonna go get a power-up from the Russian dude, because it's gonna come very much in handy. I'm just gonna run in there and find it. There it is. There we go, it, it even played a tune indicating that I had got seven. Well, there you go, Christmas Elf, that explains it. The bad guys are littering. And honestly, if you litter, maybe you deserve to get annihilated by a, an assassin with a bean katana. So I think the bar was kind of near my house.
It's really cool that your quick turn can keep sliding, because that way if you like turn the wrong I'm just gonna jump up here. I'm just gonna use a shortcut trick. Um because if you like quick turn the wrong way at first, then you can just keep spinning around until you're facing the right way again. Alright, now how did we get in there? Maybe this is a shortcut. This reminds me of like in Japan, they have all these like little shops in between alleyways and stuff. There we go. See, now he's impressed. So as you see, there's seven techniques here. And each one references a member of the Killer Seven. See, the demon is like Dan Smith, child is Khan, woman is Kade, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but which one do we want? Which ability? So this one displays the position of enemies on the mini-map. That's actually kind of helpful. Allows a jumping slash to be performed. Okay, that, that's an okay thing, but we don't really need that right now. A dash. This is what I'm probably going to get. Because this, this will just speed up a lot of things by helping you run when you're on foot. But I'm going to look at the other ones real quick just to see. Extends your dark side mode, which is like your your roulette powers Increases the range of your grab Earn bonuses based on your rank Okay And allows a jumping down attack To be performed. All right Well, we're gonna get the dash because that's, it's just really useful. It's going to save us a lot of time. And of course he kicks your ass because that's how, that's just how he teaches. The technique of bizarre. And it's weird how it's called like the memory of child. And then when you pick it, it's like a completely different title for the move. Yeah, the transition scenes are pretty sick. Like that. So, ch child references Khan. See, look at this. Look at how more quickly I can get around now. Like, this is great. And of course, that's referencing Khan from Killer7 being really quick. Now we can go pay our entry fee. So you'd think it would take longer and longer to earn enough money uh, for each entry fee since they keep getting more expensive but you also get better jobs so look at this look at that that is why I picked that power up I'm sure that's the first thing a speedrunner goes for whoa What the hell's going on over there? Jeez, don't leave me hanging, honey. Well, something's going down.
I wonder who left us that note. Hmm. Very mysterious. Well, they're saying the next person is very dangerous. I wonder who it could be. I think this is like the first boss where you kind of leave town, because I think you get on a bus. Let's see if I remember correctly. Okay, the bus stop sign crashed me, but I'm sure, why not? Here we go. Destroy man. I'm hoping they bring back those boss intros where it like says their name with like the creepy whisper voice. I just thought that was pretty cool. All right, well not the bus, we're getting on the subway. Reminds me of being in LA, and you go down to the to the metro. Maybe we're gonna get on the red line and head to Hollywood. Don't want to forget that. See, now I can like run and check to see if there's anything I'm gonna miss. Look at that! Look at all that time I saved. I like how, depending on which beam katana you're using, there's like a different starting animation before he pulls it out. It's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? I forgot to watch that tape that I bought from the store. So I didn't get my new wrestling move. Oh well, we'll have to do that next time. There we go. It's kind of like a perfect flex he does there when he puts the leg. I'm not sure what the, uh, the general name for that is. I was really glad that they brought back the wrestling moves for Travis Strikes again. Like to finish the bosses off. That was a really cool way to introduce it. Not introduce it, but like just bring it back. Was I going this way? Okay. I want to do some slicing finishes here so we can get some more roulette. Let's fall. There we go, see? Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. Oh, I missed this guy. Come on. Oh, of course, that was the last guy, too. I wonder what city Travis travels to, or if he's still in Santa Destroy, but he's like downtown or something. So this should be the three card, or 18 rather, which is the third. And 
Once again, just checking. I don't know why I am, really. It's not like this is a completionist run or anything. It's just a... Just a casual little playthrough. Oh, there we go. Yes. Just a little OCD, you know? If you miss it, it's like, oh man. He used his tap card like a pro. Alright, I feel like there's something... Like, I feel like there's a chest around here that you could miss. I'm just being paranoid. You know what it is? When you play through the second time, after you've, like, collected the masks already and stuff, and that's when you can find the concept art, that's probably when there's, like, more chests laying around. I remember when I first played this game that this was the first level where I actually had to like start being more careful during fights. Or it could just be, you know, I didn't have the hang of the game down yet. The hang of the game down. I didn't have the hang of the game's controls yet. Which is probably... Oh, no. There we go, that'll help. I don't know why he keeps kicking, it's not like I'm pressing the B button. Dude, these guys are, are, are considerably tougher than most of the normal enemies you've been fighting up until this point. And see, I need a charge already. Oh god. Damn it. I keep pressing B for a long time. There we go. Bringing all my battery, why don't I? Yeah, this second Moon Katana charges so much faster than the, the first one you get. The difference is night and day. I think the third Bean Katana is more powerful, but it takes even longer to charge. Or at least a long time. Oh, come on, man. No! Let me grab this dude. Oh, come on! There we go. See, the, the dudes with the guns are just some of the most annoying enemies. No, I'm trying to... I don't know if that's registering as a kick, I'm pressing A. I really might have to swap this Wii mode out and see if the other one works better. <clears throat> but I don't think this uh, level's too long anyways. Is there anything out here? Oh, there we go. I think that's the last card. Yeah. So if that's the last card, then we, we gotta be pretty close to the to the end already. See, what you wanna do is kill these dudes with the guns before you alert everyone else. Oh, and I... And I didn't follow my own advice. Can you stop? Please. Please, for... Give me a little favor. I think this is the last one to go. 
Should make things a bit easier. It's too bad that the wrestling moves don't lead to you getting the roulette wheel bonuses. Oh, this dude also has a gun. Oh, I guess he was just being nice and not shooting. Oh, goddammit. You don't want to shoot me, buddy. You just want to stand there and... Stand there and get hit and everything will be over. All right, is that everyone in this room? I think it is. You think you're tough? More of them spawn. Why is the B button not working? That was weird. Like I was hitting the B button. Hmm. Oh, there should be like health or something. There it is. I don't know how I remembered that. Ah. You know, I'm just kind of doing the technique I would do on those like one hit fail missions. Looks pretty good. I know it's kind of cheap, but yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh, you kind of messed with me. All right. Gave you a chance to die quickly. Oh god, I gotta go, go up steps for this. Oh boy. Can I kill one person? Yeah. All right, there we go. He was crawling on the floor trying to get away. See, the problem with this move is that you're constantly walking forward. It's not something you can control. They literally just like laid on the ground because they were just in fear of Travis in his super mode. I mean, if everything went black and white and this dude with a beam sword just started walking towards me, I'd probably be kind of scared too. Let's get rid of this guy first. Now we can focus on this guy. Alright, cool. That might be it. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, the Wii Remote speaker is still acting weird. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on the Wii U or because just the Wii Remote is weird. Well, good thing I have the subtitles on. So 
So we're heading for the Garden of Madness. Wow. And I happen to be facing the right way, that's nice. It's like no reason to heal, because I think when you save, you heal anyways. Let's pick up that mask first. <laughs> Travis, remember now. The most fundamental among fundamental suplexes, made famous in Calgary. It's the all-natural amusement machine, the German suplex, MS. Sick. German suplex is a good suplex to learn. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna move the, the Wii U down real quick because it's kind of making loud chugging noises. Which uh, is kind of close to the mic and I hope that's not getting picked up too loudly. But I'm just gonna save first just in case it freezes the game. All right, now I'm gonna move it slowly. Of course, it's not chugging anymore after I. I thought I wouldn't make it here on time. Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. So much to do with so little help. Yeah, I can't stand these people with all their nonsense complaints. They think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight? You? You're ranked? Not me. Well, Actually, it is me. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask, do you? Then we can get on with our fight? That is correct. All right. Ah! Oh, damn it. Whoa, that was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. Something's wrong with me today. I let my guard down, getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you? Oh, something? I think I fixed the mic. Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. Oh, fun fact. What? Uh, Destroy Man shake here hands? is, We're is both voiced fighters, by the we? same Not uh, voice actor as the, now. the young Ocelot in Metal Gear Solid 3. That we respect each other before the same and voice. after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. Ah! Wow, what a cheater. That's not cool at all. Oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. <laughs> I think this laughter's gonna kill me. 
<laughs> Seriously, I think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought I was going to die there. For real. <laughs> and look at you. You look like you're dead. I guess it's time for a wake-up call. Destroy cow! Destroy team! This is where it gets good. Good night. Destroy Buster! Isn't this just that a nice, a upstanding guy? I'll admit you've got potential. If Challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Bring it on! I love a challenge! You're as good as dead. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Destroy me! Destroy Destroy me! There we go. All the German seat parts. I didn't notice this for a long time, but if you pay attention, you can just barely see these wires um, above me. Like they look like stunt wires. It's a pretty neat detail. They're like it's barely visible. If I if I back up and I go to see it better, see? Is that your best? I did not notice that for the longest time. I forgot to turn the game volume down, my bad. Okay, that should be better now. Yeah, the, the, uh... Oh god, see, I was turning it down. I, I didn't know that did that much damage. Yeah, the gameplay gets kind of loud, which is why I tend to turn it down. And then the cutscenes I turn up because that's like the whole point of why we're here, man. You gotta pay attention to those cutscenes. Is that better now? Look at this dude throwing Hadokens at me. Oh nice, I got him on my first try. If you don't destroy the right one, then it just drops down the other objects. So I got pretty lucky there. You know what this dude reminds me of? He reminds me of like an M-rated version of uh, Syndrome from The Incredibles. God damn it. I need to heal. There we go. See when he starts blocking? That's when you do go for the suplex, mate. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I guess that was just an awful mistake on my part. I thought I avoided that. I don't remember ever losing to him before. Jeez. 
Man, I gotta pay attention. Well, that's a good start. So I think it was the far left one, unless it's random. So let's see if we could get it again on our first try. Well, there we go. That's good to remember. And I need to remember to heal next time if I uh, get damaged a lot. Oh my god, what am I doing? Damn. It's cause he's like not locking onto him until he's closer. Maybe you don't roll out of the way when he does destroy beam or destroy cannon or whatever. You just like walk out of the way. And that could be what... Cause I keep trying to lock on and roll but... He's too far to lock onto in a run when I'm trying that. Okay, let's just walk out of the way. Just walk out of the way. See, that's all we had to do. I was like overthinking it. I was like, oh, rolling, that always is the right thing to do. Just walk out of the way. Easy. Okay. We got this. We're about to defeat Ocelot in a minute. Now pay attention to when I finish him off. Because the way he gets like knocked down is really funny. He does like a bunch of rolling. Ah! Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? <laughs> Help! What? Help! I can't hear you. Help me, please. What is this I hear from a seventh ranked killer? Whatever. It's over anyway. Please, help me! There you go! <laughs> well, that's what happens. That's what happens when you're a big douchebag. Hey, that's a pretty good money boost to start off with. Here lies Destroy Man. He sucked. 
He was not a good guy. Yes. I wonder what Suda's thought process was for the health increases where it's those same like six uh, blocks that keep getting like overlapped on each other instead of like filling up the whole heart multiple times. Yeah, the nipple Travis, guns were pretty. I'm starting to think that you may be for pretty real. unchill. You are now seventh in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn. Well, now Travis is getting all excited. So notice it says Marvelous. And I think Marvelous Entertainment was either like a publisher or like... I forget what it is exactly. Like Marvelous is like the bigger company and the Grasshopper was like maybe working with. I don't know. I'm sure it's a reference to them, whatever it is. And now we are ranked seven. Which is not too shabby. <sighs> Bear Hug Studio. Yet another wrestling reference. All right, so now we are going to Oh, cutscene first. Um, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. Just calling to let you know that the video you reserved is here. Title is How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 3. Oh, one of the girls here said that you might need a new pillow cover for this one, you know. Oh, there you go. I guess Marvelous published Thank the game you. in Japan. That makes sense. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 7th UAA rank is now complete. As always, we will fax you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a nice day. Kind of messed up that Travis has to pay all these fees. I mean, he's risking his life. $300,000, man, that's a lot of moolah. Let's watch that tape while we're here before I forget. The title is Mask de Panther, The Tiger's Roar. Sick. Now we got a new wrestling move in our disposal. And now we go back to the grind. We gotta make $300,000 so we can apply for the next ranked assassin fight. A new part-time job available. Heck yeah. Who knows what it'll be this time. Maybe I'll be a pizza delivery boy. The greatest job known to man. Oh yeah, I was supposed to turn the volume down again. And... Okay. Gotta remember to do that. See, I don't got this fancy recording studio. Everything's not automated. I gotta like... Do stuff manually, you feel me? Where am I going? Oh. Well, I might as well get this. Wait. Wait, we can fit. We can fit. There we go.
Why don't we try the secret bonus mission? Oh, and it's right next to the part-time job place anyways. That works out. Now remember, if I get hit once, then that's it. The mission's over. So, hopefully I don't get hit once. Welp. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one because they were like all after me right at the beginning. And I was trying to be careful, but it kind of backfired on me. Oh, well, at least we killed a few of them. And then you can't try it again. That's the part that sucks. But there's more on the map. But why do that when we can have a nice, honest living? Why you come here? Shall we do more? Oh, a gas stand. Now this is the life. See, the funny part about this is, um... So this is a job where I'm pumping gas for people. But I think there's only like one or two states in the entire US where there's actually a job for that. Because most states, you pump your own gas. But there's like one or two states where you aren't allowed to pump your own gas and you have to, other people have to pump it. I think it's like New Jersey, Pennsylvania or something like that. So the fact that there's a gas pumping job is kind of funny. Maybe that just confirms that this is an alternate reality. An alternate California in a dystopian future where you can't even pump your own gas. The God of Gasoline. This guy takes his part-time jobs way too seriously. He's like the god of garbage. The god of gasoline. Press B to the pump the gas. Be sure to fill her up just the right amount. Alright, here we go. Oh, that didn't count? Okay. Wow, I was like, I was like one block off, I guess. Yes. I thought I just had to be in the red. Yes. I think if the meter goes too high, like you catch on fire or something. I totally show you, but, you know, I gotta make this money, man. I'm trying to make that bread so I can spend it all just for the privilege of fighting for my life against another assassin. Because that's totally something they should make money. Are you trying to say that Dragnix is Santa Claus? Is that what you're suggesting? Because, you know, I've, I've never seen Dragnix and Santa Claus in the same room together. So, I guess it's a possibility. Yes. Okay. That, that was weird. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll have more opportunities to set myself on fire. Yeah, some of those take like a second to start up. It's like Travis is having trouble finding the... Finding the gas hole. Yes. 
Man, this better pay good. Oh, there we go. Well, you got it anyways. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fun fact, if you overfill your, your car's gas tank, you catch on fire. A lot of people don't know that. And I'm talking about in real life. But it only happens at Luchacho uh, gas petrol station convenience store. Oh god. Can we get one more? I don't think we're gonna have time. Oh, just enough time. Alright, let's see if we did good enough to earn ourselves an assassin gig. Hey, that's pretty good money. Ain't gonna lie. You know, that is probably the the best way to save on gas is to just not, not drive. That's a good point. Alright, we only need like 60,000 more. So let's see if there's a job here where we can make 60,000. Then we'll be all set for our next ranked fight. Ninety thousand? Oh, but you have to kill a hundred enemies? Jesus. This one is like the batting one, but you get paid more, I think. And if we need 60,000, that means we only need to kill like 10, 9. Dark side mode, that's cool. You know, I'm gonna go for the batting one. That one's pretty quick anyways, you just swing a bat as long as I don't screw it up, and then it looks like it, I should be able to make enough money. So then we're going back to Destroy Stadium again. Because that's the only place you're allowed to play baseball. Everybody knows that. Sixty K is about two cans of Pepsi. Well, I don't know why they're charging you so much for Pepsi where you live or where I live. Pepsi is about uh, only 20k per can, so you're getting ripped off, friend. Sorry to tell you. And there we go. I totally crashed on purpose. I swear. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Come on, Babe Ruth it. One, excuse me. Come on. Ooh, I think that's enough already, but I'm gonna go for this. Come on. Yes. Sick, we did it. California inflation rate reminds me of Germany during World War II, where a baguette did cost about 1 million marks. Well, look, it's not inflation. It's just... Uh, okay, maybe it is inflation. But look, killing people with the baseball bat, that's worth a lot of money. Oh, wow. 
I just realized I'm short. I'm just barely short. Hey, look, there's a lock atop wall. How do I get in there? Oh, that's all the way on the other side. We'll get that later. Way later. Damn it. I'm so close to having enough money. I could literally find, like, some trash cans and I'll probably have enough money. So, you know, maybe we'll do that. That's some trash cans. There's some trash cans around here somewhere. Oh, there's a lava top wall. You know, there's also a way to get buried treasure, but I don't think I have the ability to get that yet. Or maybe I can, but I don't have the indicator on my map. Let's see, if I walk over, do I feel anything? Because you can, you can do this. But I don't feel anything on the ground. Maybe I'm, it's not in the right spot. There is a trash can. Yeah, we're going dumpster diving. For for funds. Okay, there's 2,000. Just need to find a few more trash cans. There's another one. Nice. We, we almost just need two more, but we're gonna need three more. Since they seem to have 2,000 each. And then also, if I get a tra uh, a t-shirt, that's gonna... Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Oops. I could find buried treasure in this area. Because I think you're supposed to feel like a vibration. I don't know. Maybe you you just you need to have that that one ability. Okay, there's not gonna be trash cans in there. Is that a trash can? Nope, but there's a lock atop wall. You know, in any case, at least we're picking up more of those. Because that'll be helpful in the future. There's one. Oh, and another shirt. But there's another ball, too. And another trash can. And another shirt. We're starting to, like, go through every dumpster in the whole city. Can you imagine if your city had, like, a serial scavenger? Local authorities uh, say that a man in a red jacket has been dumpster diving throughout the city. Uh, he's out of control. Nobody can stop him. Oh my god, we're getting shirts every time. I don't think we could fit down that alleyway. I ain't even gonna try. Trash can? Nope. Oh no, it says my stream is, is poor. Can you guys still see the stream or is it... Or is YouTube telling the truth? Don't do this to me, YouTube. Not now. Please. Another shirt. Oh my god. I might as well just do another gig at this point.
You know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm going to buy... I'm gonna buy, like, a new part for my sword. And then I'm going to just do another gig and get more money. Because I might as well. Because look at this. Like, every dumpster I'm hitting now is a, is a shirt. So... Okay, now my it says my stream's good again. Yeah, that had me worried because it said it was, like, poor quality. But I guess it was just exaggerating because I froze for a second. Oh my god, another trash can. I'm, like, addicted at this point. And of course it's the money. When I'm like, okay, I'm not going to look for money anymore. Okay, but I need to, uh... I need to get to the sword place. There it is, it's up ahead. You know, let's just... Never mind. I was gonna jump into the ocean and try to... shortcut it home. Oh, but we're right there anyway, so that would have been a waste. So it's actually good that that happened. Where... Is this it? <laughs> oh my god. This is like a sick joke. It's barely not enough money though anyways. Wait, and then my bike was right there, so I ran around the, the wrong side. How did I miss this? You'd think I would've picked that up. Oh, and there's a Lavatov ball. Oh, Lavakov. I'm never going to remember the name. You'll have to excuse me, because I, I don't speak Russian. Alright, what do you got for me? Alright, so... Accelerator. A sensor that can locate buried treasure. Alright. Power up parts for the Tsubaki. Exchanges the crystal parts inside. I wish this like went a little faster. With pure crystals to greatly increase its output. I wish that was more clear as to what that energy saving. So this one does more damage, I'm guessing, and this one helps the energy. I'm just going to take the the treasure finding one for now. And then I'm just gonna do another gig so I have enough money. And then I'm gonna start the next ranked mission. Could you imagine if No More Heroes had a sandbox that was as elaborate as like a modern GTA game? That would be amazing. Well, well, actually not really, because that's not the focus of the game. So it's not really necessary. I said there was a ball down here. Did they lie to me? They totally lied to me. Can't believe this. Wait. How did I end up over there? Hmm. Or maybe the dot on the screen was the treasure, since I just bought the treasure thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Let's see. Is it? I can't tell. Look, it says there's a dot here. Am I supposed to be feeling a vibration? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm relearning all the stuff about the game. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's go home. Oh, we can't jump over that. We can't jump over that. Okay. Oh, I, need, I really need to pay attention. I think there's, when the grating is right there, you can't jump over it because there's an invisible wall. 
Kind of like that movie, uh, Cabin in the Woods, if anyone's ever seen that. Might as well see if there's any tape available. Since we're about to earn some more money anyways. Travis! How's business? The word die keeps scrolling on and on. <laughs> how am I supposed to be do how am I supposed to do business? There we go. We got another tape. Alright. Come back again. Okay, and there is the ATM. Perfect. Oh wait, we don't have enough money. Duh, we have to do a, another gig first. I completely forgot about that. I totally lost track of what I was doing. All right, let's see if we got some something easy here. We need 50,000. I could do that one again. Oh, this one's easy. You just kill the dude. I'll just do that. I think I need like exactly 50,000. I swear if I need like 50,000 and one then that's just gonna be it for me. I'm gonna finally lose it. Wait. Yeah, we just need 50,000. Okay, cool. So we just gotta do this mission and then we're good. Whoops. There it is. Gotta go kill the dude, and then we're good to go. Three, two, one. All right, come on. Just gotta kill this dude. And he's on the ground, so we could just... Bam, there we go. That's it. That was a, a, a world record breaking. Assassin gig, never before seen. That better be a gold medal. I don't think I got, I got hit once. Yeah. Too bad they don't pay you more for getting a gold medal. And now we got enough money. See, that was like the perfect choice. Because the baseball one, I could have potentially screwed up and then... I don't know. Everything worked out. That's the important part. Can we jump this? Yes, we can. And now see, since I have the boost already, and the ATM is just right there, I can just... I can just run on over. Yeah. Should have probably ran around the other side, but... Now we know. All right, cool. Now we're ready to go for our sixth ranked battle. Travis, hello? I am at the beach. Are you coming? Not like I am waiting for you or anything.
Okay, that was a lot more brief than like every other call. Usually like they have this conversation and there's like some hint as towards the type of enemy you're gonna fight. The title is Living Legend Thunder Ryu. Oh, sick. So he's a wrestler? Oh, I got a Brain Buster Slam. Cool. They're gonna get a move. That's a good move to get. Okay, so we're going to the beach. Sounds like a nice change of pace. Good thing Travis lives in, like, right next to the beach. Basically like in Santa Ana or something. Maybe San Diego. Definitely not San Francisco. I, I get more of a SoCal vibe. There we are. See how close he is to the beach? Still just a bunch. Holly Summers. That's the most normal sounding assassin name so far. Me, will you? me? You serious? What? Is there a problem? No. Thought you'd never ask. Your next opponent is here on this beach. Ah, just up ahead. So I'm supposed to fight on the beach. That is one of the this conditions. This game is rated M Why? for Mator. That's for you to figure out. Mmm, feels good. What other hidden talents do you have, Travis? Huh? Go any higher and I will kill you myself. Jeez. Not until you become number one. We have a deal, remember? So hurry up and go get him. Yes, your highness. All right, here we go. Mission start. Oh, look, we got chests right next to each other. That's convenient. Dude, who are these military guys coming out? And they've got like these laser brass knuckles. That's not cool. Uh oh, get up, get up. Travis, no. Don't do this. That's the thing, when you're on the ground in this game, you're like, it's not a good position to be in. These dudes with the guns, we need to get rid of them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now this will be a lot easier to take care of the rest of them. See what I'm talking about? Uh, let's get this chest while we're here. Mm. Okay, they're just dropping out of the sky now. Nice. Get up, foe. Okay, that was sick. I'm thinking of what. 
Using the D-pad to, to steer this actually helps. Well, that wasn't a great timing for this power-up because there's nobody here. Oh, never mind. They were behind me. I don't really get the cherry power up. I guess it like slows everyone else down. But it doesn't seem all that great. Besides that, I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, there's a helicopter. That's where they're dropping from. I'm actually surprised he put the time to explain where they're coming from. That's funny. Because it's not like he had to do that. Okay, I think I stepped on a mine. No big deal, that's normal in California beaches. You know, there's mines everywhere. It's a very well known fact. Oh, they're back there. the frame rate. That's not the stream, that was the hardware. I don't the Wii U is- okay, I wasn't even charging a move there, so I don't know how I just chopped their heads off like that, but I'm not complaining. I feel like the Wii U has trouble sometimes emulating the, the Wii hardware. I don't know. I don't really know how any of that works. I'm not a technical guy. Oh, you can actually see the mines on the map, I just realized. Well, I'm dead. Oh, that was a waste of health. I already had full health. Let's see which card is this. Three, so we got two more cards to go. Where are the other dudes at? They keep spawning behind me. So I miss them. Oh, that's, that's cool. Super Saiyan. Where are the enemies at? Where are the enemies at? Come on. There he is. Well, at least I gotta kill one dude. 
too. Better than nothing. Oh, okay. We gotta get rid of these guys ASAP. I'm not about that gun fight. Don't bring a gun to a beam cut fight. I need your mom to know. Come on. Okay, see, I don't know what I did there. I think it's a glitch. Like, the game thinks that I have my down A, a move charged. And it, like, releases it. But it doesn't drain my battery. Because I shouldn't just be slicing their heads off instantly. That's like a down charge. It's very weird that it's been doing that. Of course, another mine. And another card. Oh, that wasn't a card. It was just random money. Oh, I see, because they're trying to lead me into the, the mines. That makes sense. This dude's considerably tougher than the rest. He should get a raise. Oh, too late. Is that the card? Yeah, yeah, we get it. No more enemies. There it is. So one more to go. Getting pretty close to the end here. I've got to pick up one more card. Okay, he's more careful this time. No more mines, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> Poor Travis. Even when he's careful. Oh, there's the phone. That means we're at the end here. Coming up to the boss. Once again, the voice is not coming out of the Wii Remote half the time. Did I miss a chest? Or maybe it's up there. Five hundred percent certain that he's gonna die in this fight. Head for the garden of. Yeah, next time I'm gonna swap the Wii remotes out before I start streaming and see if that's the if that fixes the mic issue. Huh, I'm missing a, a chest. Whew. 
Travis, this is just common sense in Calgary, the king of suplexes. Remember now, Satan's Ferris wheel, the belly to belly. Well, I've never heard the belly to belly suplex referred to as Satan's Ferris wheel, but sure. Why not? Now, where's that damn chest? Oh, I can't go farther back. Can you see it back there? Did I miss it? I don't know. There might be a chest back there I missed. Maybe not. There's nothing over here, right? Nope. Or is there? <gasps> oh, that's where I was before. But there's nothing on the other side either. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It was right in front of me the whole time. Well, that was dumb, but at least I found it. Now we can save. So she's 500% certain that I'm going to die this time. Come on. Can't be that bad. Body Slam Beach. See, I told you, like, every single location in this game is named after some kind of wrestling move or something. Even the, the bar that Travis meets Sylvia in for the first time, it's called the Deathmatch Bar. Which is actually a really sick name for a bar. Alright, here we go. Do you like fighting? Yep. Do you like killing? Live for it. Do you like fear? Can't say. Never felt it. Do you accept death? Death? Never crossed my mind. Death is the only truth. You are still a mere butt. That's not a good thing, you know. Seeking meaning in everything? Especially killing. That's a bad habit among smart little girls these days. Come closer and you will understand everything. I'm ready. Anywhere, anytime. Just your ordinary assassin. Such a disappointment. Are you in the mood yet? Normal assassins don't shoot the shit like this. They see their target and kill them. All right, here we go. Travis is pretty cocky. Oh, hang on, let me turn down the volume for the fight. Okay. Let's see you get out of this predicament. No problem. You'll see. Uh huh. <laughs> A bud that will never blossom. A sad truth. Good night, my sweet seven. Oh god. Oh crap! I love it. Nice trap. It's I all like cartoony except Maybe I can there's lots of blood and gore too. Your life. We'll see about that. Alright. So as you can see, her specialty is kind of explosives. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, she really shoved sand in my face. That's not cool. Oh, there we go. The belly to belly. Ooh, gotta watch out for the for that trap. Oh no, she tricked me. 
Get out of there. Okay. That was close. Oh my god. Okay, she does damage quickly. You gotta be more careful here. It's actually kind of cool that she plays on. She fights on the beach, so she buries like mines and stuff, and then she has a shovel to like cover it up, but then also like just as a general weapon. It's pretty cool for a character. Oh, come on. Oh, she did it again. Oh my god, I shouldn't have did that. For some reason I was like, maybe I could stun her while she's doing that. I should have known better. I'm gonna need to heal pretty soon. Well, I should heal right now. The health's all the way over there. Well, surely there's no holes in the water. At least they don't like lock on. Oof. And then all the health I just gained was basically taken away. going to be a good place, because they would hit the wall, but it didn't exactly work out as I, as I was hoping. Oh my god. I gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful. Oh my god. I forgot how tough these bosses could be. Oh no. Popping up sand. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we could just walk out of the way of that. Just walk out of the way. And. You see how fast I'm like shaking the Wii Remote because I don't want to die? Oh no. That might kill me. Oh my god. Well. I can't believe it, I died again. Oh, I can uncover traps by swinging my beam katana. I did not remember that. Let's see if I could get to her this time. I need to figure out, you know what I need to do that I'm not doing very much is the charge attacks. See? Because you can always deal damage with that, even if she's not in a vulnerable position. Yeah, the first time you fall into the pit, it does the cutscene. And then, like, every time after that, it just it's just you trying to get up. Oh, 
getting the resting using. Yeah, I just wasn't... I wasn't using the right strategy before. Terry so just walked out of the way. I kept trying to roll and I would like to roll into them. See, I uncovered it. Let me get my charge off in time. Oh no. Oh no. See, that's the bad part, is that her, her uh... Her moves have synergy, so if she launches the missiles and you fell into a hole, you're not safe. Those missiles can still hit you. And that's like one of the tough parts about fighting her. Oh god. You're generally invulnerable while you're doing your charge moves, so that's why I went for it like that. Considerably better this time. The rest of them does a lot of damage actually. Okay, so you can interrupt her when she's trying to cover the crowd, so that's good to know. She's done. One more hit. I don't know why I tied. There's another wrestling move. I gotta finish her with the slash. There we go. We did it. Yeah. What is this? This is not mercy. You can't kill a woman. Pathetic. If you can't kill a woman, you are less than a thug. You will never make it to the top. <laughs> That's okay. I seem to have a thing for stupid, pathetic men like you. I can accept defeat if it comes from your hand. I will let you in on a secret. Assassins must die when they lose. Open your eyes and never look back. Promise, never forget me. Huh? Thank you. The moment you hesitated, I felt your embrace. Hold up! Academics like to fantasize too, you know. <laughs> Wait! Number six! No! Well... There's one way to go. Forgive me, number six. I never meant to shame you. That's... that's kind of sad. Not a very smooth victory, Zed Travis. But a win is a win. That's all that matters. I hate to award you this, but you are now sixth in rank. What was her name? That is not important anymore. You're right. But I owe her at least that. Holly Summers, born in... No. Just her name. 
Damn, Travis felt pretty personal with that one. Yeah, in the censored European and uh, Japanese version of this game, this scene loses a lot of impact because instead of her head getting blown off, the freaking her she just turns like like frizzled black, like in a cartoon, like when a bomb goes off in a cartoon. It just makes it like funny. Look, I'm carrying her body. It's so sad. U.S. military secret? I completely forgot about that one. How did I forget about that? I just kicked it open. He programmed a, a lazy kick animation while carrying Holly Summer's body just for this one part. That's some dedication. Well, the explode the bomb grenade was in her mouth, so her head absorbed Forgive most me, of the explosion. I was late in saying this, but I love your soul. Rest in peace. And then he buries her on the beach, where you fought her. Like it's so like everything is considered. I feel like when you're fighting a, a boss character, it's like okay, you fight her on the beach. She's like a model. She uses it. She buries mines. She has a shovel as part of her weapon. You bury her on there, in there, which is like, like all this stuff is is considered by Suda, which is pretty cool. So now we're rank six. So I could call it a night, or I could go for one more uh, ranked battle. What do you guys think? It's all up to you guys. You guys get to vote. Should I continue or should I call it a night? What time is it anyways? Let's see. It's 9.45 here, so it's gotta be pretty late on the East Coast. Yeah, it's like almost one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's probably good for tonight. Oh yeah, I've, I've been going for over two hours. That's plenty. Alright, I will continue next time. We are going to do the our fifth ranked battle. Wait, let's watch the little oh. cutscene first that plays. And then I'll call it a night. Hey, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. Um, you're late returning one of our videos. It's called... Um... Coffee and milk. Coffee and Please milk. Please return it ASAP. Have a nice I'm sure day. it's just a typo. Mr. Touchdown, please wire the money as soon as possible. Please hurry, or something unfortunate may happen. In addition, the what registration the hell does that for mean? the sixth UAA rank is complete. They're, they're starting to get really pushy from you. with their, their money wire transfers. He says, oh yeah, you better do it soon or something bad might happen. Let's chill. 350,000, okay. We just beat Holly Summers, the rank number six assassin. Uh, it was a pretty cool fight, I gotta say. And then, and now we're just, uh, we just need to earn some money so we can do our next ranked fight, which will be number five. How much money do we have right now, actually? Oh no, I wouldn't be that dumb to forget to have my mic on. Of course not. Alright, so... We have like 200k. That's not bad. I think we need like 350 for the next uh, ranked fight. Man, I mean, it's it's kind of late to say this, but the idea of there being a ranked list of the best assassins in the world, and then they can fight each other to move up a rank, I mean, that's a cool concept, you gotta admit. 
Let's try one of these bonus missions that I'm probably gonna fail. One of those, if you get hit once, you lose missions. Actually, I should see if there's any upgrades for my, uh, for my laser sword available. Alright, so we want to get away from everyone. Or as away from as much people as we can. And then we just gotta be careful. Oh, there's another guy. These missions are all about being careful. Okay, that was a close one. Oh boy. Oh boy. And I'm about to run into someone else. Okay, come on. Alright, that's good. We want to get a cloud, because then we can kill them pretty quickly. Perfect. I forgot to put my strap on. My uh, Wii strap. Alright, cool. So I'm not surrounded anymore, so... That was probably the most dangerous uh, I'm gonna get. Unless I, like, screw up right now. As long as I... Yeah, as long as I sneak them out here one at a time, I should be good now. It's just when they start you off and you're surrounded, that's when there's trouble. Come on. Come on. Come on over here, buddy. See, it's not just a playthrough, it's also, you know, tips and tricks. Kind of. Sometimes. Come on, buddy. That's right. Just come and get your head cut off. God, I charged that way too soon. It's alright. We're still doing good. There's just two left. Oh, there's a time limit? Okay, I just realized there's a time limit. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well that sucked. Yeah, I just realized there was a time limit. And then it was too late anyways. And you don't get anything if you don't perfect those, those specific bonus missions. Should I try another one? Nah, I'm not gonna try it. I was like, I'm just gonna do a normal part-time job. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. God. Oh yeah, I, I do know a bit about Afro Samurai. That is kind of, sort of a similar concept now that you mention it. And you don't get anything if you don't perfect those, those specific bonus missions. Alright, let's see. Oh, are you hearing Echo? I'm just gonna do a normal part-time job. I hope not. I shouldn't be hearing Echo. Uh... Hang on. Oh yeah, I, I do know a bit about Afro Samurai. That is kind of... Sort of a similar concept now that you mention it. Yeah, there shouldn't be one. I have everything set up how I had it before. Is there an Echo? Oh, are you hearing Echo? See if I can fix it. I hope not. I shouldn't be hearing Echo. Uh, hang on. Yeah, there shouldn't be one. I have everything set up how I had it before. Is there an Echo? See if I can fix it. Okay, let's see. How about now? Is there still an echo? Ooh, mind sweeping. I want to keep playing until you, uh, I can hear your answer. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it was. I had my own stream playing in the background. Gosh, what a... 
first I start, my mic isn't on. And now I'm I'm listening to my own stream. Boy, oh boy. Can you tell that I'm a professional YouTuber? I've been YouTubing for many years. I think there's a treasure right here. Oops, my bike's like right on top of it. Damn, this is like Wind Waker with the precision. Because I can feel the vibration. And you know, I forgot to swap out my Wii Remote because I was going to see if the other one was like working a bit better. There it is. Wow, all that worked for a thousand. Oh boy. You know what, there's another bonus mission down there. Oh no, that's just the mine sweeping. Duh. It's kind of weird how you have part-time jobs like picking up trash and like pumping gas and then you have mine removal. Three, two, it's like not exactly a job you'd expect like a high school kid to, to get. Okay, I don't remember how to do this one, apparently. Yeah, I don't get it. It's beeping. Oh! It's just telling me that I'm getting closer. Now I got it. Oh, okay. Oh god, sometimes the A does not pop up before it's too late. There we go. Man, this is kind of a dangerous beach. Like, I've been to beaches where it's like, there's lots of trash and stuff, but this is like a whole nother level. If I played Final Fantasy IX, there's an entire mini game with the same concept of finding treasure in specific spots. Oh, I haven't actually. Well, I guess I'm lucky I have a freaking lightsaber to remove the mines with, because, like, a normal person isn't going to have a lightsaber. It's like, what are they going to do? See if I could get 20 before the timer runs up. That'd be pretty cool. Come on, one more. One more, baby. Oh, I missed it? Oh, no. Oh, my God. I failed. You can fail the jobs.
Oh my god. I didn't even know you could just completely fail. Okay, that sucks. Is it because I blew up too many times and like there was two seconds left? Man. I just needed that one more mine. That sucks. See, now I gotta do it again or else I won't... I won't get the good jobs. That's the problem. You need to do it to get the good jobs. I know, I keep failing at the last second. That's worse than just, like, failing halfway or at the beginning. Like, if you're gonna fail anywhere, don't fail at the last second. At least the job is nearby. That's also, now you can see why I got the, the, uh, the dash ability. Alright, <clears throat> safely remove mines. See, it doesn't say anything about how if you blow up too many times you'll fail. That would have been nice to know, probably. Playing around this time. Oh, come on. You gotta be really careful. I don't want to fail again. Anything but that. Okay, so far. Mm -hmm. See, bad you can't see the the mines on the mini map right there. That would probably help a lot. Oh no, there's no more mines over here. That's not good. There really aren't any mines over here. I guess I shouldn't have went this way. You know, I thought they were just spawning randomly before. I didn't realize they were in uh, specific areas. I was getting so many mines last time. Aw oh, man. Like I wasn't even like paying attention as much last time. And I did so much better. And then I failed at the last moment. Like look, that's, that's half the amount I got, I got last time. I don't think that's gonna be enough to get a medal. Like can I get one more? Jeez. Wow, there really is just nothing. Well, at least I finished this time. Bronze medal? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So 10 was a gold medal, and last time I almost had 20, but I, then I died. That's That makes it even worse. Like, they could have at least gave it to me. Sometimes I like trying to make the star 
match the color of the background. All right. Hello, Travis. Now I better get something good here for all I had to go through. Oh yeah, the dark side mode. Kill as many as you can within the time limit. And... Ooh, $75,000 just to kill the one dude. I believe gold medal is the best, but I could be wrong. I think it's just bronze, silver, gold. So the fact that it only took 10 to get gold means I could have just stopped, stood still the last, the first time I was playing and I would have finished it. But I think you need to at least get a bronze medal or else they won't give you the assassin gig. Whoa. can't win them all. Sometimes you crash into houses. There it is. Now it's funny because these like little side missions, if you notice, it's always like kill the CEO of Pizza Butt. And it's like this little throwaway line like just so that there's like some bit of explanation as to what you're doing but it actually becomes relevant in uh no more heroes 2 which i will play after this so jesus christ i need to pay attention to this probably oh my god okay this is a little God, I shouldn't have done that. Look at your sword just gets drained immediately because there's so many of them. Oh my god. It's better to just do that because then you can clash and then... Jesus. I was like, oh boy, 75,000. I failed? Did I have a time limit? Okay, I don't think I can do that one until I have a better weapon. Because I'm not doing that one again. Jesus. I don't get how I failed unless it was a... Uh, whoops. You know, I'm going to try this one again. Now that I have a chance. Now that I know that there's a time limit. I really shouldn't even be doing these right now. Until I get a better sword. No, we gotta be quick. Careful, be quick. Doing pretty good. We should be able to make it this time. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. Jeez, how slow was I going last time? Get 
they got a little... And that's it, just two more, right? He's not gonna die in one hit though, that's the thing. These dudes with the swords are stronger. There we go. Oh, thought he was gonna lay on the floor when we hit him. Alright. Okay, we are actually cutting it a little close now. Where's the last dude? Hey, he's over here! Hey, he's over here! And everyone else is dead. Whoop! Almost screwed up. Oh no! Oh god. One more should do it. Yes! I think that's it. Did we do it? Is there really another dude? Where? Okay. I was about to say. Now how much do you get for those missions anyways? 40,000. That's not too bad. There, we actually succeeded in something. I finally proved that I don't fail every single thing that I do. Alright, uh, let's do that other assassin gig that was like the dark side moves. Because that sounds fun. Where are they? I think it's this way. You know, I, I gotta say... Oh, can we just... Yeah, that'll help. There's a good shortcut. Um... I'm really gonna enjoy it when I start No More Heroes 2. Since the overworld is just... Way more... Uh... What's the word? It's, uh... It, it's not even an overworld, it's just a map and you choose where to go pretty much and it's a lot quicker. So let's try let's do the dark side mode cuz that sounds fun. May you find you and then it's 3000 per kill. And I, I how much do I need? I should probably check that too. Let's see, I need about 70,000 I want to say, so 3,000 per kill, I'm going to need like 25, 24 maybe, I don't know. There's probably not going to be 20 guys to kill, so I'm probably going to have to do like one more thing after this, but if I can even get like 10 that would be pretty good. Have lightsabers, that's nice. Alright, so I'm gonna have my dark side mode. So this should be pretty quick. See what I mean? Yeah. Now this is just fun. This isn't even like a challenge, this is just like a reward. I like how your lightsaber turns red in this mode. But Travis is just like this monster. Yeah, this is great. Oh man. After those last failures, this is pretty satisfying. Ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I have to think for a second. 
I could actually probably get 20 kills in this if I was fast enough. Which I'm probably not going to get that, but I'm gonna get pretty close. Jesus, this is just a bloodbath. This is like that scene in a... That was a sick kill. This is like that scene in a Kill Bill Volume 1. Where it gets so bloody that it just everything turns black and white. And, oh my god, I might get enough money just off of this. That'd be great. Wow. I think that is enough. Okay, that's a good mission. I'll have to remember that. Let's see how much money I got. 75,000. Yeah, that should be, that should be just enough money. Yeah, yeah boy. All right. Perfect. Can we... I don't know if there's like a shortcut around here. I don't think you could jump into the... Can you jump into the ocean? What is this? Oh! And there's a, a Lavatov wall that I missed right there. Or Lavakov? Whatever it's called. I always forget the name. Either way, we found a shortcut. Yeah. Rank number five. Here we come. Oh boy. <laughs> Travis? Let me guess. You're out shopping. Now a vacation? Ooh! Ibiza's amazing! Almost as amazing as me! A hard-working girl never forgets the others, even on vacation! Hey, I don't want to interrupt your fiesta. Who's next? Hey! Give me a second! Don't go anywhere, sweet thing! Mm. What? Huh? Yo, what's the problem? Something wrong? Hello? Um, huh? I'm getting a bad connection. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hel Great. Oh, the old bad connection Whoa! trick. That's nice. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Oh, uh, yeah! Travis, when are you going to learn that this is an abusive relationship? Sometimes she's nice to you, and then sometimes she's mean. Look at Jean flying around on the... <laughs> on the ceiling fan. It's pretty good. All right. Let's save just in case. Cause I am playing on like an actual hardware right now. So there's always the chance it could freeze or something. You never know. Now, I, do I even have money? Not really. I could check to see if there's like a power-up I could get, but I don't really have money right now. Where's my bike at? Hey, look, blood on the floor. Huge splatters of blood. That's not ominous or anything. You know? It's very ordinary to just see blood splatters on the streets. I guess we better follow it.
Whoops. Whenever you see me, like, awkwardly slow down in the middle of the street, it's probably because I failed a quick turn. Oh, it's leading into this field. Hmm. Interesting. What's this? What the heck? Dead body. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number five. Let's shake. It's actually one of the greatest boss battles in uh, video game history, to be honest. You guys are going to be pretty impressed, I think. I'll try my best to, to beat it, but... Man, he's tough. Look at these guys running away. What, what do they think they're doing? Ooh, who's this guy? Where does he think he's going? Come on, shadowy figure. Oh, Darth Vader, sure, why not? That's normal. Oh, they can shoot laser beams from far away. Dark slide's good until they freaking freak block out of it. Alright, I need to figure out what I'm doing here. That's one strike. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're missing the cape though, which is kind of weird. Well, I mean, obviously, it's a parody, so they don't want it to look exactly the same. But Darth, Darth Vader without a cape looks kind of, it's kind of wimpy. He really needs that cape. Is this dude for real? Thinks he could just taunt me like this? Too bad you can't dash, use the dash power when you're in uh, like fighting mode. This might be faster than running, I'm not sure. Seems like it. Yeah, this is one of the most intricate uh, level designs in game history. It's uh, 
It's really easy to get lost. There's there's lots of bonus uh, items if you if you go through the maze-like structure and the correct paths. Uh, it takes some people hours to navigate, but uh, as I've, I've played this a few times, so I shouldn't get lost, hopefully. I understand it may be a tad confusing for those of you who have never seen this before, but uh, don't worry. You know what? I think I'm gonna start using wrestling moves because I was trying to finish these guys off with like slashes most of the time, so I could try to get the roulettes. But they're spar like the enemies are so far apart from each other. Anyways, I don't think that would help. And you know what? I forgot to look up how to do the dark slide. I'm actually not sure how to get these guys into the dizzy state. Oh yeah, I mean this level is... This level is actually completely randomly generated. All the different turns and... Uh, different ways that could appear on your screen. It's, uh, it's quite complex, actually. Uh, nothing before had, had been anything near close to the complexity of this, this level. Yeah, see, like, he keeps deflecting my stuff. There we go. Maybe I gotta get, like, get around him or something. Hey, look, there's something in the distance. It feels like this game was made in 2020. What makes you say that? Did I miss chess? Why is that chess number 29? So she's 1,800% sure that I will die here. Well, I mean that just sh shows right there how insane this boss is going to be. I mean if she's that certain, Senton Splash Tunnel, even the, the sewer system is named after a wrestling move. Yeah, a blackhead. It's like the thing. It's like the thing that when dirt gets in your pores on your skin or something. 
Maybe you call it something else where you're from. So th that was card 29 and 30. Is there a way to check? Hmm. I'll just check when we get home. Because it seems like I missed cards, but it was literally just a straight tunnel the whole way, so. Oh, here we go. At last, Doctor, it's time. Wake up. Oh, yeah, I feel a good undulation. Your rumbling is excellent. I think I'm going to lose the bowel control. You the fifth ranked guy? Yeah, I've been waiting for you. You certainly sound like you're up for a fight. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, then. Here I come. <laughs> oh, man. Disaster blaster, charging ignition. Ignition. I'm ready for this, Activating guys. main engine. Activating sub engine. Check. Cycle ratio, 15%. Cluster generator active. Calculating coordinates. Thermal protection off. Cycle ratio, 25%. Anti shock balance up. Calculation complete. Need detection system normal. Target acquisition 98%. Main panel open. Cycle ratio 55%. Activate cell distance. Maximize output. Ignite vanishing sparks. Cycle ratio 80%. I like how he says I'm ready when it reveals, and then he has to do all this charging up. I hope he cut on the bridge, my boy. Here we go. Well, there goes that boss. Travis touched down, is it not? Son of a bitch! Fucking Snatcher! I had him! Dance with me, Travis. A katana. This is getting interesting. It's okay, the cutscene is, is more important than whatever I'm saying. Henry. Henry? <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. I am... I don't know who you are or what you want, Sir Henry. Where are your manners? That was my kill, you naughty boy! Shall we get this over with? And don't hate me if I play a tad dirty. Fine by me. After you. Well, it looks like I beat the boss. It was a hard fight, but someone had to do it. Stop right there! The fight is over! Travis, you are now ranked fifth. But we haven't even... We're just getting started! Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up! That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard! This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go? Bitch! Mm. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight, and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is- Who? Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just jetted! What a pussy. Sorry, save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? Oh, 
All that buildup and that long tunnel and then that huge, like, the freaking boss is this giant brain in a robot next to and it's like about to do something you don't even know what it's gonna do. And then it just gets killed. I mean, hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Alright, so we beat Let's Shape. Uh, technically. Which means we're rank 5th now. Which means next is rank 4. So, yeah, let's get hyped for that. Hi, this is Diane from BPED Videos. We're calling to let you know you're overdue on returning one of our videos. It's titled, um, Air Force One, The First Lady Returns to the Mile High Club. Mr. Touchdown, your UAA registration is complete. As of today, you are officially... When does Travis have time to run all these States. weird, dirty nice videos? Work. You are on the fast track to the top. Keep it up, and good luck. All right. 400,000. All right, so I'm actually going to look and see if there's any, like, good power-ups for my sword or something. Which I think at this point there should be. And maybe do some work out of the gym. Before I spend all this money. I could go clothes shopping too, but honestly, I... I, I dig Travis's red jacket. I don't know if I really want to switch it. Where am I going? Oh. Let's see if my special order of the Star Wars Christmas special was Travis! Painted. How's business? That's like an oddly, that's like an odd way to title a match. Like you think it would be him versus someone else, but it's just his seventh match. It's like how they used to title songs back in like the classical music era. Like, oh, it's Beethoven's seventh symphony. Like they didn't give it, they didn't give them proper names. Wait, oh, there it is. Alright. React properly. But I thought I was reacting properly. Oh, yeah! I never gave her that US military secret. Whatever that means. Alright, so these are power-ups. You know what? Screw it, I'm gonna get them. But it's specifically for this weapon, and if, if I do get another weapon, it's gonna be pointless, maybe? Uh, it's not available yet. Eh, screw it, I'll buy them. I'm gonna make some more money in a second anyways. You won't talk to me. Alright, and then I guess we'll visit uh, Thunder View, train a bit. And then we just gotta make some cage. Oh, that was close. Oh, 
Oh, I really overshot. There it is. And you know what? We almost have seven of those balls, I think. Let me see. Five lava cough balls. So if we find two more, then we can even get like an, another ability. I know. So we might as well do that too while we're doing this. we go we're gonna get stronger guys everyone follow along at home with your own weight sets well oh, I've got to turn the game volume down I just realized I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember where I said that, but uh, I'll probably just look on the map and whatever's near me, I'll just go for it. All right, cool. Strength increased a little bit. Hope everyone's following along at home. Alright, cool. Oh, and my health is up a bit. Very long wall next to the beach. I wait for you. I remember there was one next to that ramp. Well, I just did squats, but you have to follow along, buddy. You know, this is all about a team effort. All right, so let's see. It looks like there might be one over here. And yes, there is. See, that's fast. Oh, all right. Ran to a dead end. No big deal, it happens. And it looks like there might be one over here. Let's see. It might be like a buried treasure. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, there's a buried treasure here. I could kind of feel it. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, a thousand dollars. Oh god, I'm lost. Oh, there we go. Alright, just one more. One more ball. But look, the spot's still on the floor. That must be another treasure. Alright, how about this? How about... Could there be one over here? Maybe around the other way. There it is. There we go. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that earlier. I think the buried treasure should probably be worth more than the the dumpster's treasure. Okay, um, this way. And I wonder what ability we're gonna get this time. So displays the position of enemies. That's kind of useful, but I don't think it's really 
Like, I don't think I need it that much. Cause a jumping slash. That's actually kind of cool. Extends dark side mode. That could be helpful. Increases the range of your grab. That could be useful. That this is the bonus points one. Allows a jumping down attack. I don't remember that. What that is specifically. Um. I think I'm going to go for that jumping slash. Just so I have like another move to mess around with. The Technique of Love. Wow. Keep practicing. I don't know if it's necessary for him to like throw you through a table to teach you the technique, but I mean, whatever works, I guess. Oh, I just went the other way. All right, so now we're just, we just need to make money. So let's see what new jobs they have available. Let's look through the yellow pages, the white pages, the blue pages. Let's search for treasure because I haven't learned my lesson that it's not worth it yet. I think I parked right on the treasure. Lavakov is his name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's wanting, he wants you to bring him his balls that are scattered around town for some reason. Don't ask me why. Hey, I got that one on pretty quickly. Now I could be wrong, but I think you can find more stuff besides money. Like maybe you could find other shirts sometimes, but I haven't found any yet. So I was kind of hoping to run into. Did I park on it? I'm not really feeling. Let's move the bike. Nope, nope, no, just more money. All right, we need to get a real job because this this buried treasure business isn't really paying off. Oh, I didn't notice that was there until it was too late. That's why, kids, you should always pay attention. Keep your eyes on the road when you're driving. It's very important. I feel like there's going to be a ball in here. So I'm just gonna check it out real quick. Yep. And there might be another one. Yep. That was a quick... Oh, and another dumpster. I like completely forgot about the dumpsters for a moment. What shirt did I get? Can't really see it from here. It's green. That's nice. Where'd my bike go? There we go. Hey. 
You know, Travis's bike looks pretty cool, but at the same time, if your bike is this huge, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of you riding a bike? Because usually if you ride a bike, like especially if in a state like California where you can legally like drive in between cars on the street or on the freeway or whatever, you know, save you some time, get through traffic. But Travis's bike, it's kind of thick. I don't know if it could really do the same thing as like a normal bike. Anyway, let's see what new jobs they're offering. Come here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm a third class man. Graffiti cleaning. Well, that's an abram admirable job. Admiral job. That's my name. Admiral job. Yeah. And, and not all states can do it. I don't know how many states, but I do know in California that you can drive your motorcycle in in between cars. Um, as far as I, it sounds dangerous, do another ball. But as far as I know, not a lot of accidents happen from it, not very often. I wouldn't know because I don't ride a bike. <laughs> But, I don't know, I guess if you know how to ride it. Do I want to get a motorcycle with you? Uh, how do you split a motorcycle? It's kind of a, I feel like that'd be a kind of a difficult task. I mean, you can get a motorcycle if you want. You'd think there'd be more treasure on the beach, actually, now that I think about it. That that should be, like, where all the treasure is. Oh, this one is up here. The heck, where is it? Oh, there we go. I don't know why I'm digging up treasure right now. A ball? Yep. Yes. I think I found more of those balls in the last like 10 minutes than I have for like the rest of the game. Mines are treasure for people who like to to blow up, I guess. Oh man, more treasure. I can't help it guys, I'm like getting addicted to the treasure now. And also I want to see if I'm not crazy and if you can actually find shirts on the ground. I need to stop digging up treasure. Like I said, I gotta get a real job. Can't pay the bills just sticking a lightsaber into the dirt once in a while, you know, it's just not working out. Kill the god of graffiti. Only in No More Heroes do you kill the god of graffiti. Remember that. Here we go. Three, See, this is actually teaching a good one. message to kids. Oh, was that not the graffiti I was supposed to clean up? Oh, 
Oh, look, and I can even use the dash move during the missions. Like, if I didn't have the dash move, it'd be taking me a lot longer to get to each of the graffiti. So I think that that power-up really does pay off quickly. Because then I have more earning potential. It's actually pretty cool. Like, I know a lot of people hate these side missions, understandably, because they're kind of grindy and it's like, dude, I got this game. Okay, I went the wrong way. It's like, I got this game to kill people and like fight assassins. Why am I doing menial labor? But honestly, the fact that he put in so many different kinds of jobs is, is kind of neat. He didn't have to do that. He could have just had a few jobs that you cycle through, but like every time you, you rank up, there's like a different job. So I think it's cool that he at least, you know, put in a bunch of different ones. That's a dead end. And that's another dead end. There it is. With how well regular jobs pay in the game, I think Suda is trying to pass a message to the youth. Nonviolence rewards more. Uh, maybe he is, you know? You know, Suda's known for his violence and like gore and stuff, but I mean, look at what I'm doing. You spend a lot of the game just trying to earn a little, you know, normal living. Is that the last graffiti? Am I gonna get every single graffiti in the city? That's a pretty... That's a pretty efficient cleaning. At my old high school, um, it was pretty ghetto. And, like, a lot of times, like, over the weekend, like, someone will have, like, graffiti parts of the school buildings. So like on Monday you would see like the janitors having to clean the graffiti off from the weekend. You know how kids are. They like writing their names on stuff. Hello, Travis. Just like in metal bands, just like with horror movies and stuff, the, the more gory and violent someone create, the nicer they usually are. Um, in fact, Suda said the crazy one in Grasshopper wasn't him at all. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Suda ha does definitely has some weird interest in death. I think his first job was as like an undertaker or a someone who like prepares the bodies that have like died kill using wrestling moves only kill as many as you can at a time limit go on a batting killing spree well that one always pays pretty good so i'm gonna try that one first and then i'll do the wrestling move one after probably May you find your yeah another person like that is vince gilligan uh the creator and director of breaking bad um well, not the only director, but like the main, the head guy. He, he did all this crazy stuff in the show that you gotta think like, man, whoever came up with this is like kind of sick in the head. But he's like the nicest, like most polite, like this like Southern dude from Virginia. So yeah, sometimes the nicest people can come up with some of the craziest stuff. Is there a ball in here? It's not. It was the janitor gang all along. That's actually smart because they're the ones cleaning it, so you're th they're the last people you would expect. Yeah, he worked as a florist for a bit, then moved on as an undertaker. See, you know more than me. T-shirt. 
Am I finally gonna find a t-shirt? Nope, just more money. The lead singer of Slayer is a Christian, goes to church every Sunday. That's interesting. I feel like there's probably a decent amount of metal bands that are like that. Because a lot of people, like Black Sabbath for instance, a lot of people, like especially back then, were like, Oh god, these people are anti-Christ. They must be like Satanists or something. But if you listen to the lyrics of Black Sabbath, like it's really dark and stuff, but it's actually like against, like it's talking bad about like Satan and stuff. Like if you actually listen to the lyrics. Oh yeah, we're playing the baseball. Come on, let's do this. Gotta make that money. Well, bad start. Oh my god. I keep thinking it's... Oh man. Damn. It, it kept coming faster than I was expecting. Oh, if I got them all, that would have been a really good payday. That's not bad. Could have been a lot better. I kind of want to try that one again. Because if that was five and there's at least ten people, that would have been 70,000 right there. I think I'll do the wrestling one first. Oh yeah, you read the book. That's the book that's not available in the US, right? So I'm gonna have to like learn Japanese. Oh, I never watched the, the new tapes. I gotta remember to do that before I fight the next uh, ranked dude. Where am I going? Oh yeah. I forgot where I was even going. And yeah, you're right, books are very useful. Because knowledge is power. Alright, uh, let's do the... Let's try the wrestling moves. Actually, maybe I'll watch the tape now. Because I think they'll teach me some more wrestling moves. And then I'll go do that mission. Hopefully that doesn't like reset my current mission in progress if I go home real quick. I don't know if you're allowed to go home while that's going on. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, I can't even see my home on the map right now. Eh, whatever, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just go there. You can buy it in the US, they do ship internationally, but I don't know if it is available in English yet. Could translate part of it for you if you have a question though. No, that's cool, you don't have to do that. There's another um, Suda51 related book that I wish I could get, but is also not in English. Is a, it's called Hand in Killer 7. Which is, it, it's, it gives you a lot more like information on like Killer7. It, it doesn't give you like a lot of more information, but it kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It, it. it talks a bit more about things in the game that weren't talked about in the game. And um, I've read a translation of that online, so it's not like I need it to be in English. But it would just be cool to own the book, so I could just, like, read it whenever I want. But it's weird, because there, there are things in the book that kind of contradict things in the game. Like, a lot of it isn't clear exactly. 
anyways, which is why I think it'd be really cool if Suda ever does a remaster version of Killer7. Because he's talked about it before, that only one third of the story that he planned on being in Killer7 actually ended up in the game. And he's talked about like maybe one day like finishing it, like like putting doing a version that has like all the story in it. But he said it's really up to Capcom, because they're the ones who own the IP. So that'd be really sick if Capcom allowed him to do that eventually. And just for um, the record, if he did come out with a with like a remastered Killer Seven with the complete story, I think it should be called Killer Seven Plus. I think that would be like a very clean title, which also indicates that it's like, yeah, this is Killer Seven Plus, like the rest that was not there before. As long as he doesn't call it Killer 7 2, which I've heard people suggest, and it doesn't make sense. I wonder how well this one's gonna pay. I killed almost all of them. Oh, come on, man. Okay, one more. That's not bad. How do we do? 60,000. That's not bad. The baseball one, though, I think is still more efficient because it's just so quick and then you can potentially get a lot. Because what do I need? I need like 400,000, don't I? Let's see, doesn't it say? Yeah, I need 400,000. Jeez. So if the baseball one pays, what was it, 750 per kill, and potentially you could kill like 10 people. So that's just like two more. That's just two more. Well, if I, if I perfect it twice, then I think I'd be good. So I should do that, actually. I'm just trying to look for a shortcut. But the beach is all blocked off right here. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Might as well get a ball? Yep. Yeah, I was just going there for the, the ball. That's, that's what I was doing. It was all planned. Yeah, I don't want to do those like one hit kill missions because I, I feel like they don't pay off well enough and then you're likely to fail them anyways. Is this a shortcut? Yes. Okay. Yeah, No More Heroes 2 is gonna be a lot more smoother in between boss fights. Isn't there one where, like, yeah, kill until you die? That's when I have to kill a hundred enemies. Is there another kill until you die? Hmm. So that's 7,000. If I kill 10 people, that's... 70,000. If I can do that perfectly twice, then that should be good. So I'm gonna go for it. 
I wonder if PDF of the books couldn't be found in English since most of the books about him are in Japanese. I'm sure someone translated them. Yeah, it's possible someone translated it and I just haven't, you know, found it. Because someone translated the the Killer 7 book like a long time ago. The Killer, Killer 7 book is kind of interesting. They talk about... <clears throat> But without like going into too many spoilers, uh, the end of Killer 7, there's kind of like an epilogue that takes place like a hundred years in the future. And the book goes even further and like talks about stuff that happens like way after that even. Which it's like, it almost sounds like a crazy like fan fiction type of thing because it's like just so far into the future and like all this stuff's happening, but... No, apparently that's actually, like, part of the lore. Alright, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, good so far. It actually gets harder when they're farther away, because it's harder to tell when the ball is going to get to you. Oh, we did it. Sick. So if that's like 10 people, at least, if it was like 11, that'd be even cooler. Oh, nine, okay. Well, not quite as much as I hoped for, but that, that was still, you know, that's just as much as I made off the other mission, except way faster. So I need 90,000 more. So, oh, now we could shortcut. I like that mission too, because the shortcut back is like right there. I'm probably just gonna do the rank fourth after this, and then that'll be good. That'll be it for tonight, because it, it is a weeknight. I know people are gonna be able to skip super late, especially if you're on the East Coast. It's probably starting to get pretty late. I'm on the West Coast, so it's only like Almost nine. Hello, Travis. Um, this one does pay 90,000 though. You know what, I wanna try this, screw it. I haven't done it yet. And if I could just kill them as quickly as possible. I'm probably gonna regret it, but whatever. I'm assuming if there's a hundred of them, then they're gonna be pretty weak enemies. Excuse me. Pretty weak enemies. This looks like the Destroy Man level. Three, two, one. Gotcha. Okay, that guy died in like one minute. Yeah, okay, they're easy. Perfect. This shouldn't take too long. God, this is just a bloodbath. Oh, oh no, but I need to kill them quickly, that's the only thing. Because there is a time limit. Yeah, it's more a concern of killing them quickly enough than even dying, I think. Oh my 
делают. As long as I don't fail at the last minute, it should be okay, because that would be horrible. Like, so I just gotta come up with people at once, like that. Well, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Oh, really? You're gonna start blocking me now? I'm just throwing my last thing because I'm just. <laughs> I just want some variety there. I know, and I have that new move. Oh my god, I can just kill people like that? Okay, that, that bonus I got from the balls? I can just kill them with that. Look. Well, most of them. Some of the, some of the guys are stronger. But yeah, you, sh you just shake them in track. Oh my god. That makes it so much better. It's a good thing I just remembered I had that. Okay, this is gonna make this. Look, and you can kill multiple people. Okay, that was an amazing purchase. I'm really glad I picked that. See, we, we learn things every day. I don't know, I don't even remember that you could kill people with that move. So that's cool. It does drain your battery pretty quickly, but it's still fast. Look at that. I'm killing like the second half, the second 50 enemies like way faster than the first. Alright, where's the, where's the last of you? Two more. One more. Is that it? Or is there one more dude? There we go. That better be a gold medal. I want a solid gold telephone. I think you might get money just for killing the enemies passively, like not even relating to the mission. I could be wrong. You have enough money for the entrance fee. That's right I do, baby. All right, rank four, here we come. Very good. And we don't even need the bike because we just got to run around the corner. Yes. And I got to remember to watch those tapes too before I, I start the mission. Travis, the next rank is fourth. Who is it? But come to think of it, it doesn't really matter. I do know it? how to count. 
I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait. This is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? Something what? like that. What did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? <laughs> I'll see you. Rated later. M for Mator, by the way. I feel like I I feel like I need to say that again every stream. Alright, let's watch those tapes before I forget. Ooh, Hurricane Rana. That's a sick wrestling move to learn. Power bomb, nice, classic. All right. Once again, I'm gonna save just in case. Don't have to earn all that money again. Pretty nice bathroom for like a motel. Dear Travis, you know what that is? It's a platinum ticket, reserved seating. Go and give the performance of your life. You can do this. So she's always saying like you have like a thousand percent chance that you're going to die and now she's trying to be all nice all of a sudden? What's up with that? jump more often. Just increases your chances of crashing as well. Here we go. Alright, let's see who rank number four is. Let's see what you're made of. Damn, is that a name? Imagine having to write that name down on your your test at school or just like on on your homework every night Jeez, I got just up tackle me Okay, the dude with the gun is... What am I doing? I have the slash move. I'm not even using it. How can this game be about heroes if you're running over pedestrians? Okay, first of all, the game is called No More Heroes. And second of all, I didn't run over any pedestrians. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a good driver, okay? Oh, Hurricane Rana. Yes. That's sick. He auto slices him too, which is nice. There's a great nonsensical French comedy bit about the correlation writing your name and address and the amount of time doing so wait your or an orgasm. Obviously the longer the name. Interesting. I've not heard that one. 
Definitely not an American thing. Don't bring a gun to a lightsaber fight. It's not gonna turn out good for you, buddy. So we're taking the subway again, which means we're, we're going out of town. Like when we fought... Who did we go to town for? Destroy Man, I think? See, how come more action video game characters don't use wrestling moves? Masuda definitely had the right idea there. Oh, okay. Oh, you can just knock them down and then bam, just slice them. That's another good thing to remember. And now we're going on the subway. We're going to Little Tokyo. Travis, what are you doing? Travis, you can't just fall asleep on the subway. Okay, this screen always reminded me of like, it looks more like it would be an Xbox 360 game than a Wii game. I don't know, this, this screen always made me think that. But yeah, we're removing the nunchuck from the Wii remote. I wonder why we're doing that. Oh, suddenly we're playing an entirely different game. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's actually cool because the uh the sword can catch bullets, which I'm not like an expert when it comes to like space shooting games, like so I don't, I don't know a lot of them, but I don't know any other game that does that off the top of my head, so that's a pretty cool tactic. And then it builds up your special meter. And that's my special, I just decided to show it off for the heck of it. Yeah, I like Suda always does stuff like this. He like adds little bump. Whoops. Okay, I forgot. Gotta be more careful. He adds like little bonus stuff like this to his game, which is really cool. Also, the special meter looks like a guitar neck. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Oh god. Okay, I wasted that.
Yeah, this is actually kind of difficult. At least they give me an extra continue. As you can tell, I'm not an expert at bullet hell games. The closest thing is like Silver Surfer for NES. Which is like a pretty hard game still, but it's kind of a different thing. We did it. We saved the earth. What if a different name got put in right here and then it was revealed that I was just watching another video and I was pretending to play? Conspiracy theory time. Was Jay really playing No More Heroes? Find out at the end of this video. But first, sponsored by Dawn of Shadow Legend. What is that game that all the YouTubers are like sponsoring right now? I don't know. Anyway, back to the normal game. Here we go. Yeah. More cards, baby. Oh, phone call already? Okay, cool. So suddenly Sylvia's like, oh, you're going to win. I like you now. Hmm. I don't know. And there's the other two cards. Sweet. Of course. Sweet. Nice. Let's get them. Well, let's save first. Then we'll go grab that mask. Yeah, it's funny how suddenly Sylvia's acting really fond of Travis when before she was like, Yeah, stay away from me, you weeaboo. I don't want anything to do with you. But now she's all she's all sweet on him all of a sudden. Mask got for us for, uh, 
for today. Travis, you've become a masterful pro wrestler. I think I'll book a match for you, but first, a super hard suplex. Remember Satan's Ferris wheel, the double arm suplex. Alright, gotcha. I will remember that. Oh, here we go. Rank number four. You are late, handsome. Hurry, the show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited, but I am most excited. Even Travis is surprised, but he's oh, a horny fool, you so. Serious? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Wow. Hey, no problem, dude. Have a good night. I'll catch you later. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to start a bit earlier next time. There. Welcome to Harvey Volodarsky's Magic Freak Show of the Century. It'll be a killer night. So let's get started. It's showtime! <laughs> oh my! Quiet, quiet, please! What do you know? It's already time for the last program! What kind of magic trick was that? He just threw knives day. at them. <laughs> you, ladies and gentlemen, and then are they're lucky. okay. So lucky that you I might agree. even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. We're the only ones in the crowd, that's a little the suspicious. Lucky person is you! Well, Travis. This is your lucky night. Me? They want me? Serious? You gotta be kidding. Go get him, tiger. Come on, no need to be shy. Congratulations, you nasty little boy. Tell the audience your name. Travis Touchdown. It's a good name, don't you think? It's a fine name indeed. You have your parents to thank for that. My parents are dead. Oops, touchy subject. A question that should not be touched upon. That's okay. Really, it is. Dear, dear I kind of just killed the whole mother, you mood of the whole show. Hold on to your hopes and don't give up, my nasty little boy. Thanks. I'll remember that. So you came to enjoy the show? Damn right I did. I was really looking forward to this. It's the last show, right? Last show? Did I hear you right? Oh, you heard me right. Harvey, you're gonna die tonight. Right here, by my hand. Let's close the curtains. I hope you aren't being serious. That would be a pity. It's kind of a cocky thing to say while you're literally, unveil. like, handcuffed. Playtime is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Well, on to the grand finale. The of Travis. Now this is entertainment. Yeah! It's killing time. All right, here we go. The fourth ranked assassin is a, a magician. I guess that makes sense. Not really. What's this? Watch this! It's magic! It's magic! Watch 
I think that kills you instantly if you don't get out, if you don't shake quickly enough. Okay, good, I'm not dead. <laughs> so weird, Suda. You weirdo. Welcome to the nightmare! Yes! Don't <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> it's showtime! <laughs> Music, begin! Let's go! 
Take that, Harvey. It's dark! Somebody turn on the lights! I can't see shit! Oh, how am I supposed to perform in total darkness? Hit the lights! Hurry up! I can't see! It's dark! I'm surrounded by darkness! This is actually kind of sad. <laughs> We did it guys. We beat the fourth ranked assassin and got lots of money. The name is Travis Touchdown. Thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would also like to thank you for coming this evening. As a result, Travis Touchdown is now ranked fourth place. And the show will go on. I hope to see you all again soon. And, and have, have a good, good night. night! Wow, what a nice couple they made. She's totally not manipulating him. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe she does like him after. But rank four. Hi, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. We're calling to let you know that the video you returned was a copy of one of our video titles. Um, the best of raunchy amateur interviews too. You didn't seem to copy the whole tape though. It ended two minutes into the middle of the first interview. Anyway, please be sure to return the original tape you borrowed. Thank you. So he tried to make a copy of the tape and then Good return. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. Except Are he didn't even copy the whole again? thing. Please wire us the money now. Jeez. He just said, okay, wire the money now. They're getting really aggressive. 450,000, Jesus. Pretty reasonable. Have we been getting all the cards? Let's see if we missed anything. Yeah, see, we missed... There was three cards, but this was on the mission where there's like no... It was just that long tunnel. I'm not sure where I missed those. That's, that's really weird. But see, the more cards you get, the more masks you get that fill up the wall, which is pretty cool. So we're about to head on to the rank 3. Oh hey, welcome. Mike is plugged. Already a better stream than yesterday. Yeah, you know, I figured... Last stream I was goofing up a bit. And I... Uh, this time I'm a little more prepared. I'm a little fresher. I'm more well rested. I got my... I got a drink. You know? Not like a drink drink, you know, it's just water, but I'm I'm ready for this. Cause we're getting closer to the end here. We're rank four right now, we're coming up on rank three pretty soon. And I gotta beat my best, because these bosses aren't gonna get any easier. I'm just waiting for some technical error to be revealed to me that I haven't noticed yet. Like, uh, Jay, you know that you're streaming a black screen, right? I'm sure it'll happen. Alright, let's see what new job we got for us today. Something really cool, I hope. Oh, I forgot to turn the, the game's audio down when I got back into gameplay mode, so that... There we go. All right, let's see. 
Meow Meow. That's the name of the the job. So you got mine sweeping, graffiti cleaning, and meow meow. So we gotta capture the escaped cats. That sounds like a pretty important job. It's funny how they said escaped cats. Like they're not stray cats. These these cats were being transported like in armored vehicles by the military and then they broke out and escaped. It's like the plot to like any movie where there's like some kind of alien technology or something. Or probably like half the Marvel movies. Oh no. Okay, I thought I was gonna crash. Wait. Wait a minute. Ah, there he is. Meow, I don't really understand the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy. Try to think a little more like a cat. Gotta find those cats before they get busy. Lend him a helping paw. The god of cats is rolling around purring happily. Well then what's the issue? Sounds like they're having okay time. Oh, but we don't want them breeding because then the whole Santa Destroy is just going to be engulfed in cats. Alright. Let's see, there's one. Come on. Come on, kitty. Wait, am I supposed to... Oh. Oh, it's like a Dance Dance Revolution, of course. Oh, see, they take a, a minute to load, so I'm never sure if I sh should just start preemptively waving or not. Down. Left. Okay. Just you gotta wait a moment, I guess. You know, this is a little more wholesome than like picking up trash or sweeping up mines. I have to say. And you know Travis must must like cats because he has his own cat at home, so And these are like kittens too, they're not like full grown cats. Okay, this one is really picky. I mean, is Suda really trying to teach us that violence is bad? Well, we talked about this before. And, uh... You know, honestly, Suda... It's not like he's saying violence is good. I know his games have a lot of violence, and... A lot of the reason why they're fun is because of, you know, a lot of the action and violence, but... Um... You know, sometimes people get killed that you don't want to get killed in the games, and then the game, you know, makes you feel that. So, maybe in the end, he is trying to say that violence is only cool sometimes. And the other times, it's not so cool. Maybe. Meow, meow, meow. As they say in Catopia. Come on, I only need two more. If I, if I can get them, then that's a perfect score. Then I'll get my triple marks. Okay, where is he? This is gonna be really close. I don't. Come on. Come on. Yes! We did it. We, we, we 100 percent the cat minigame. That's all I needed to accomplish in life. I got a decent amount of money too. At least you can't die in this game like the minesweeping one and then just ruin all your progress. 
Okay, so I need like 150k more. So hopefully doing this cat job unlocked us like some good assassin gigs right now. If I could get 50, 75k in two goes, well, each go, then we should be good. Kill as many as you can, go on and back. Oh, those are old. Struggle against all odds, kill all targets, all other details will be a nice surprise. Kill as fast as you can, enemies are armed with life ammo. Oof. Okay, so this is a challenge and the reward is a secret, which is kind of sketchy. But I'm gonna go for it because I'm dumb like that. Can you imagine a job listing and it's like, what's the payment? Oh, it's a secret. Also, it's gonna be really difficult. I don't think that would attract many, many potential hirees. But I think before we want to do that, I think there's a new lightsaber power up. So I should probably check that first. Oh, I can't though. Because all the icons are gone now. Ah, whatever. We don't need no power up. We can beat it through the force of sheer will alone. Maybe. Possibly. I wonder what this, the secret's gonna be though. Like, they didn't give us any details for this mission. Mission start. Alright, here we go. Let's see. I feel like I remember doing this a long time ago and there's not, like, there doesn't feel like there's a big secret. Three, two, like, it's not a big deal. One. So, let's see. Oh. Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a little disorienting. I could probably flip my, my stream upside down so you guys can see this normally. But I'm not gonna do that because if I have to see it like this, then I think you guys should, you know, go with it. With me. Or I go this way. There we go. I, I need to remember I have the jump and slash move, because that'll probably be useful. Oh, this kind of hurts my brain. And anyone who's joining in right now is going to be like, okay, this guy's an idiot. He's streaming upside down. Wow, what an amateur. This better pay good, because the details were... Yeah, you looked away for one second, and now my, my stream is upside down. Look, I can explain, it's not my fault, I swear. Uh, is that it? Alright. Well, it didn't take very long. No, I promise you your sanity isn't fading away. It's just the game. 70,000 for that? That's not bad. That's like half of what I needed. Pretty much. So, well, I'm going to upgrade my sword probably, which means I'll need more money, but it'll be worth it. So, is there a way for me to shortcut out of here? Thinking about it, it's smart. Super simple level design, but one easy gimmick. Yeah, I suppose you could look at it like that. Let's go treasure hunting just real quick. Because I didn't learn my lesson from last time. Hmm. There we go. Now we need to get to the lightsaber place. Which is like back home, I believe. 
more or less. Is there a ball back here? No, it looks like I've been through here already. Oh, there's treasure. There we go. Wait a second, I thought I had 400... Wait, oh no, I have 380,000. So, I think it, it is because you get some passive money as you're killing people that's not related to the mission payment, which is nice. Let's see if there's a ball in here. Oh, nice, and we got some dumpsters. Might change my shirt right now, let's see. Oh, that's a pretty sick shirt. Can't really see in the shadows, but it's like a grasshopper manufacturer shirt. It looks like a like an old arcade screen or something. We're probably gonna change it right now though. Yep. Yes. And now what is it? I can't really see. It's like a monster. I'm fine with that. I think a white shirt under his red jacket kind of looks pretty good anyways. It's a pretty good match. And speaking of shirts, we're right next to the clothing store. I haven't been in there in a while, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm I dig Travis's like neutral look pretty well. Uh, oh, I thought I said there was a something back there. But let me see. No. Nope. It was an illusion. Oh, wow, one go. Look guys, I'm getting better at treasure hunting. Oh, it must be down one of these alleyways. Maybe down this way. Oh, that's a dead end. Maybe... Around... This way? Oh, there's some dumpsters. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Eight, and that's the sound cue that means we got seven of them, which means we can get another Russian power-up, so that's cool too. And there's another ball. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the awesome cartoon series that used to be on the internet a while back, uh, Eagle Raptor, back when he like still did animation in like the early, mid-2000s. There was all these awesome cartoons like Metal Gear Awesome and uh, I don't know, other like awesome cartoons. But when I was in like middle school or high school, I had my own idea for like an awesome cartoon. Because sometimes other people would do awesome cartoons just because it just became this thing. And my idea was no more awesome. And I had all these like funny ideas relating to the game like like Travis wins his first lightsaber in a online auction and in like in my cartoon idea he was gonna just get like a fluorescent light bulb in the mail because that's basically what it looks like and that was like one of the jokes and when he like he's supposed to cut off death metal's hands when you, when you fight him like the first boss you fight but instead he was just gonna break the fluorescent light bulb on his hands and then he was just gonna like find trash and money in the dumpster, which is like an obvious joke in itself. I don't know, all kinds of dumb stuff. But the one problem is I can't draw. So, if you can't draw, that makes it even harder to animate. Where's this damn, oh, I could feel it. I could, yeah, there it is. Yeah, and if you can't draw, that makes it a little difficult to animate now, doesn't it? Thinking about it, it's... Oh yeah, you already said that. I was reading an old message. Sorry if I, if I ever miss any messages. Sometimes I'm just like concentrating on the game. But I try to look into the chat once in a while. There we go, cool. 
That's one cool thing about me having played this before, even though it's been years, is that I don't need to hyper focus on all the cutscenes and stuff. Um, since I've seen it before. Whereas if I was playing a new game, especially one if I'm like really interested in, like No More Heroes 3, like when that comes out, I don't know if I'll be able to stream that, honestly, because I, I'm just going to want to really focus on the game and immerse myself. If I were to stream it, um, where am I going? If I were to stream it, I might just like really focus on the game and then look to the chat when there isn't stuff going on. So I don't know if you guys would actually like that very much. No new tapes. Come back again. My last stream I did, I got this like copyright for a song while I was in like one of the stores in the game. And it was just like this little song that's playing for a second. And my videos like never get copyrights like that. And it wasn't like a, a strike or anything. It was just them saying, oh, we're going to monetize your video. Because 10 seconds of our song was in your video yes. so I mean it doesn't matter anyways because I can't monetize my videos I used to be able to but then YouTube oh here it is but then YouTube changed their rules so you need like some ungodly amount of watch time over like the past year to be eligible for monetization you need a thousand subscribers which I do actually have but then you need 4,000 hours of watch time, I think it is. There's the new saber. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And, um... 4,000 hours of watch time over the past 12 months, which is, like, a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even halfway close to that, so... Unless my videos... Like, I've been streaming more, so... That has been helping incrementally towards that goal but not really anywhere close. And it's gonna be a while until I get to that point if I do. But I'm trying to do more content anyways. So hopefully I, I do manage to reach that eventually. That would be nice, you know? If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm still gonna try to do videos and all that. But if I ever get to that point again where I'm getting enough activity to be eligible for monetization, that'd be really cool because then I'd be able to put more budget into my videos and all that. That was always my goal. Like, as soon as I get my first $100 from YouTube, I was going to use it to invest in my videos. And I was getting there, and then YouTube was like, we changed the rules. Uh, you're not eligible for monetization anymore. And I was like, okay, well, building up to $100, and now I don't get anything. Nice. I guess my channel will never improve. Alright, what are we gonna do here? I guess we could try this one, because 7,000 per kill... If I kill 10 people, then right there... They do have guns, so that's gonna suck, but I have a new weapon. So, you know what, let's go for it. We're gonna see if this, this new beam katana was worth purchasing, because it was pretty expensive. It really set me back there. You know, I've been following the streamer who only write, reads the chat when someone gives money, so I'm used to chat not being read. Yeah... I don't know, that's weird to me. Like, one day... Maybe I'll have... Uh, the thing where people can like give a little donation or whatever, because that would be really nice. But I don't want people to only do that just so that I'll read it, you know? I only want them to do it like if they feel like doing that. So I try my best to read the chat. And I understand some people's streams are just going crazy. Like they can't, they just can't keep up with it unless they're more focused on the stream than the game. So that totally makes sense. Like, you know, they want to give thanks to people who are donating, but they can't read every single message. Yeah, but mine is very manageable. It, it's not often that I can't keep up with 
what's being said, even if I'm like a little late sometimes. Nice. We're digging up. We're digging up money. Oh, nice. Cool. And there's like one more little spot. Ah, uh, where is that? Oh, this might actually be a locker cob. What the hell is it called? I always forget the name. Oh yeah, I need to. I need to get the that power up as well. I completely forgot about that. After this mission, I'll do that, and then maybe see if I could train at the gym. And then we should be pretty close to to rank to the our next ranked fight. I'm thinking it'll probably take like two more streams for me to beat this, like this one and then another one. Um, unless somehow I really make a lot of progress tonight. But it's a weeknight, so if it starts getting too late, I'll probably end it before the the first ranked fight. And then just finish that up like, I don't know, tomorrow or like soon. Okay, now check this saber out. It's pretty freaking sick. It's four and one. I think it's four. Um, or maybe it's like five. I don't know. It's really powerful. The only downside is that it drains... Look at how strong that is. And you can even, like, the chances of slicing multiple people at once is a lot higher. The only downside is that it drains very quickly. Like, compared to other sabers. Oh god. Look at that, he's like swinging a baseball bat. Is Travis uh, left-handed? Because he like swung that like a left-handed person would. Well, all these guys don't have live ammo, so that's good. Oh. I'll be here until 6 a.m., which is a bit more than two hours. You can make quite the progress in that time. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's probably around the time I'll stop anyways. I'm going to try to do the rank 3 and 2 fights. Oh, I'm, like, stuck on the chairs here. Lightsaber's too damn big. Whoa, stop. Stop. Yes, yeah, these guys are armed, but most of them aren't actually armed. Which I'm not complaining about, because the, the dudes with guns are pretty annoying. Yeah, they're not even wearing hoods either, that's a good point. That is a very good point. Ooh, 84,000. That's good. That's pretty good. So what was I going to do? The the ball power up. And then see if I could train at the gym. Let's see. Is this near a shortcut? It's always hard to... Yes, I think this is a shortcut over here. Oh, nope. That was a wall. You'd think after playing this enough, I would start to remember where everything is. But nope. Not me. I've got the memory of a goldfish. This might be a shortcut. Yes, yes! Wait, that's a wall? Over this way. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Which rank assassin is the bit? Okay, well. Uh, mods, can you ban that guy from my chat? Thanks. Wow, I dug up money. I'm just kidding, I don't have any mods. I don't have... A... My channel doesn't really necessitate mods. Because there's like two people watching at a time usually. Where am I going? 
Oh yeah, power ups. I might need mods eventually one day, that'd be nice. And then they could do all the, the stuff that I don't like doing, like muting people and kicking people. I don't like doing that stuff because it feels mean, you know? So they can do all the dirty work for me. That'll be the day. Oh yeah, we got plenty of training to do here. We're gonna get ripped. Yes, let's moderate your channel so that I'm the only one writing stuff- Oh wait. Wow, that was a pretty sick burn. Mods, could you ban that guy for giving me a sick burn? Hire me, I'll only work for Dog Biscuits. You know, that sounds like a good deal, but are you good mod material? That's the question. Because cheap is one thing, but can you do the job? What are you, Scooby-Doo? Dog Biscuits are expensive, though. Do you work for Oxygen? <laughs> that would be the best deal ever just oh i'll pay you an oxygen and then i'll just put like a little plant next to their desk and that's their payment because the plant is constantly providing oxygen all right we're getting ripped is it like a matrix shirt isn't there a character like in a fighting game or something that wears a shirt like that it looks very familiar Squat time. As long as oxygen is smells like sweet and spicy Doritos. I don't think oxygen is smells like that. Well then they would be working for free, Jay. Just blow on their faces once. Yeah, that's their payment. At the end of every, like, two weeks or the end of the month, I'll just blow some air in their face and like, okay, there's your payment, see you, see you tomorrow, good work on all that moderating. Alright, and then we're right next to the, the Russian dude, which is pretty convenient, he's right down here. Yeah, if you read on the map, it actually says that this, like, little area is based off of, like, Little Tokyo in LA. Which is like, when I saw this, that it was in the alleyway, it made me think of like, in Japan, like in Tokyo, there's all these like, little shops down alleyways. Alright, so what do we want? I think I might get the, uh, the dark side extension. Because that'll be pretty cool. Increasing range of grabs could be good too, though. I don't remember what a jumping down attack. I'm gonna extend the dark side mode, because I think that'll help. And the next time, I'll either extend my grab range, or uh, get that jumping down attack, because I don't... <laughs> the technique of God. It seems like that technique's a little OP compared to the other ones. Keep. Well, in Tokyo, they have the little China thingy, which is also a lot of alleyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, LA has a um, Chinatown as well as little Tokyo, so... And they have Koreatown. They have everything in LA. And lots of good food. That's my favorite reason for going. Like, really, that's like the two reasons to go to LA. Either for good food or for like a, a concert. Alright. What mission are we doing next? So that's 75,000. Hmm.
Kill as many as you can on the time limits. Could be pretty fruitful. I could go for this one again, yeah, since I have the better weapon. Maybe I'll be able to pull this one off. There's a god of wheat. I'm sure he's not that powerful. <clears throat> what kind of food? You mean what kind of food do they have in LA? All kinds, man. They have... <clears throat> like in Little Tokyo, they have good like, ramen. They got the... Uh, what is it? Yakitori. Takoyaki. Um... I'm sure they're su they have good sushi. I haven't really had much sushi there. Um, they have a revolving sushi bar, which is kind of just fun for the gimmick, but I don't think like the quality is super great. Koreatown, they got good food. Besides that stuff, they just have like, you know, burgers, Johnny Rockets, Umami Burger. Uh, I'm starting to drool. Why are you making me hungry like this? Alright, so I failed this mission last time, but now I have a better weapon. Oh, you can't forget Pink's Hot Dogs. The best hot dog I've ever had. LA's got all kinds of good food. Okay. Well, my new fancy weapon didn't even kill them. So that's not a great start. Oh. Jesus. I'm getting my ass kicked by this. Okay. In the the dark side, okay, that's better. The dark side extension actually only helps during like the main missions. You know, I need to go after the main dude. Oh, look at the time limit too. Jesus. Oh god, I'm gonna fail this. No doubt. If I can just like he's not even he went away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost. Yes. Okay. We did it. Jesus Christ. Did you see how many, like, other minions I killed just passively because they happened to be near me? That's the power of that blade. So that, that's not a bad mission to get a good amount of money pretty quickly. But it's kind of tough, because if you saw, I almost ran out of time. But I'm glad I pulled it off. So I need 450,000. And... Okay, I think there's one mission that pays you, like, 90,000. Which should just be enough to pay my entry fee. So let's just do that one. And I think it's the one where you kill a hundred people, and I have that like new sword, so it should make it even easier, maybe, possibly. There we go. Can you imagine someone like just zooming in and parking in front of a building like that, just like way out of? Just skidding to a stop. That'd be kind of scary. Alright, where's the 90,000? There we go. So I could do that. Is there another one that could possibly pay more? Or like the same amount in one go? Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for this. Oh wait, no, no, that dark side one was pretty... Didn't I kill a lot of people on that dark side? Was that the one? Nah, I'm just gonna go for the 90,000. I'm gonna go for the one that I know is gonna get me enough money. That's the smart way to do it. Why take risks when you can take a smaller risk, but then also reach your goal. That's what mom always said. Whoa, cars. Traffic. Whoa. 
So the good thing about jumping is that you keep your speed without losing your boost. Another fun speedrun tip by Jay. Speedrun extraordinaire. Alright. And since I remember that that downward slash move can just kill goons in one hit, this should go by quicker, more quickly than last time. Can you run into a car, you know, a traffic touchdown? <laughs> um... Oh man, look at this. This is great. I'm gonna kill a hundred of these guys in no time. Except this damn sword drains so quickly. Uh, you can't really run into cars, which is one of like the limitations of this game's sandbox. It's like barely a sandbox in the world. Well, you can crash, I think, but the car won't crash, you'll just like fall off the bike. But most of the time when you like hit a car, you just kind of wobble. Which is honestly good, because then, you know, you don't have to like get back on your bike. This downward slash makes killing these guys so much more quickly. Dude, I could like do that too, because this weapon gets a lot of people in one go sometimes, like this, bam. So I could mix it up. And it actually drains the beam less when you do it like that. But it's a little slower, that's the only thing. This is really fast, just... Especially for the, with the dudes who aren't using lightsabers, because they have less health. I think I passively killed a dude with that slash who was just behind me. That's funny. Jesus. Good lord. Oh, the humanity. Alright, we're almost, we're almost to 100. You know, it's funny, sometimes the side missions, like, picking up coconuts or pumping gas is actually more fun than these missions, just because you're doing something different. Because during the main missions, I'm like killing people anyways. Like, this mission isn't particularly fun because it's just, oh, kill 100 dudes. Which isn't that challenging for me at this point. The ones with specific challenges are a bit better. Like, the baseball one's pretty fun. Dude, his freaking torso was flying in the air. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. That made it all worth it in the end. Alright, so that should be enough for my next ranked fight, which is number three. Yup, that's right. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Then again, I'm always ready. I think there's a way you could quick turn by like swiping the Wii remote. I just remembered that. Because I always just use the joystick. Is that a treasure? Is there a ball in here? 
Wait, what was that A button? Oh, just to get on the bike. That tripped me out for a second. Yep. Yes. Alright, got a new shirt. Can't really see it. Yeah, we'll see it in the cutscenes. It'll be a nice little surprise. Kinda looked like it was a squirrel though. Oh good, a shortcut. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta pay our entry fee. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars just for the chance to fight a deadly assassin, one of the most deadliest assassins in the world, which means you're likely to die. Like, wow, what a thing to pay for. That is, well, this is the big three. Where are you now? Yoga class. Right, you go ahead and do that. Thanks, your next opponent is a witch. She lives in this abandoned place called Speed City. A witch? Travis, don't die, okay? So suddenly she's concerned for your well-being. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say. Save real quick. So we don't lose our progress. All right. So she said our next opponent is a witch. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's a squid shirt. That's cool. I actually like that. Dear Travis, here's a highway bus ticket. You know where the bus terminal is, right? Take the bus to meet the witch. She's got powerful magic, but you can kill her. Just come back alive. <gasps> Jean. Jean, no, don't go outside. Uh-oh. Jean went outside with us. That's a little weird. Hmm. Man. Hope nothing happens to Jean. Travis didn't even notice. As she went outside. Anyway, we gotta focus on our, our big fight ahead. I mean, rank three. That's getting pretty up there. So, this is probably gonna be a powerful assassin. Alright. Here we go. Oop. Someone on the bike. Speed Buster. Interesting name. All right, here we go. What the hell you looking at? I don't know why they put me right in front of health that I do not need yet. Ooh. Yeah, this sword is really good. Thirty-seven. That's an odd. Are just all the cards like in this spot? Or a lot of them? I want to suplex this guy. Gene's a naughty cat. Meow meow. At first I thought you said Gene is a naughty cat now. She was so nice before. Why, why didn't? Why is she misbehaving? Where did we go wrong? Yeah, some of these guys are pretty tough. Taking this giant beam sword just head on. Might as well pick up some pizza. Ah, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm just gonna chop your head off in one swing.
I like how they were, they were defending the bus. They were like, no, you can't get on this Greyhound. You're not allowed to. What's with that Easter Island head just in the corner over here? That should be like a secret. You hit it and then the secret boss comes out. And it's just a giant Easter Island head. Of course, we're taking bus number 51 to Speed City. Here we go, road trip. Hope you guys brought snacks and something to drink. Travis is just sitting there. That would be awesome, the bus is just empty. Usually those things are just packed full of people. I actually like how it kind of just became... Where did they come from? They're like... Are they hiding underneath the, uh... The seats? Yeah, usually these things are packed full. Ooh, that was good. But this, uh... I like how it's like a 2D... Like, beat-em-up perspective now, kind of. That's kind of cool. Just seeing, like, the same moves you've been doing this whole time, but from this angle. Jesus, this is blood pouring out of this bus. Imagine you're on the freeway. Did we really need a, a special cutscene just- Oh, okay, there's a bunch of them. Oh, Jesus. I'm on the floor. Oh. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Let's get them all in one go. Okay, I got one person. That's that's almost all. Of it. Come on. That's what we want. Nice. We have not gotten one uh, roulette match this time. Oh man, my health is actually getting that low. I need to like start being more careful. There we go. You know, just once in a while do some stun moves. Just be careful. Oh, there's a phone call. Guess that means we're almost there. You don't say. Okay, so suddenly she's all possessive. Isn't that nice for her to say? She, she's three billion and something percent sure that I'm gonna die. Cool. Where's this? Okay, I guess we just get off and then we'll be able to save. Uh-oh. Looks like we're in like a deserted town or something. Stop. <gasps> Jean! 
Gene, what do you think you're doing? Speed City. That's a pretty cool name for a city. Alright, so we get a save and stuff before fighting. Where's the other card at? There should be one more, I think. There's no wrestling mask this time either, I forgot about that. I guess that makes sense, if you know what this boss fight's like. It's just Detroit. Well, they should rename Detroit to Speed City, and then more people will go there. Yeah, I'm really digging that squid shirt. Like, the blue, the red on the blue, and then it goes with his red jacket, kind of. Pretty cool. I don't even know this, I don't know how I'm getting it. Alright, here we go, guys. Boss fight time. Master. It's Thunder Stay back. This one's mine. So back off. What's he doing here? What? The cat? <laughs> you frightened me for a second, Kitty. Master! Oh no. How could I have been so... I'm coming, Master! Do not interfere, this is a duel! Don't do anything stupid! But... I have nothing left to teach you! Aim for the top! Remember, master your cup, and the power will be yours! Damn. Why are all men so freaking ignorant? They never learn, no matter how old they get. They never learn. Look, it's an old grandma you in are a the shopping third cart. Ranked assassin, bitch. <clears throat> You were saying, Sonny? I asked if you were ranked third. What? What'd you say? I said, are you the third ranked assassin, Granny? What? Say that again. See, I, I, I'm kind of hard of hearing. I can't hear much these days. Are you ranked third? Ah, this time I heard you. Yeah, I am. Okay, there. It's complete. Jesus. That's right. Look at that Don't cannon. Don't you see? Makes you feel a little Idiots. inadequate. All men are. Why should I even bother killing you? You killed my even master. That's not true. Even if you had nine chill. lives, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, oh, I just love losers who don't care for their own lives. All right. Here we go. Let's turn the volume down a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Oh no, I need to get out of this. Whoa. Yeah, see that giant beam of energy that almost killed me? Yeah, so your goal here is... You gotta get to the boss, first of all. Oh no. Oh no, I'm screwed. Oh no, oh no! Oh, you gotta knock these doors down, that's right. I was like looking for an entryway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a pretty unique boss fight. It's pretty different from usual ones. Oh, okay. You yeah, just gotta be careful. You don't even really have to fight those guys, because they'll probably get killed by the beam themselves. 
Oh, that's not. Come on. Okay. See, easy. Of course, as you get closer, the beam will start coming more frequently. Oh, we'll see. You can't use the dash unless you're not in battle mode. Like, if I don't have my sword out, I could use the dash, but I can't right now. Oh god, am I gonna make it? Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Jesus. And my beam almost ran out of energy, too. I think on bitter mode, which is like the hard difficulty in this game, the beam freaking kills you like really quickly. It's like drains your sword's energy. Oh, no, let me in, buddy. These guys kind of remind me of Coyote, Smith, and Killer7. They have like a similar look to them. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no! Jesus. If I wasn't mashing that your button. That wouldn't have been good. I don't really remember the game, I'll have to replay it soon. I still need to find my Wii Motes. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this too. So when I first fought this boss, I thought that you just had to run straight up to her, but there's actually a trick you can do right here, which I should be getting close to. There's a card. There's the card I was missing. Alright, so I think it's right here. Is it? No. Okay, maybe it's up here. So you're supposed to do. Oh god, of course there's guys back here. I think this is the only boss fight where there's like goons during the boss fight. There we go. This is what- oh, of course there was another guy. Now. Now you're supposed to go to this. Check this out. I'm getting pretty sick of that beam, lady. I love the animation in Suda games. It always has a, like a lot of detail to it. When she kicked it and like almost stumbled over. And now I can just run right up to her. But when I first played this, I didn't know you could do that. So I just like kept like brute forcing the beam until I got to her. Pretty good boy. Damn right. I'm an apprentice of the master. Thunder Liu, he was a good man, and I hope one day you'll be as good as he was. Count on it. A little present for you. Farewell. And good night. It's a nice perspective shot of the head getting decapitated and the raining blood. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, and that's a good amount of money to, to start off with. Or to be rewarded with. Well, her head didn't fly as far away as I expected. And then look at how smart this is. Travis cut through the, the gun and it's bent in such a way that you can't return. Like, instead of there just being an invisible wall or whatever, like, it actually... He put, like... 
he actually put effort into explaining like, oh, this is why you can't run back there and just waste your time. I think that's really neat. When they put in like extra work like that. And what's this I have here? Obtained the Japanese katana. Please give it to Dr. Nile. Okay, I sure will. I guess that's your master's katana. Congratulations, you are officially ranked third. Only two more to go. It is really cool how they all die. Sylvia is kind of sick. It's really cool how they all die. That's what she just said right now. That seems like a warning sign. Like if you're you're interested in a relationship with someone and they're just like, yeah, I really like it when people die. It's really cool. Anyway, now we're rank three. And we're only a little over an hour in, so I think we should have time to do rank two before before ending the stream tonight. Let's see what time is it? Yeah, it's not even 7.30 for me, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna do rank 2. Cool. Hi, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. This is just a reminder for you to return one of our videos. It's titled 69 Techniques to improve your lovemaking? It's overdue by two weeks. Be sure to return it to us soon. Travis really needs to discover the internet. You know the drill. Go get him. Wow, he didn't even have to tell you. Like, the facade of this professional, like, oh, uh, please deposit the money uh, as soon as you can, sir, this much amount. He's just like, you know what to do, go, go do it. 500 thousand that's half a million jeez we haven't played with gene in a while let's play with gene real quick hey girl that's a good kitty all right so we want to go give that katana to dr naomi and i think i remember why I think the uh, when we gave her the military secret, that's what she was able to build like the current katana we have right now. So when we give her the kata the uh, this katana that we just found, hmm, maybe she'll be able to give us something better. See if there's any more tapes available. Travis, how's business? Got anything? Nope. Bishop, you're not helping me out here, buddy. Come back again. You're supposed to be providing me with the good stuff. It's kind of messed up that Travis's friend works at the video store that he's always like late on returning videos to. Or like he tries to like steal the video and then return a half-assed copy. Single finger on anything. Don't lay a finger on my butterfinger. What do we have here? A Japanese sword. Where in the hell did you get something like this? Let me work on it a bit. I can use it to make a cool katana. Come back later, alright? If you're lucky, I might have something crazy for you. Cool. So, yeah, I, I, I think you don't get it until after you beat the second rank. I guess I should get these. Yeah, I'm about to earn some more money anyways. Might as well. Yeah. 
Might as well. And then we got better missions now to earn a lot of money quickly, so... Shouldn't take us too long to start our next ranked fight. I don't know why I called for my bike, it was just around the corner. That's actually really lazy on Travis's part. Oh my god. He's like slowly pulling up. Travis! Hey, it's a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, why did you call me to pick up your bike when you were right next to it? It's like, sorry Bishop, I'm really lazy. You know that. All right, so where do we want to go? So, it's interesting that the training area is still available, even though our master, who usually trains us, is dead. Wait, oh, there's a ball in there. How do we get in there? There we go. God, I love this boost ability. Any dumpsters in here? Hmm. I don't see any. Yeah, look at, look at how much time that saves. Just being able to sprint through like that. I would always probably recommend getting that before anything else. But anyways, our master's dead, but his dojo looks like it's still open, so maybe we should go check that out. See what's going on over there. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah, that master. You're a ghost. Alright, well, we can still learn from him because he's a ghost now. Oh, that's nice, I guess. I guess if you're stubborn enough, after you get killed, you just become a ghost. Yeah, I think that's funny. They could have just, like, replaced him with someone else, but instead they're like, now let's just make him a ghost. So now there's, every time you go to train, there's a ghost yelling at you to take your clothes off. I think that'd be scarier than a normal ghost haunting you. It's also kind of messed up that you have to pay the master, your own master to train you. I mean, if I'm your disciple, like, you think, I don't know, you'd maybe do it for free? But it's cool. I'm used to paying for stuff, apparently. Feel the burn, baby. Alright, cool. So we got our sword power-ups, we trained, now we just gotta earn the money. We need 500,000, Jesus. There better be some good missions for us. There better be some really good gigs. I'm talking some high-level gigs here. I always do that. I make that turn too tightly when I go through the gate. That's alright, we're almost there. There we go. See? Alright, what do you got for me today? Why you come here? Maybe cashier job or 
They work in a McDonald's. Scorpion extermination. Take care of the poisonous scorpions. Sure, why not? That doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, I like my health now. It's got that that green in the middle. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, you can. Okay. Now I'm starting to remember now that you can swing the Wii remote to to do the quick turn and it actually feels like it works more effectively than the normal I just have to get used to it. Oh, almost. I tried to do like a sick turn in there. Oops. Domination of scorpions is the way. Scorpions are like women. A man is only a man after he has conquered a woman. Well, that's a little... We're in the year 2020, people. You can't talk like this. Say hi to the god of scorpions for me. This guy brings up so many different gods. There's the god of garbage, the god of cats. I mean, where does it end, people? Did that scorpion just fall down on top of me? That's not chill. Oof. Where are they? I don't see them on the map or anything. Am I missing some? Oh, there's one. Man, the other jobs, like, they would be on the map. But these ones, I guess you have to just look for them manually. There's, like, different colored scorpions. Too bad they don't give you more points. I'm sure if I step on one, it'll damage me. It'll stun me. So we gotta be careful. Oh, there we go. And it exploded. Right after I said to be careful. All right. You know, it looked like it died though, and the whole point is we're exterminating this scorpion, so really that should have been worth a point at least. Oh, there's a lot over here. This is actually kind of unsettling. Jesus. Can you imagine, like, having to walk- Failed? What did I fail? What did I fail? Okay, I don't understand what the hell happened right there. It didn't look like it hit me or anything. Well, that- That's really weird. I don't- I don't get what happened. That's actually kind of annoying. Did I get hit too many times? It didn't look like anything hit me right there. Damn it, now I gotta go all the way back to the... to the job area. That really sucks. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait. Man. Well... At least I didn't fail it at the last second, like I did with the mine job, because that, that really sucked. Why you come here? Start waiting, man. I ran out of time? It seemed like I had a lot of time still. This job is for you, don't forget. And did, I got like almost 10 scorpions, didn't I? That's really weird if that's what happened. Alright, well this time, you know what, I did kind of waste time in the beginning because I thought that they were going to show up on the map, and so I was look I was probably s skipping over a lot of them. Why did I do that? That wasn't very smart. As there's a big sign that says genius. Is 
see if I can make this. Oh! Well, I tried. Alright, this time, we're gonna defeat the god of scorpions. I wish they at least told you what, like, the goal amount is. Like, if they said, oh, you need to get 12 scorpions within the time limit. That'd be cool. See, I have three minutes, and I'm pretty sure like only a minute passed that first time, so I definitely didn't run out of time. All I could think is that they hit me too many times, but it didn't look like a scorpion hit me when I fell that third time, so I don't know. It's really weird. scorpions. Did you step on an explosive scorpion while I took a break? I mean, that might have been what happened. I'm not sure. You might want to play play it back and try to tell me what happened, because I am not sure what happened there. They should at least give you, like, a health bar or something, like some hearts to show, like, if you step on them too many times, like if that's what it is. But I stepped on like more than a few mines in the mine game before I fell, I think. Where's all the rest of the scorpions? I mean, if 10 mines was a gold medal, 11 scorpions should be plenty. There's one. Way off in the distance. Hmm. Where'd they all go? I found that huge group last time, but... I failed. Here we go. Okay, I haven't... I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't stepped on any yet, so hopefully that's a good sign. Oh my god, that is a huge scorpion, Jesus. Is that what freaking killed me last time? It doesn't even look like it's worth more points. I like how they, they designed all these different scorpions for the scorpion minigame, but then all the cats were just like the same cat for the cat one, I think. They were just like all white cats. The only reason I'm like trying to pick up more is because I literally get paid depending on how many I find, so. Uh oh. My dog. Chill out, dog. It's okay. Yeah, my puppy just woke up. But anyway, let's see what new gig I have. Hopefully something good. Hello, Travis. The type of enemy you fight is a secret? That's weird. This one looks like it pays more though. Hmm. I guess I'll go for this one. May you find Hopefully it pays really good. If th The other one only gives you 1500 per kill. I wonder if the enemies are a lot easier.
Whoops. Okay. Now we gotta make as much money as we possibly can. Oh, you're on the bus. Oh, that'll be fun. And all the enemies should be nearby, so that should be easy too. Alright, cool. Pretty, pretty easily. But I'm surprised some of them aren't dying from like that big swing. Was that it? Okay, cool. That's like a decent amount of money right there, I think. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's not bad at all. Cool. I should try that other one too, though, just to see if like it actually ends up paying out more. Like if you just, it's just really easy to kill the enemies. Okay, I accidentally started that bonus mission, so I guess I just, I guess I just go for it. Oh well, wish me luck. Okay, cool. Nice. You know, that's probably for the best because I probably would have failed it anyways. So best to just get that over with. And it's not like I meant to pick it anyways. How much money do we have? Okay, so we need like 90,000. No, 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 we need 500,000. So we need, Jesus, 19... Hundred thousand? Did I say that right? Hundred and ninety thousand? You know what I mean. Oh. We need a lot of money, basically. Wait. Oh. It was around the corner. All right. Service. Welcome. I think I might go for this one because it looks like it's not going to pay that much. But if I kill a lot of people, then it could potentially pay a lot. May you find your so I guess we'll find out. And then we should have to just take like one more high pain gig after this and then we should have enough for the next rank fight. Hey, it's, it's nearby, that's good. I don't gotta drive very far. I bet you the speedrunners know like the exact missions to pick. The efficiency for like how close they are and how much they pay. Alright, these guys better die easily. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, for only paying 1500 each, I think they should die in one hit. Personal. Yeah, I'm just gonna start doing that, probably. Alright. Well, I'm racking up kills pretty quickly. So... Yeah, I guess we'll see if this was a fruitful ende endeavor. I don't know. Also, I think that power up to uh, save energy was actually worth it because I'm not even, I haven't even had to charge yet. And that's pretty good considering this weapon drains very quickly. I don't know why the guy was like sliding towards me, that was kind of funny. Man, imagine all the roulettes I'd be getting right now. You could get roulettes in these like side gigs. Is that? Oh, uh, I thought I killed everyone for a second. There we go. That should be good. I'm interested. I'm interested to know if this pays more than the ninety thousand dollar gig. Because if so, then this one might be better overall. But I don't think it's going to quite reach that much. It's probably going to be a little under. Those are slots. No, there's no slots. Because in the main mission it does the slot machine and then you you can possibly get like the power-ups and stuff, but this one doesn't it doesn't do that for the side gigs, unfortunately. Alright, you know what? I think this is gonna pay more than the 90,000 mission, actually. So that's cool. Yeah, it definitely is. If my math is correct, it's gonna be like almost double. Not not quite double, but it's gonna be up there. Let's see. Ooh, that's good. That's like one and a half, yeah. Very good. Sweet. So for sure I'm just gonna have to do one more gig and then I'll be able to do the next rank fight. Look at that, that's beautiful. And we're pretty close to the assassin place anyways. So I could probably just do a baseball one. <laughs> That's okay, it happens sometimes. I've done the same thing where I'm watching someone stream and like I miss something they said so I like rewind it and I'm like, oh wait, I forgot this is live. Now I'm gonna miss whatever they're saying. So yeah, let's do the baseball again because that's like it might be like the quickest mission in the game. Or I guess the uh, the one where you assassinate the pizza butt CEO is probably potentially the fastest, but that's only if you get lucky, really. Oh, 
or if you just know how to play better than I do. Oh, damn it. See, I was trying to show off. That's what happens. Whoops, I didn't mean to jump, but okay, apparently there was no consequence. I'm fine with that. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. Oh, I always forget the baseball stadium is like way over to the corner of the map. It's kind of ironic because I think we're going to the baseball stadium uh, in a minute anyways. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck. Alright. Come on. There we go. There we go. See how fast that is? And then we should have enough money. Yeah, mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we actually, like, barely have enough. And then we can shortcut home. I knew there was a reason I liked those, the baseball minigame. Or, uh, not the minigame, but just the side mission. Because it's quick, it pays pretty well, and then you can shortcut home really quick. Alright guys. Can you believe it? We're already about to do the rank 2 fight. I mean, after all the people I've fought so far, who's going to be ranked 2nd? Alright. What was that pigeon here? making an airplane noise when it crashed, or is that just me? Don't come looking for me, Sylvia Crystal. Some trouble at home? She quit her job? Huh. What the hell is this all about? This is kind of sketchy. The rank two match will be at Destroy Stadium. Aren't I a hard-working girl? Huh. Not the baseball stadium again. Okay, Sylvia. Only two more to go. I'm going all the way. That's a promise. Come on, Travis. Don't be duped like this. I like how even he's like, not the baseball stadium again. Because if you recall, we went to the baseball stadium way back during the... the rank 9 match with Dr. Peace. But, we're going back again. And you will soon see why. Trying to see how quickly we can get there. So you guys can see the next boss really soon. Really, really soon. Oh yeah, honestly, like the quick turning by flinging the Wii mode actually feels a lot more consistent. And it's kind of satisfying too. Whoop, I, I went the wrong way. Oh boy. Okay, so I think, let's see, yeah, I think you're supposed to go around this way anyways. 
jump using the split sp sp tiger? Can the, the resident German tell me how to pronounce that? Schlep tiger. I don't know. There we go. You did it. I like how they're just barely telling you, like, oh, you can jump using that, by the way. And it's like this late into the game. Schlep tiger. Such a weird name for a, a bike. And we're going all the way over here. Oh, look at that. For that. And then there should be one more. And if you remember way before, like in my first or second stream, I said I was going to come back for it. And there it is. That's why I didn't go for it. Because I knew I was going to come back here anyways. Oh wait, almost missed these dumpsters. Yeah. I want to do that. Is this just a white shirt? Yeah, it's just a white. And then this is the black one. In pretty basic, but don't look bad. All right, here we go. Rank two. You think you're bad, don't you? <laughs> bad girl. All right, so this, this is where things get interesting. Look at this. Um, oh my God, that was horrible. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. So you have the chance to kill a bunch of guys just by running them over with your bike. And I killed one dude. That's disgusting. Look at all those people I could have potentially hit. I might actually die. Because I freaking screwed that up so bad. That's, that's horrible. Can I do a redo? If this was an emulator, I would like rewind time right now. That sucks. And these guys have a lot of health too. God damn it, that sucks. I need to get some power ups here. Damn. Can't wait till you guys see that when the, when the stream catches up. God, that sucks. I should have just kept driving. I don't know what I was... I got excited when I saw it and I was trying to tell you guys about it and then... Look what happened. God damn it. I could have went by, picked up all those cards. And I'm having like bad luck with these roulette wheels right now too. Like, give me something, jeez. Like, I'm, I'm down to, to four people now. There was like... There was always like at least five people watching, but now there's four because they, they saw me fail that bike part and they were like, I can't watch this. That was too bad. That's too much. I thought this guy was good at the game. I thought I was watching a speedrunner. Oh, and these guys are like a pain in the ass to fight too because you hit them and they like slide away. Damn. I'm so mad that I... I'm gonna die. I'm really gonna die. Look, look, look. I can't move. I cannot move. Jesus. Yeah. God, that, that was bad. At least I'll get another shot at it. Jesus. Okay, this time, please. Please don't screw up again. Just keep moving. Just run over. Oh my god, I'm gonna screw up again. See, now I'm overthinking it. Oh 
I mean, this is already way better. Like, even if I crashed right now... Ideally, though, you want to take out, like, most of the dudes right now. I can't believe- what did I do last time that I goofed it that bad? Oh, okay, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. Okay, that, that was very generous of the game for not making me crash right there. Because usually if you jump into a wall like that, then it's over with. Okay. Anyways, this is what I I meant to do last time. And look at now, there's six people watching. They, they forgive me. Maybe he's not a complete idiot after all. Yeah, I'm not surprised that I I died after that first failed attempt. Let's go pick up some cards while I'm out here, because this is the fast way to do it anyways. I like how it actually tells you, like, do not get off your bike. That's a dumb idea. God damn, there are a lot of goons at this part. And the fact that, like, all these cards are out here is another good sign, because I think it means that, like, this is basically most of this level, is this bike part. Some of these dudes don't die from getting ran over right away. It's kind of concerning. At least it doesn't seem like they do. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. Okay, Suda, thank you for not making you auto-crash when you jump into a wall like a dingus, because... Oh! Oh, he hit me and I didn't fall off. What the hell happened the first time? Okay, they're, they're starting to come out in smaller numbers. So hopefully that's a sign that we're almost... Almost through these guys. And... yeah. Oh no, I'm stuck. No! 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 I'm really stuck. Well, that sucks. That sucks. We should be almost done, though. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was weird. See how many people I would have had to, to kill, like, without the bike? Jesus, of course these dudes with the guns are the ones that are still around. Is that it? Is there anyone else even here? Hey, get over here. So one dude pops out. You're probably supposed to ride along the wall and then they'll all like come out as you go around. God, that's so sick though. Like he doesn't just decapitate them with that swing. He cuts like the whole top of their torso off. It's really cool. All right, cool. We did it. We killed almost everyone on the bike, which is ideal. Oh, I can boost. What am I doing? I think I got all the cards, so. All right. 
that's more like it. Yep, look at that. And we're already at the ranked fight. Want some sugar. See this this level when you don't screw up is actually pretty goes pretty quickly. And there's the other two cards. But if you do screw up, wow! At least I screwed up quick. That's all I gotta say. Travis, guts are what ultimately determines the winner. Those with guts set the glory, get the glory. With this, your suplex rainbow is complete. Remember the silent executioner. The double wrist arm salt. MS. So this must be the last wrestling move I learn to use against the bosses. Nice. I like how each bathroom stall has its own like no more heroes font written on the wall. It always looks different. Here we go, number two. This is rated M for mature. So fucking thirsty. Hold on a sec. On the PS3 version of this game, when the conveyor belt stops, it keeps moving. Like the guy stops on it, but the conveyor belt keeps moving. Ah. It's kind of smooth. Another thing about I that game is again. off of many. Want a drink? I'll pass. Pop quiz. Why am I such an angry bitch? Seriously, no matter how many I kill, it's all the same. They're all going to pay. Yeah, with their fucking lives. You're a bad girl. You have no right to look at me like that. It's just a job. The daily grind. You're no assassin. You're just a perverted killing maniac. In essence, they're the same. Don't go on thinking you're better than me. You think you're hot shit. Who the fuck do you think you are? Come on! Man, she's got a mouth on her. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Wanna see a little easter egg? Look at this. Chiller 7. Does that remind you of anything? The freaking dude in the like the empowered is just falling down the computer though. So sad. So she has an insta kill, like several of the bosses do, and I actually remember how to avoid hers. So that should come in handy. Huh! 
Alright, this. Alright, see that? If I walk up to her right now, she will insta-kill me. She's faking it. See? If you go up to her while she's crying, she will freaking knock you to the ground and kill you. Damn it. I was trying to knock it back at her. See, now I started locking onto the other dude. There we go. Never mind. Come on. It's hard once there's already people out because then you can't focus on her as well. Final phase time. Now I can hit her. She's actually fine this time. If you see that she, that she has both hands on her face, that's when you can get her. See, let's see. She's really crying. I can, I can really hit her. Boom. See. Very important distinction. If she has one hand on her bat, still do not go for it. They didn't do a cutscene that time, so I didn't see you coming. I don't know if you can actually get a roulette bonus. I don't think I got one this entire mission now that I think about it. I'm ready this time. Yes. That's right, baby. Come on, let's finish this. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh that was so be more careful. Come on. Come on. This again. Yes. If one of those guys killed me, that would be really suck. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
did it. We did it. You motherfucker. Naughty girls need spankings. Maybe you forgot. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> 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 She just doesn't give up. I won't lose. I will never lose. I give up. You win. Yes, I've won. Well, that's one way to go. I also just realized I forgot to turn down the game volume during the fight. Sorry about that. Probably couldn't even hear me talk, but I wasn't talking that much anyways. I was trying to focus on the fight mostly. That was a very close battle. I mean, Travis basically gave up there, but then she bled out. All right, that's it. Rank two down. On behalf of Sylvia Crystal, I am here to tell you that you are now officially ranked second. So she didn't even show up this time to congratulate you. That was a you. close one. Almost didn't make it. It was a fine fight, sir. Shit, that was close. Damn, you passed out in everything. Boy. Look at that. We've come all this way. And now we're rank two. And I only screwed up one time. Well, I screwed up a few times, but I only died one time. I think. Well, I mean in this stream. Man, that was a that was a good fight. And you know what this means? Next up is rank one. We're just one rank away from becoming the top assassin in the world. What are they gonna say this time? Hi, we're sorry to inform you that your video membership will be revoked until you return one of our videos. It's titled, French Made Cafe Spilled Coffee. Please return it soon. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. I wish you a pleasant journey. That's it, huh? That's kind of ominous. A pleasant journey. 550,000. Which means there's just one more to go. Hi, Christmas Elf. Yes, my mic was muted right at the start because... Look. I can explain myself here. Really, it was the dog's fault. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? It was the dog's fault. Anyways. So we just need to earn, mo earn money one last time. And then, we will be able to do the number one ranked fight. And no, I haven't grinded any money. Because I literally just started. So, actually, real quick before we go to our new job, I want to check out. I guess we'll just check out everything real quick, see if there's something that we, you know, some power up or something we don't want to miss. Travis, how's business? All right, videos. Nope, that's all the videos, I guess. Oh, that's good to know. I do know that there should be one more beam katana upgrade that hopefully I can afford, because there's a chance that I can't. And I went the wrong way again. It's fine.
Now, if you thought the last beam katana upgrade I got was pretty sick, then just wait till you see this one. This one's damn good. Of all the ones I made, this one's definitely up there. Oh my god. I literally cannot afford that. That costs, like, almost as much as the friggin' entry fee. But it's cool. Because now we know how much money we need. And you could say, like, well, Jay, can't you just fight the last boss without the last sword upgrade? And you're right, I could. But... Uh, let's just say there's a reason why I want the last sword upgrade. There's something that I, I, I won't be able to do unless I have it. And you'll, you'll find that out soon, because this should be the last stream for this game, because uh, I'm going up against the rank 1 next, and yeah. Should be able to do it pretty pretty quickly. Unless I just like majorly screw things up, which is also a possibility. Let's see, can we train? Is there anything else that Thunder Ryu can teach Travis? I know. You want that, right? Look, I get that you're a ghost and you're grumpy. Well, it's not the last and final stream. I'm still gonna do more streams. Damn, these are expensive. I hope this is worth it. This better give me a good boost. But, um... After this, I'm gonna do... No More Heroes 2. I don't think I'm gonna go right into doing No More Heroes 2. Because, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. Uh, as I was about to start streaming this game, I went to get my copy of No More Heroes, and somehow it was missing from the case. And my games usually aren't mixed up from their cases at all. So usually if that, if it is missing from the case, that means that someone probably borrowed it and lost it, or I have no idea. Wherever it is, it doesn't seem to be anywhere. Um, so I actually was looking up like a quick way to get another copy of No More Heroes until I can find my copy. And it turns out Gamefly still exists. Remember Gamefly? Where you could rent games by the mail and they, they would mail you the discs and you'd play them? Well anyways, it turns out Gamefly still exists. I hadn't used it in like 15 years or something since I was like a freaking kid. And as it so happens, they had one copy of No More Heroes available. And there was a 30 day free trial. So I said, okay, cool, I'll just rent it while I'm trying to look for, you know, try to find my copy of it. And then, you know, I figured I'm getting through this game so quickly. Like, I, it's only been like, not even a week, I think. That, hey, I might as well use the other days on my free trial to, to rent more games. Like, maybe like some Switch games that I normally wouldn't have, like, just bought right now because I don't have like a whole lot of spending money to just be dropping on like new games. Um, but I was thinking, hey, I could probably rent some cool games and try to stream those. Like, I might as well, since I still have like, I don't know, like a few weeks left on the free trial. I might get Luigi's Mansion 3, that's what I'm leaning towards right now. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me. Mostly Switch games, I could also do PS4. But I don't want... I'm gonna try to like get as much of out of it as I can. Like I figured Luigi's Mansion 3 probably wouldn't be like a super long playthrough. Alright, let's see what our final side job is. Yes. Yes, the bike jump. It doesn't really sound like much of a job. But look, I'm not complaining. Who wouldn't want to get paid for 
jumping something with their bike, right? Alright. And since this is like the last uh, side job in the game, it should pay pretty well. Hopefully. We will find out very soon. Yeah, those quick turns, man. That's how you do it. That's how you not suck at the game. Alright. Here we go. Oh! Whoops. There's no culture here, nothing but dropouts. And yet even dropouts can create their own culture, okay? Ride those waves, dropouts, race those bikes. But the biggest dropouts of all, they jump. A good jump will jumpstart your future. It's a world that only those who experience it can understand. A wide and wonderful world. The god of jumping awaits you. Jump long and jump hard. Wouldn't Mario be the god of jumping? Alright, so... So the mission here is to simply jump. That's all there is to it. So let's see if we can't screw that up. Whoop. Already, already missed a turn. I think that's it though. I think you just go way up here. Let's see if I can time this just right. Wait. Oh. And I saw one of those balls there as well. Can we get 2,000? Yep. Cool. So let's see how much that paid us. Let's see how much being evil can evil pays. Fifty thousand. That's not bad. Fifty thousand just for jumping your bike. I mean, you can't beat that. Especially for the side jobs, because the side jobs usually take a bit longer to complete. You know, visually maybe it's weak, but damn the atmosphere. I like just having the game in the background. Feels like a vacation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Santa Destroy is actually... It's kind of a mixture of being run down, but it also has like these nice elements to it, like the beaches and the trees and stuff. So I guess it is kind of similar to like Los Angeles in that sense. Where there's like really cool, nice stuff, and then there's kind of run down messier stuff like kind of just all together all right what assassin gigs do we have now single strike kill without taking a single hit from the enemy a tough mission that requires all your skills wow so that's ten thousand per kill which would be a lot but you can't get hit once and then this one is just kill all the enemies within the time limit so i'm gonna go for this one this one seems like potentially it could be the best earning gig in the entire game. But at the same time, I mean, it, that's going to be challenging. Just not even getting hit once. So we're going to have to be really careful. Evil Knievel was mentioned in a song once. That name, man, I couldn't figure out what it was nor how it was written for the longest time. I thought it was a slang term. Yeah, because I guess that's... Because I guess Evil Knievel was an American dude, so not everyone would know him. But yeah, Evil Knievel, like the famous stuntman who did all kinds of stuff. I think he jumped the Grand Canyon. I could be wrong. And it's funny, because he's almost more known for like his crashes than his like successful stunts, I feel like. Because there was a lot of times where he crashed really badly. And his son, Evil Kenny Jr. See if we could get that ball first while we're here. Uh, also does stunts. And I, I think he like never has any accidents, which is cool. Oh, guess I gotta get off my bike to get it. There we go. How many of these do we have, actually? Are we close to having... We only need two more, so... 
I might end up finding, if I can find two more easily then, uh, that's like one more good power up before we head into the final mission. Yeah, never heard of him before searching it, and it was hard since I did not know how it was written. To be fair, Evil Knievel is a very difficult name. Like, even... Like, that's definitely not America. Like, I don't know if that's... I don't know what that is. Like, if that's Russian or something, I have no idea. But it's... It's a very unconventional name, that's for sure. Okay. Are they gonna have guns? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, who hit me? Ah, oh, come on. I didn't even see anyone hit me. Okay, I don't get that at all. I guess I... Hmm... I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe I should have snuck him away from the other guys. Maybe somebody... Or maybe someone was behind me that I didn't see? I don't know. That was weird. You know, while I'm here, I'm gonna do another bike jump, because that's like a quick 50,000. Why you come here? Some way to man? Man, that was, that was like when I was doing the Scorpion game, and uh, it said like mission failed, but I didn't notice that I took any damage. Oh, apparently Knievel is German. I can assure you I never heard that over here. Yeah, I, I was thinking like German, Russian or something. Because it definitely does not sound like a... Like an American name or... Well, that's kind of weird to say because Americans can have all kinds of different last names because they're made up from uh, immigrants. I don't know. It's not very British sounding. Whoa! I already crashed. Okay. Actually, there might be a ball over here, so let's check this out real quick. Ooh, I think it's hiding behind these cars. Is it? Yup. Sick. See, the crash ended up being serendipitous. Everything worked out after all. And there might be another one over here. And then that would be seven. And I have a feeling it might be in here. Yup. Perfect. Look at that. And there's a dumpster too. I didn't even have to go searching for those, really. They just came to me. It's like a gray army shirt. And I should stop finishing my sentences with LOL. You know, you can do whatever you want, man. If you feel like LOLing, go for it. If that's how you feel, you're free to express yourself, man. You know, I'm all about free speech. Until I hire mods, who, who will then be like all authoritarian inside of my stream chat and they'll ban people on site. That'll be pretty cool. Anyway, let's do this jump. Honestly, the jump seems like it's a good quick thing, but I actually... I have to actually drive over to the jumping area, so that kind of takes away from the convenience of it. Um, so I might as well just do the other assassin gigs, probably. It, it's still fun, though. That's one thing about the jump thing. It's still just kind of cool, just to see how far you can go. And while I was here... Yeah, there it is. Might as well get this dumpster, since I never seem to come around this area. Oh, you can't do the dumpster. Never mind. I see how it is, Suda. 
see what you're up to. Alright, let's do this. I don't know if I did better or worse. That was like almost exactly the same, I feel like. I especially love mods who talk like they're an authority above everyone else. Yeah, aren't those just the best? Uh, since this will probably be the last No More Heroes stream, how much more comfortable with streaming are you now that starting the game? Uh, I'd say I'm pretty comfortable. Um, I definitely would want to stream more. Um, the only thing, like, the only reason I can't always stream, like, every day is because, like, if my schedule doesn't work out or I have to, like, babysit a dog or something. But, um, I've been getting pretty used to it. I don't know what'll happen if I start getting more viewers. And maybe they aren't happy with the fact that I'm not uh, constantly being entertaining. But I don't know. If for people who like a more just like relaxed, casual experience, maybe they'll enjoy it. And if that's cool, then I'm happy to keep doing it. I think I'm going to try this one because this is a 5,000 per kill. Sounds like a pretty good deal. I don't know why the last one's only 3,000 per kill. You think it'd be more. And I think I might try the, uh, that mission that gives you 10,000 per kill. Um, again, and just like try to be like extra, extra careful. Cause if I can figure out how to do that one effectively, then that could get me a lot of money and then we could just get really get into the f number one ranked fight more quickly yell more be scared at things offer gift and fortnite points and you'll keep your audience happy okay that sounds like all like good advice that totally wouldn't be me selling out oh i'll be an authority above all else do not cross me or else that sounds pretty promising. Yeah, I probably won't need mods for a while or if ever. Like, that's like if I actually start getting um, a good number of just random people Three, watching. Two, and even then, I'm like, I'm okay with most stuff, you know, it's just... I don't know, just like... Don't spam, and don't just start attacking each other in the chat. I don't know. Besides that, can't think of anything on the spot. I'm sure there's more stuff I'm not thinking of. But... Oh, sick. We haven't done that wrestling move yet, I don't think. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I already moderate myself a lot. Imagine if I wasn't here, I'd be a nightmare. Well, good thing you're here to moderate yourself. So we've already... Oh, that's it. Okay. So that's like the same amount of money as the bike jump, I think. Because wasn't it 5,000 per kill? Yeah. Alright, so that's like the same. I'm trying to think of what missions have been paying the best. I should have been paying attention to that, that more, probably. There's all these little bonus missions, but those ones are the missions where you... If you get hit once, you fail, and then you get nothing. Which, 
I'm most likely to fail those, so it would just be kind of wasting time doing that. Oh yeah, I need to go to the Russian guy too before I'm done, I gotta remember that. Ooh, was that a dumpster? It sure was. A new shirt. That's something I'm, I'm definitely going to look forward to in uh, No More Heroes 3. I'll assume that they're going to have in No More Heroes 3, like the ability to change your shirt. I don't know if No More 2 had that. I actually don't remember. I don't remember being able to change your outfit in that game. Because they, they definitely uh, cut down on the overworld aspect in the uh, second game and favor for just like a, a more streamlined experience. Which some people would probably say is an improvement. Welcome. So you know what, I'm gonna try the, the 10,000 one again. Because if I can do this, that's gonna be really good. I mean, just if I could just kill five people right there, that's already as much as a bike jump. And then if I can get more than that, then that's that'd be excellent and if I just fail it at it again then I'll probably just do one of the other missions that I was getting like a lot in but they just take a little longer I think that baseball mission paid a good amount as well what was it like you get 77,000 and you if you kill everyone that's nine people so that's like 60, maybe? I, I'm not a math wizard. Wait, where am I going? That's not the right way. Did I ever mention I'm, I'm horrible at reading maps? That's right, it's the beach. Okay. I wish they just bring the Wii version on Switch. It probably would work well with the Joy-Con. Yeah, Suda wants to do that. Let's see, is there anyone behind me? I don't see anyone behind me. So that can't be what got me last time. So I'm gonna hold. I'm holding block. I'm gonna slowly try to, try to. I'm trying to get this guy. Okay. Okay, there's one guy down. Yeah, this is just... You just gotta keep moving, I think, and just be really careful. I think I figured out a good strategy. When I start running out of battery, that's going to be the problem. Come on, go ahead. Okay, he wasn't. There he goes. Can I charge a little? Alright, so that's already bike jump right there. Alright, I think I figured out the good strategy here. And if I, if I can move a little faster, if I do this again, then this could be really profitable. Oh, there we go. See, I, I, I started going too quickly. But that's not bad. What was that, 7 kills? That's pretty good. I think I'm going to keep going for that one. And once I get 500,000, I can, uh, I can do the, I can get the, uh, the next beam power up, and then that should make things even better. 
I never dug up the buried treasure right here. That's surprising. <laughs> Maps and maths kind of rhyme, so it makes sense. You're no wizard at both. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, but I was saying before, Suda wants to bring No More Heroes 1 and 2 to the Switch, but he said that's up to Nintendo, I think. Like, that's basically... He needs to get their okay on that. Which would... That would be a smart idea. You know, if they port No More Heroes 1 and 2, especially, like, sometime within the next several months, then people who have never played the games before can play them. And then with No More Heroes 3 coming out, they will have like, you know, they'll have more of a reason to get to uh, get that. So that would benefit Nintendo and Suda. All right, so I'm gonna go for this gig again. And I'm gonna try to be really careful, but also quick. And then hopefully we'll get all the money. And it's, since it's at the beach, it's also pretty close to the shortcut home, too, so that's cool. Let's do this. Let's try to get 10 kills. That would be really cool. Oh my god. Well, god damn it. I don't know what happened there. You know what? That mission's too risky. I'm not going to keep playing that one. There's other missions where I could get a good amount of money. Uh, like, more reliably. Damn, that sucks because I could make a lot of money off that if I did it right. Oh, why didn't I take the shortcut? I'm dumb. Oh, there's another shortcut. I meant to do that. that one where I got a ton of money kill as fast as you can okay kill with the time limit I mean let's do the last mission because maybe it actually does end up paying well it just doesn't seem like it it depends on how many people I'm able to kill within the time limit or like how many enemies there are in the mission in general. And it's the, the last gig, so I might as well just see, you know, what it's like.
Whoa. Oh. Uh, I didn't hit anybody. What are you talking about? That wasn't me, officer. Oh yeah, we're in bad girl's boss area. That makes sense. So we're going to be fighting all the gimps, probably. Yep. Three, two, one. Save their 3,000 each. So... Oh, good lord. See, that's the thing about this big sword. It drains so quickly. Okay, there seems to be a lot of these. So I, I need to kill 20 of these people for it to be a better deal than the white jump. So it seems like it's very, very uh, possible. Yeah, we're already almost there. Oh yeah, there's a there's a good amount of these guys. Okay, cool. Nice. Makes sense since this is the last one gig. I should have known it would have paid well. That's cool. It's kind of weird how these were her goons when... Oh, that's it, okay. Too bad it wasn't more, that would have been cool. Because she's like killing them 90,000 in a minute, that's not bad at all. So we have enough to get the new beam katana now. Actually, oh, damn it. I could do the mission. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna do the number one rank thing. Cause if I do that, I think you get paid. Every other rank mission you get paid. If the last rank mission should pay you too, right? Because then it'll give me like a boost to start off with and then I could get the beam katana. Hmm. Damn it. Hello, Travis. Okay, I'm gonna do one more gig, just because I was I happen to be right here anyways. Kill as many as you can within the time limit. I'm gonna do this one because I remember that one being fun. May you find so here's what I'm gonna do. So, you need the fourth beam katana for something special. But you don't need the fourth beam katana to do the number one ranked fight. So I don't want to like spoil that for people who haven't seen this game before. Uh, so I'm not going to go into detail, but the beam katana is very expensive. And the entry fee is very expensive. So if I just do the number one ranked fight, then get paid for the ranked fight, I'll have a head start on getting the Beam Katana, and then I could get the Beam Katana and do the special thing. And yeah, should be good. I think that's the best way to go about this. Now the downside is I'm not gonna have the Beam Katana, the best Beam Katana for the uh, number one ranked fight, but I should be okay. If I was on the bitter mode, the hardest difficulty, I would probably be in a lot of trouble, but since I'm not, I should be okay. And also, the puppy's in the room, so if you hear like weird noises in the background, that's what's going on. Hey, don't chew on that. Oh my god. 
He's chewing on wires already. Walter! Come here! Walter! Can you please not chew on stuff while I'm streaming? I'd really appreciate it. This is basically just like a quick time event, the mission. You think you're tough as they're running away? Yeah, I'd say I'm uh, considerably tough. Walter, please don't chew on my phone charger. For those of you just joining in, Walter is my pet goldfish. He, uh, he has escaped his aquarium and he's grown teeth and legs. Okay, goldfish probably have teeth. You know what I mean. No, it's a dog. You know what? The other mission that I just did actually paid considerably better. Because I think I got like 30 kills and it's like the same... Wait, why is the timer still going? Wait, wait, look, the timer is supposed to be done. But it's letting me... That was weird. Walter! Don't chew that. See, none of, her, none of his toys are in here. See, someone let him in the room, but he doesn't have any of his toys. Now he's sniffing the Wii U, and I really hope he doesn't freeze it. Walter! Stop! Anyway, we have enough money for the next ranked fight. So I'm gonna do that plan I just said. Whoops. Of course he's named Walter. Is he white too? Actually, he does have white fur. Oh my god, he's... Walter, stop. Please. You're embarrassing me in front of three people. <sighs> Next cutscene I get to, I'm gonna like... Go put him on the bed or something while you guys watch it. Which should be right now. Alright, here we go. I will be right back. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa, don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved, whatever you do. Listen, lady. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you, anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a So fraud? you guys are learning the truth about Sylvia. Are you telling Sylvia. me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. And Walter's Would safely on the bed now. Until he decides to I jump off. Second in rank. And freeze so, my game. Just one more to go. Alrighty. Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. You know, I just realized, 
Travis talks to Sylvia's mother here, but Sylvia's mother does not make any appearances in any of the other No More Heroes games, to my knowledge, from what I remember. So let's save real quick. So we've come this far, we've battled crazed superheroes and uh, high school samurai girls and uh, old ladies with giant laser beam cannons. I mean, what's gonna come next? Who could possibly be the number one? Oh, and they stole my bike, that's nice. Very rude. Now I'm now I'm thankful again that I have my oh you know what? I almost forgot to get the Russian Damn it. Oh he's close, thankfully. Good. Yeah, it's a good thing I have my running dash special. Cause I forgot to get another power up. Which one are we gonna get? I forgot what I talked about before. Huh? What do you want? So there's displays the enemies on the screen. This increases your grab range. Earn bonuses based on your rank. That earns money, I guess. But I, I probably don't need that. I don't know. Allows a jumping down attack. How do you do the jumping down attack? I feel like I'm gonna buy this and I'm not even gonna know how to do it. I think I'm gonna get my grab range. Because that's gonna be useful. Because the grab is good even for bosses. The technique of affinity. Got that? The technique is yours and yours alone. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. Alright. So the dude stole my bike. Which means I'm gonna have to freaking run all the way to the next area. Whoops. That's what happens when you run. When your your dash meter hits the bottom. You do the jumping by jumping in your room. It's a ring fit precursor. Ah, oh, I should have known that. You have to hook the Wiimote into the ring fit ring. I actually hope that somebody designs more games for use with the ring fit uh peripheral because that would be pretty cool i feel like there's a lot you could do with that i mean heck maybe suda could think of something he sure you utilized the we remote and nunchuck pretty well you should stream ring fit with live cam i will not be doing that because I don't think people want to see sweaty J sweaty out of shape J <laughs> oh here we go guys Dark Star. welcome to my castle welcome to my castle says Stephen Blum this part was always really cool to me because you're you're on the freaking freeway like I think you want to avoid those boxes, if I recall. I could hit- yeah, there's a lot of them, I'm, I'm assuming you avoid them. But this part was always cool to me because you're like traveling away from Santa Destroy. And even the way that this boss's name appeared 
like as you were, you were driving, and it was like Dark Star. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Whoa. Hey, it's Final Fantasy VII. Whoops. I was reading the chat. Is is there something in Final Fantasy VII that's similar to this? Yeah, we don't care for Jay too much, but I'd like to see Silent Bob and Walter. Well, Walter's too busy. Whoa, that's a really cool crashing animation. Walter's a bit busy chewing up my blanket right now. But I'll see if I can't get him in on the next uh, video. We'll see what happens. Which way am I going? This way? It almost makes me wish that there was more parts in the game that were like this, but at the same time it kind of makes it more special since this is the only time where you're actually driving long distance like this on a freeway. Just paths. In Final Fantasy VII, there's a mini-game on your bike where you kill people with your sword a la Road Rash. Ah. Cool. So yeah, I wasn't really here to talk about it because I was dealing with the dog, but... It's kind of messed up. It turns out that Sylvia was scamming Travis the whole time. I mean, who would have seen that coming? Definitely not me. I'm surprised they can actually jump the tree's branches as well. You'd think they would just crash into it. Whoops. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh! Goku's on the other end. Blasting us with Kamehameha waves. Oh, it's the old action movie drawbridge. Come on. Jump. We did it, guys. Jesus. <clears throat> And we made it to the Garden of Madness. Yes. Looks like my, my poor bike is totaled. Yes. And look, there's the ghost of our master to tell us the right way to go. But I think sometimes if you go the wrong way... Okay, I don't want to go all the way. But sometimes the, uh, the chests with cards are on the other side. Oh, here we go. You're never safe of a new minigame slash gimmick with Suda. Yeah, you never know what could happen. So, I should have the best theme katana right now, but I don't. So, hopefully, I do okay regardless. Because I'm cheap and I didn't feel like paying for it all right now. Also, I just felt bad, like, doing all the grinding games, you know, with you guys. I want you guys to see some more cool story stuff, too. So I'm saving the grinding for Ash. There's a card. He pointed left, right? So just let me check this out. You know what? It's probably only when you play through the second time and you start picking up concept art. That's probably when the chests start appearing in like extra tricky locations. It's Forever Forest. That sounds familiar. Is that from Paper Mario? Are you messing with me? 
These guys really don't like getting stunned. It just doesn't really happen. So he's saying he's pointing right. I wonder if you even have to fight these guys. I wonder if you could just keep going through the mazes and stuff. Possible. Jeez. These guys are pretty tough for wimpy looking Dark Vaders. I probably don't even need help, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. There we go. Yeah, I remember this level being fairly short, so it shouldn't take us too long to get to the to the number one ranked fight. Gosh, if I could just figure out how to stun these guys. Oh, okay, that'll help. Kind of help. Yeah, I probably should have just got the last Demon Katana power up. I was very foolish. But I promise I did it for you guys. Jesus, man. Give me some dark side bonuses, please. Come on. That would be really helpful. I was all turned around. I didn't even see where he pointed this time. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yeah, I feel like I totally went the wrong way. So, let me see if I can just go that way. Instead of having to fight these guys. Okay. Giant orbs. Yeah, there we go. We don't have to fight him. Who would have thunk? Master. One final note. Travis, that path of men is not path of beasts, you know? You know? Your edge can be poison or cure. To be learned is the path, and to be ignorant is also the path. Your path, your path is that, a path that no one, nothing can pass, yet the path reach on. Devotion is only given to those who perfect single thing, reward, then. No reward those who do not perfect. Does a reward or just evil lie down your path? Fight until you die, Travis. Thunder you. So I like how his note was written in kind of like broken English. Yes. Since it's not his first language. Oh, I guess Sylvia's calling us.
no matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple, yes? Now, be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Damn. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? No, I don't think Thunder Ryu was tricked by Sylvia. One is right here. I think he just already knew Speedbuster. And they were just getting into a fight on the, of their own accord. That's what it seemed like. They already knew each other. Alright, there's our last Garden of Madness. Before our number one ranked boss fight. Oh, and there's even a toilet out here in the woods. That's nice. Oh yeah, M for mature, by the way. Hmm. Always gotta remember that. The Forest of Bewilderment. Interesting. Alright guys, here we go. Time for the number one ranked fight. Who's it gonna be? My castle, I heartily receive you, my son. All right, enough with the jokes. A joke? You don't remember me, Travis. I am your true father. Blood does not make such mistakes. Travis's father? Jeez, you are full of it, aren't he you? Two has a beam component. Slightly larger than Travis's beam katana. Just by a little bit, though. It's a good story. I'll give you that much. You see, this is just another story. Even if you were my father, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is who's best. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. Backstory time. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. Well, You're still as that's one way to go out. Travis, think. Why would he be your father? I guess you're right. I don't have a father. At least not anymore. You killed him, didn't you? Yes. And that's why you became an assassin. 
to kill me. Now I get it. All those fights. It was for this. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. So I can the help truth you to get comes even. out. Travis's actual motivation. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. So this was Sylvia's Jean, promise that she said to Travis. Just thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? She said that she you could help him know. get revenge. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me. It's impossible. But then he lost sight impossible. as he was going up the mean? ranks. He kind of lost sight of what his It'll original goal was. It alone the age rating of this game even further. See, it's so deeper what? than you think. Who cares? It wasn't just him what trying to have sex with Sylvia. You don't want this to become no more heroes forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother to run off with your mother. Her heart, she she yeah, this part <laughs> is a little ridiculous. So she's telling her like tragic backstory about how Travis's is... they're, they're like half siblings, and Travis's father like abused her mom. I don't know. It's really ridiculous. You should you should look it up on YouTube if you want to hear it. You and I, slowed down. Brother and sister. Now you see what I've been Yeah, they're, they're half-brother and sister. Maybe it had to be done, but vengeance begets vengeance. You're right. Go ahead. But basically, she, she killed ahead. Travis's parents All of your because she today. hated Travis's Jeep. father. And so Travis wanted revenge on her. Um, here we go. Here's the final boss fight. Now, if I remember, she's the only boss that you don't want to do wrestling moves on, because she'll counter it. But I'm going to go for it anyways, just so you can see what it looks like. It's really cool. Using a dragon, why exactly? Oh, she's not using a dragon. That is a Dark Star's weapon, which, when he fell down, it kind of just became our uh, our arena. Counters you, puts you in an arm bar. It's messed up. Because like, usually wrestling is like the best way to damage bosses. Until you get the best weapon, which I don't have right now. But I can still stun her and beat her up. Potentially. There we go. See? Just don't try to wrestling. Just don't try to suplex her or anything. Should be okay. Also, another thing that they kind of that kind of brushed over is she's her half sister but they also mentioned that they were kind of lovers so then that's like a whole other complication between the relationship yeah. 
You know, I, I think it's because Travis didn't know they were related. He knew her? I think that that, like, maybe she even used that to get close to him and then kill the parents. I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff that aren't, like, gone into depth and you kind of have to uh, make assumptions on it based on what you do now. But, the, but it's definitely there. The thing, a lot of people kind of just assume that like, Suda just adds in random crazy stuff, but there usually is some explanation. I think he's charge attacks, but it's going to be working pretty well. Whoa. He really did use the whole reverse per persona on her. The only part she was showing before was the chest, which is the only part of her still covered by clothes. Try to grab her right here. Or maybe you're supposed to grab her at the end, I don't remember. She's almost dead either way. Come on! Oh well. I tried my best, guys. I guess we're done. <gasps> Wait a minute. Do it! I right. didn't think we'd see her again. Brother, please don't kill me. Sorry, Jean. This hurts me too. We're both in the same business after all. And I've had enough. Time for you to rest, Jean. Good night. I hope your next dream is a more pleasant one. And there she goes. It's over. That's a pretty gruesome this way to go. This is where it all ends. Just get chopped up into little right, bits Sylvia. and pieces. Yeah, it's really cool that Shinobu shows up in the end. And it kind of shows that Travis letting her live actually pays off. Look at that. Look at that. I'm 50,000 away from getting the beam katana. I knew that that was a good idea. Oh, and there's Sylvia. Look at... Guys, we finally did it. After all that time, we made it to number one. We finally did it. So let's see how this all ends. Hmm. 
Oh, what's this? We have view ending and then view real ending. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to view the ending first of all. It's finally over. Can a guy get some privacy? At least when he's taking a dump? I'm oh. afraid not. These fights don't work like that. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me. Wow, what an ending. Travis becomes rank number one, he's taking a dump, and immediately someone else tries to kill him for the number one rank spot. Oh yeah, I'm very hyped for No More Heroes 3. That's sort of why I'm playing this right now. Um, so what's the lore with the cops? Do they have crime experts in California? Let's investigate that crime scene. So, as you noticed in the screen, it said that this is the ending, but then there's the true ending. And it's weird, because I remember when I first played this, I remember it just going to the one, one ending, and then you get the true ending after you like do the ending part again? I don't know. But all I do know is you need to get that last beam katana in order to unlock the true ending. So that's what I was talking about before. It's it's not Garcian. It's 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 kind of referencing him as he's kind of similar sounding and looking, but he's not Garcian because it doesn't make sense. He also doesn't look like him either. I mean, he's a black dude with a deep voice and a white suit, but it, it's not Garcian. Although, with Travis Strikes Again, it does introduce the fact that apparently the Suda51 games do take place in the same universe. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see if they do more crossover stuff in No More Heroes 3. I like how this ending screen is just like Star Wars. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense for it to be Garcian. Because he's... No, a lot of people just assume like, oh, that's Garcian. Because they just want the connection to be there. But it's just like when people, people used to say that Bad Girl was Dr. Peace's daughter just because you fight both of them at the baseball stadium and Dr. Peace mentions having a daughter. But that also didn't make sense because the whole thing with Dr. Peace's relationship with his daughter was that she was uncomfortable with the fact that he was a killer, yet, doc, yet Bad Girl is an ex a psychotic killer. So that never made any sense, and if that was his daughter, that wouldn't... And speaking of Dr. Peace, here's his song playing right now. But, um... Yeah, it would take away the whole depth of his character, of like his estranged relationship with his daughter, if they just made her bad girl. But people just tried to assume like, oh yeah, that's his daughter. And then Tra Travis Strikes again comes out, and then reveals bad girl's actual father, is like this completely different character. Pop chainsaw more, please. You know, I never played Lollipop Chainsaw. It looks okay. It's not really, um... I mean, you can tell that it's something that Suda didn't have as much involvement in, which was a lot of games. There's a lot of games that people call Suda51 games, but he had, like, kind of a more limited involvement with. Like, Killer is Dead was another one where I think he, like, wrote for it for the most part, and that was it. It was, like, Killer 7 or, like, No More Heroes. Like, those games were ones that he, like, com had complete control over, which I think are usually the best Grasshopper games.
I'm sure lollipop's fun. I just it just never really grabbed me as like something I really had to play. So I screwed up, as you could see on the stream. This is a separate recording now. I was able to load up a save data that I found onto the Wii U uh, to get right back to where I was before so I can record the secret ending and then I'm just going to tack it onto the end of the stream. So last time we watched the ending, now if I had did things right like I was supposed to, let's watch the real ending. And yeah, this is actually me playing and everything, I didn't want to just it's finally over. play someone else's video, that would suck. Can oh. this guy get some privacy? At least when he's taking a dump? I'm afraid not. These fights so as you can see, like it's that. starting the it's same as before. First rank. See, that's a lot of people think me. that that's Garcian, because black guy in a white suit with a deep voice, I guess, but it's clearly not Garcian. Will you hurry up with that? I'll be outside. And would that you look at close. that? Thanks. Ugh, what an idiot. You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. Good old Henry saved us. He saved our butts. And look at that. Secret final boss fight. Yeah, did you think the number one ranked dude was the actual... I'm just gonna put the subtitles on. Because I had it before. Um, nope. Number one rank isn't the final boss. There's actually one more after that. And here it is, it's Henry. And I'm still on my own mode. And look at this. I, I'm showing off the special beam katana. Which is freaking awesome. Because it's like an actual katana. Control. Just to calm down. Like the other bosses, he also has a skill. I almost want him to just do it on this. It's all these We've come this far, we're gonna actually try to do it. That's probably kind of confusing because we've only seen him once before this. Boss fight. Uh, oh, I should turn on the gameplay real quick. While well, the battle's going on. Um, you're about to fight the rank 5 dude, let's shake, and then Henry shows up. And you have no idea who he is. He just kills the rank 5 guy out of nowhere. And you don't see him again until. Uh, right now. Where he kind of saves you and then challenges you to a fight. So you're probably like, who the hell is this guy? Like, is he for real? Yes, he's very for real. As you can see, he has a huge freaking life bar. And he's quite a formidable opponent. Come on. Damn. I'm trying to do the dark slide thing. I was doing it earlier, I don't know. Kinda screwed up. I should be using this weapon's like sliding moves too. Or not sliding, uh charge moves. Because they're pretty damn good. Look at this. Look at how much damage that does. It's three hits. Oh also because like I said, I loaded up a file that like had everything already. So if you notice, my beam katana isn't even draining. Because I, I have the ultimate, like I have all the power-ups. So, yeah. You should see this fight on bitter mode. It's the hard difficulty. It's, it's, it's pretty out of control. Come on, Henry. Like, if I'm barely chipping away at him right now, on bitter mode, it's like, every attack you do is like, nothing. Barely doing anything. Jesus. 
I don't think he's actually got me down to my bare health. So we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad here at all. It's kind of cool too that the final uh, battle stage is the freaking hotel, Travis's own hotel area. Like this is where the final battle takes place. Out of everywhere. Oh. Sir Henry, please calm down. Oh. Yeah, I was really bummed out that I couldn't, that I screwed up. Like, I, I, I played the game for like 10 hours total. Like, over a week of streaming almost every day. All building up to a final fight. And then I screwed up and I saved over the, the file that I needed. And I accidentally started medium plus. So this is just like, I, I wanted you guys to see this, you know, as people who are watching through, and it, it's too bad that I couldn't live stream this. Um, and I didn't want to do a whole, like, a, a whole other live stream just for this, because this isn't that long. It's just a boss fight, and then the ending, you know, so I don't think that really would have justified an entire stream. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Just my commentary and all that. And most of this, because I am going to edit this into... Um, I unlisted the stream that I did have. And I'm going to edit this into the end of it, so it's kind of all wrapped up in the video. So most of it is a stream. And then it, and then it just comes with this finale, basically. Uh, so yeah, we're getting close here. I haven't seen him initiate his, his insta-kill, which is kind of worrying me. I don't really remember what it, what it looks like. Maybe that's it, for all I know. Yeah, I think that would have been it, actually. I think he stabs you. Or maybe not. But I thought he, like, stabs you and then, like, throws you into the ground. I don't remember. Probably for the best. Getting really close to him. Really close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! He doesn't want to go down. He really doesn't want to go down. Oh! We're almost there. A little more. Just a little more. And then maybe we'll find out who the heck this guy is, right guys? Maybe. We're lucky on it. But that's the insta killer thing. Oh no! He got me in it! He got me! Wow! Well, in the end, you got to see it after all. Gosh, boy, do I look stupid now. But at the same time, I mean, it's at least it's kind of good that you got to see that. So you know what it looked like. And now that I remember this charge move, hopefully I'll be able to kill him more quickly. Honestly, that's like the best. Once you have this weapon, that's just the best way to kill bosses. On bitter mode, it's like you just have to do that. God, I can't believe he got me right at the end. That's like a motif with me since I've been playing this game. It's like, I always like end up screwing up right at the end. Whoa, I can't even see myself right there. The fact that I have a power up where, where the sword doesn't even drain is pretty good. Because I don't even have to waste time charging it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna edit. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna insta kill me again. I was going to edit this rematch out and just get to the ending of it, but. Uh, it's going pretty quickly, I think, so. I think I'll just leave it in. Charge move is so good. The fact that it just always damages them no matter what. Oops. Oh god. That, I think that's the insta kill, maybe? I don't really want to find out. Oh! Oh, I didn't think we had a clash like that last time. So we're still getting one of those as well. Slowly, I'm sure get in there. I mean, it just goes to show you that this is a proper final secret boss, because the fact that I almost had him and he just freaking killed me last time. Oh no, that's not, Yeah, that might have been it that I just barely avoided. I need to be a lot more careful. Almost there again. Don't screw up this time. Oh god. Oh, it's just the projectiles. We are right there. Oh, come on. Here we go. Boom. All right. Now let's sit back and enjoy. Ugh, damn it! Is that all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't be serious. All this time you didn't realize. What are you talking about? I'm your twin <laughs> brother. What the hell? Oh. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Why would you bring up something like that at the very last minute of the game? How's that for a twist? You would have at least a twist also, check out that, like, time. that six. What? It's like a Kylo Man. Ren We're lightsaber, but anyway. before Kylo Ren existed. And also, Where the hell it is looks she? better than Kylo Ren's yeah. lightsaber, too. You mean my wife. Like, look at that. What? Why? Way better. Yes, you know. It actually makes sense, Spouse. too. Soulmate. Henry's wife? Oh, but there's another twist. The idea. Sylvia was when Henry's wife the whole time. When did you two get married? Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. <laughs> oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. I'm sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife, a really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's Pretty a bad chill. wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! But Travis, Travis brother, you can't say that. We're similar in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Suddenly, you being I love my brother this cinematography. doesn't sound so awkward. Let me ask you, how do you plan to put an end to all of this? 
Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but with a healthy exit. Oh. There's no way out, is there? <laughs> no getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call paradise. Let's go! There we go. Directed, written, and game designed by Suda51. What an ending, huh? And that's the true ending. So there's already the twist with Travis's half sister slash ex lover slash killer of his parents being the true goal all along. Who, what, the reason why he was uh, basically made the deal with Sylvia to like keep fighting him for rent. Now this. He's got a twin brother who's also Irish for some reason. And if you pay attention, they are twins. Like, their faces look exactly the same. They just have different haircuts and hair colors. And Travis has his sunglasses. Like, there's those little things to, like, make them look different, but their faces are actually, like, yep, well, they're, they're obviously twins. Boy. Yeah, so... I've only been recording for 16 minutes, and that's why I didn't want to do like a whole new stream just for this. I figured it'd be better if I just recorded it quickly on my own and then added it to the end of the stream I already had going. Uh, hopefully this makes up for the, the big goof I did. The big goof of saving over the file that I needed to do the true ending. Gosh, that was bad. But I could just edit it out and no one would ever know. But this is a pretty sick portrait actually. Of Travis and Henry. Sword sort of swords on each other's necks. Leaping here. Ready to just do that final strike. It almost reminds me of like the Rocky ending. Was it Rocky 2, I think? Look at it, that's sick how it's like number six, number seven, number five. D. Bradley Baker, I think he voices in like Kids Next Door and stuff. And then Dark Star with Steve Bloom, of course. Lots of good voice acting. Suda games always have good voice acting. Yeah, this picture, like I feel like that could be like framed and just hung up on a wall. It's really cool. Suda really loves doing like false endings or like multiple endings because Killer7 is like the same. Where it just seems like okay it's ending and then nope that's not the ending. Now here's an ending. Oh, nope, nope, that's not the ending. Here we are. Cool. It's very tricky, that Suda. And I hope you guys didn't leave quite yet. Because there is. I mean, before the Marvel movies were doing it. Or maybe they had started using that by this point. But anyways, there's, there is a post credit scene. Yeah. Coming up very soon, so don't leave yet. Don't get out of your theater seat quite yet. Dude, that guy's name is Naruto, really? It's weird. I didn't think that was a real name. Yep, should be coming up pretty soon. It's in the US marketing section, so... I feel like they're, they're running out of people to thank. It's possible that I could skip the credits here, but I, didn't know, I don't want to risk that. I've already beefed up enough today. 
No more goof ups. That's what this game's gonna be changed to. Oh, here we go. You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean. Jean, huh? It's the third character in this game named Jean. I know. Too bad there won't be a sequel. <laughs> Too bad there won't be a sequel. Which, yeah, back then Suda never did sequels to games. But now we had No More Heroes 2 and Travis Strikes Again, the spinoff. And now, coming up most recently, No More Heroes 3, which I'm super hyped for. I could have sworn it said to be continued after that. Oh, there it is. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of No More Heroes. Next up, No More Heroes 2. So, look forward to that, guys. Catch you later.